everybody loved him. Hundreds of people would be by the courthouse. And he, you know, put up his finger to the government and that's it. This man is dying and you still have him in solitary confinement. He was tied, his feet to the bed and his hands were tied to the bed. People want to question if my father was weak or tough. He had a severe kidney infection. He was sick. He didn't get to see a doctor. By the time he got off the bus, he was covered in blood. If there was ever a time to become a rat or something, it would have been then. No, instead he fought five trials. Eli has never had any conversation with my father. You lie about my son. Like, this is how sick they are. I defend my family. I think I do a pretty good job of defending my family. But other people defend my family also. I don't ask them to do it, but they do. Hello, Marla. Hello, Angel. Hello, everybody. What's Marla, going did on? You, Marla, did you get nervous when I did that uh, Angel Boulevard thing? A little. <laughs> <laughs> A little. <laughs> hello, everybody. How is everyone tonight? Uh, first, let me, before I say hello to everyone, let me explain what happened. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I set the time for, I think it was, uh, what, 7.15, Marla? Yes. And I I, uh, I think I changed it to 7.30. And then somebody else came on, and it was supposed to be a quick test. So I waited, and I waited, and I waited, and now I'll be on when they're going to be on. And I'm sorry, but... My time was at 7.15 and 7.30, so now whatever. If the guys want to go over to the fight at 9 o'clock, go right over to the fight. But in the meantime, hello, everybody. Hi, Heidi Black. How are you? Hello, Mark. Hello, Tina Orlando. Hello, Claudio. Hello, Mobland. Hello, Mr. Smith. How are you, Mr. Smith? Hello, Cremel. Carol, how are you, Carol? Uh, let's see who else. Hello there, Nick Bazzini. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Oh, you do hear it. Okay. These I, I don't like these um, headphones. I don't like them at all. I don't know if they're just um, too squishy or if uh i just don't like headphones what made but you get headphones you could hear i could hear you so well because my my son said that if i have the microphone and i have these speakers the microphone is going to pick up the speakers the okay. sound from the speakers okay. you understand gotcha yeah so i have to figure this out because i don't like it it's it's making me feel like my ears are clogged. Um, hello, Wade. Hello, Minnie the Moocha. Hello. Hello, Zio Lesso. Oops, is in here. Carol, I said hello to. Everybody's talking to each other, so it looks like there's a lot of people. Um, hello, Maureen. And let's see, who else is here? Oh, look, it's Angel Gotti. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Hi, Paul Clinton. Hello, Petey Paisano. How are you? Hello, Bella Rose. Uh, who did you get, Bella Rose? Hello, Italian Stallion. I think I've got everybody. Hi, Fish. Who's a mole fed? Who's a mole fed fish? I hope you're not starting with Mr. Smith. 
And hello, Chris Trock. How are you, Trock? Oh, he's breaking, uh, Fish is breaking Mr. Smith's uh, balls. Uh, mm -hmm. Fish, why don't you go over and check out his uh, his his channel because uh, that's no mole cop. <laughs> far from. Yeah, far from it, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> go check out his channel. Go check and go look at his videos. Fish likes to break people. Uh, he likes to break their shoes. Okay. Biden is a poop stain of turd Obama. Wow. <laughs> Look at that cat. What do you think of that, Marla? Looks like that thing from Stephen King. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Susie. How are you, Susie? Hi, Donnie. Uh, let's, hello, Angela. How are you, Anne? Okay, I think I got everyone. Hi, David. Hello, Egon Targaryen. Hello, Mob Rat Hunter. Fish, fish. Okay, hello, Mob Rat Hunter. So anyway, um, today I, I, I changed this because I was going to talk about something else. And then I changed it and I was going to talk about uh, this uh, this thing, uh, the backstabbing, the treachery, and deceit seen through a sister's eyes, which is me. Now, I don't think that people understand. Like, people don't understand um, when... I see something being said about my brother or my father or um, by anyone. I don't care who it is. When I see something is being said, I don't think that um, people realize like how, how hurtful that they can be and uh, the things that, that they say or the things they think they know, they don't know um, the thing, you know, like, I want to put this the right way. Um, okay, so Mikey Scars. We'll start with Mikey Scars. Okay. Uh, I was watching him, and all of a sudden, it hit me. And I said, like, I'm, I'm sitting here, and I'm watching Mikey Scars, you know, talk about my brother and my father and... And then it hit me and I said, I can only imagine how it felt for my brother to be sitting in that courtroom across from him and how that must have felt. You know, like um, when you have somebody that you called your brother, your, you know, your uh, that's what he called them. They called each other brothers. So... And, and I thought it, I got so sad from it. Like, I got really sad. And and I said, and then I got, like, a little mad. But I don't know. Like, and then I, there's another side of me that said, okay, um, this happened. My, my brother survived it, thank God. And, uh, and I'm not going to, you know, uh, I'm not going to come on here and fight my brother's battles. That's the one thing I'm not going to do. I'm not going to come on here and fight with men over, you know, and fight my brother's battles because my brother would be very upset with me if I did do that. So I'm not doing that. But there is, um, there was a, a content creator last night. Um, so somebody had told me and I went and I checked it out for myself, a content creator on here who, who's not a big content creator, but, and, uh, had said, had told people that he worked for the Gottis. He worked for John Gotti and he worked for my uncles and it is absolutely 1000% a lie. It's a lie. There are only... At all of YouTube, there are only a few people on here 
who actually knew my father and my brother, John. And um, Mikey Scars, Gravano, Michael Francis. Um, first of all, Mikey Scars and Gravano, they knew my dad well, okay? Francis and Ruggiano, no, they didn't, but somewhat they knew him. Uh, as for my brother, John, Scars knew him very well, okay? Um, Gravano knew him, eh, not as not as uh, much as uh, Mikey Scars did, but yeah, Gravano knew him. Ruggiano, no, he didn't know my brother, John. Um, a light. Of course, he knew my brother John. They were friendly for a few years, but did he know my my father? No, he did not. Okay, John Panisi. John Panisi did not know my father, and John Panisi only met my brother John one time. Uh, Dominic Sicali. Did he know my father or my brother? No. Okay, so the, the um. The, the people, the, this, you know what? I'm just going to say it. I'm tired of playing games. Tony Pizza, you did not work for my father, and you didn't know my family. And I never did drugs, and I never met a pita pasta, and I never did anything. I never stole anything from anybody in my entire life except for when I was seven years old, and I stole a bag of M&M's from the A&P. And the guy caught me and my sister, he caught me and he put the fear of God into me that I never stole another thing ever again. And I, and I'm so grateful to that guy in the A&P because I was so terrified. He, here I am, I'm eight. My sister is, is, I'm eight years old and my sister is, we will never say what, how old she was, but here she was. And I got caught stealing a bag of M&Ms and he he scared us so bad that um, we never, ever, ever would even think about stealing anything. He he told me he was calling the police. He, he said, wait here. I'm going to get the police. And me and my sister started crying. We're like, we will never do it again. And he said, you wait right here. I'm calling the police. And we took off. We ran out of the A&P. We ran. And I even told my mom, like, I was so scared. I told my mother, the police are going to come for me. The police are coming to arrest me. Um, I stole a bag of M&Ms. But anyway, getting back to that, I never stole anything from anybody in my entire life. So um, people on here, I don't know why it is, uh, why, why it is that you um, need to use my family's name like there's a few content creators on here that are constantly using my father's name every single day um threatening people every single day um why like why are you doing this i'm just curious why um and here's another thing um Marla, yes. the other night when we said that we were going to do a whole new thing, you know, a whole new um, cha uh, channel, yeah, um, streams, a whole new streams, and we were saying what we were going to do, um, somebody um, told, uh, I saw that, like, I guess it was to make fun of me, that the reason why it was going to be in six weeks was six weeks was going to be because uh, that's enough time for me to recover from plastic surgery. So um, I don't need plastic surgery. Yeah. I mean, I probably could, I could use like a little nip and tuck, but I just want to tell people I showed myself the other day last week without any makeup on. I showed myself. I'm not waiting to get plastic. I don't have to get plastic surgery so that I could come on here and show my face. This was um, a whole plan that Mahler and I have because we're doing a new, new intro, a whole new, um, uh, what would you call that again, I, uh, Mahler? We're just, we're, we're changing we're, up the pace. We're switching it up. 
Exactly. We're going to change up the whole thing. And so we gave ourselves six weeks. That would be enough time for us to do everything that we want to do. Um, so I just, um, I'm going to show this one more time, Marla, if you don't mind. This is me, people. This is me waking up in the morning. I'm not hiding or, or anything. This is me. If I'm pretty, I'm ugly, whatever it is, I'm me. I'm me. She woke me up. Hello? You look fine, Angel. There's nothing oh, wrong with the way I'm you... I'm going to show it again. Here, here. Well, first listen to the dog snoring. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> uh listen that i'm 61 years old and i'm gonna be i'm gonna be 62 uh that's me i don't give a shit who likes it and who doesn't i don't care who likes me and who doesn't i don't care that's me i'm not hiding i don't like when uh you come on here and you're um and it freezes and you have your mouth open and then these these degenerates on here stick things in your mouth the way that they stuck things in my father's hand while he was holding my uh 16 month old son so i don't like those kind of things but uh other than that marla what what conversation were we having before we came on here it depends which one the one where we love using an avatar because <laughs> Honestly, because I love if, you. Avatar. If we want to, when we come on here, if we don't want to have a bra on, if we don't, <laughs> want, if we don't feel like um, putting makeup on, if we don't feel like um, putting, we keep our hair up in a floppy bun. Yes. Or if we can't, if we want to wear a, a bleach stained sweatshirt, that's what we like to do, right? Yes, I have my pajamas on, no bra, and my hair is up in a bun. And <laughs> who knows it? I really don't care who knows it. <laughs> now we got to start going live and showing our faces. I know. Um, well, we uh, like we could switch it up. We don't have to yeah. do that every night. Like when we have guests on, because we are going to have guests on. And I mean, um, like guests, not just... Um, YouTube uh, friends, we're going to have guests on. Guests. And I'm the one that pushed it out to a month and a half, people, because I needed a, you know, some extra time. And that's right. None so, of your business what I needed it for. <laughs> I needed some extra time. No, but that's I'm the, one, I'm the one that's having the surgery. Did you think of that? <laughs> I may need to do some healing, okay? No, so that's the thing is that it was actually you and not me I wasn't going to say that, but you just did. But yet I get uh, blamed because I, uh, it's going to be six and a half weeks because that's when I will recover from plastic surgery. Oh, please. Well, I'm having my tits done so that I know. That <laughs> okay. Well, the cat is out of the bag, people. Y'all don't put it out there. Do you mind? I need to heal. Six weeks. <laughs> Three weeks each tit. Okay, mind your business. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, Marla. 
Oh my God, that was so funny. I can't believe you said my that. Bad. <laughs> it's uh, the cat is out of the bag. Everybody <laughs> kicked up on it. Six weeks. Apparently, some of y'all have had a couple nips and tucks. If you knew the time frame we were talking about. So. <laughs> oh, that's great. So yeah, you guys, we'll, we'll have a, I'll have a perky set by the time we go live. <laughs> <laughs> That was great. Thank you. I needed that laugh. I was so sad today, you know, uh, like before I was just so sad, like something just hit me. Like, you know, I have to say one thing, people, and I don't think any of you understand this. Hello, Teresa Murphy. How are you? And Yankees and Heidi Black. Hello, Heidi. Yes. Heidi said, please hit the like button. And Sharon. Thank you, Heidi. And Sharon, how are you, Sharon? And Tommy Lucchese, how are you? Um, I don't think people, uh, I, I just want to say one thing. Hello, Cheryl, besides that. Um, I, my family is a very close family. Like my brothers, my sister, myself, my mother, we're a very close family. Um, and I adore, listen, don't get me wrong. I love my sister, my mother, and my brother, Peter. But my brother, John, I there's not a person on this planet that I have more respect for than my brother, John. So I, the decisions that my brother made, the way that my brother not only took care of his six kids and, and his wife, but he... Uh, took care of my two kids. My two kids, you know, there was a time when Lewis and I didn't, we had a war and we didn't talk. And, uh, and for, you know, for a reason, whatever. Um, my brother John was there for my kids. My brother John never missed um, an event for my kids ever. Um, my brother John he whatever he had to do he was there he sponsored my son's baseball games he when when the the league was over my brother john threw the our team uh, a party in a restaurant always every year my brother my brother did that from from my son so that my son always um had the same as all the other kids and even with me, with uh, my sister, um, my brother Peter's kids, everybody loves my brother John. So when I get, like the way that I get, I have every right to. That's the way that I am. I'm very fiercely protective of my family and especially of my brother. So uh, I just wanted to say all of that. I don't even know why I wanted to say that. Um, this thing right here too, I want to talk about, see every, every time, like the people who, who get mad at me or they don't like me anymore, or they just pick fights with me for, I don't even know what reason it picking up, uh, taking up for their friends. They, uh, they always seem to go to this picture. Ah, now. You see that picture, Marla? I see it. Okay. It uh, The other day, I was talking to Jerry, my dear, dear friend, Jerry. And and he, and he we brought up that picture. And, and I said, you know what, Jerry? People, you know, nobody understands what that picture was from. And he says, what do you mean? I said, that picture was one day I was sitting in the courtroom and... It was very quiet. Uh, people were out to lunch and they were just starting to come back in. And the government was playing with this uh, machine that they had on their desk. And it was like making scratching noises and they were trying to figure something out, whatever it was that they were playing with. And then all of a sudden it was blasting. You hear my father start talking. And I was so startled. Like, I, I just looked up like, what? Like, what the hell? You just heard my father talking. And 
I got upset and I started crying and I went outside. I left the courtroom because they couldn't shut it off and he was talking and and I went outside and, and I was smoking a cigarette. That's when I smoked. And that's when they came and they took that picture of me. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I was crying. I just walked out of the courtroom, the court building, walked out of the building. I was smoking a cigarette, like, like so upset and, like, so confused. Like, what the heck was going on? And why were they bringing my father, you know? into all of this crap and uh so that's why they um they 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 took that picture and of course it's like a horrible picture of me and then they play other pictures of me um they, they, they took off her screen let me let me tell you something people see this right here oh, oh wait this one see this right here yeah. this the medication that I take every single morning. You know what this is? This is for my, I, I do not have a thyroid. Uh, this is thyroid uh, hormone placement. This I have to take every single morning. So, And then after a while, some days, this medication doesn't work. So my, everything slows down and I start, you know, you start gaining weight again and you start getting moody and you start getting the palpitations and then you have to go in and they adjust your medication. This has been going on since 1996. So sometimes, yeah, sometimes I gain a lot of weight and then sometimes I'm, I'm, I lose it all and that's it. So um, I hope that the people who make fun of me and you don't have to uh, ever uh, lose your thyroid and be on that. And by the way, it's so immature and childish. You look great. Here's a uh, little uh, Chucky and me. There's little Chucky and me. Your twin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, and oh, and this I want to say to Keen Sheets. Uh, the other day, something came from Cane Shades. It came from England. And Cane Shades sent me another one. This is the card. Look at that. This is, um, it's a card. It's in a plastic container, you know, plastic over the plastic. So I didn't want to take it out. But that's a 1940 penny from the year my dad was born. And that's his card. Uh oh, And that's his card. Um Okay, I'm coming. Um, <laughs> oh, I think my son is. Oh, yeah, I think my son is going live. But anyway, this. So I was excited over the card, but you know what I got more excited of? Look at what? this. A stamp <laughs> from the queen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to save that envelope forever because that's a stamp. It's from England, and there's the king, the uh, the queen. That oh, is from now England. that's neat. Isn't <laughs> that, that is neat? neat. <laughs> I know. See, King Sheets, I got more excited over the envelope with the stamp. <laughs> no, but I appreciate that so much. Thank you, King Sheets. King Sheets is a good friend. I'll tell you that. Isn't that nice? That card is nice. Yeah, if I, I should have taken it out, but I didn't want to take it out. I'm trying to think, is there anything else in here I wanted to show? Let's see. Let me see. Hold on. Uh, join. Okay. Okay, somebody will join us in a little while. Um... Okay. Well, what else did I want to uh, show? Oh, here's that's me with uh, little uh, things on my face. You look like little Wayne's baby mama. Oh, thank you. What's that mean? <laughs> <Just probably that. laughs> <laughs> I'm writing on your face. <laughs> little Wayne's baby mama. Uh, 
trying to see what did I put in here? I I, I forget so much now. Uh, I put this back. Bye bye, Bozo. I put that back. What is this over here? Let me see what this is. I don't know if I played this already. Let's see. <laughs> Yo, this guy's a hundred percent. Breaking news. Stores are running out of tampons due to the rise of pussies in this country. Yo, this guy's a hundred percent. Yeah, I played that already. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, though. <laughs> that is good, right? That is good. And uh, I think I'm done with Angel Boulevard. Let's see. What else? Uh... Oh, that's what we were talking about before we came on here. Uh, next Saturday is Marla's birthday. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> next Saturday is Marla's birthday. And Marla has a problem with her birthday, which I think is um is is crazy, Marla, because you said what about your birthday? The thirties are gone forever. I, it was depressing last year because I went from I could always when, as long as I was thirty nine. When somebody asked me how old I was, I could say I was in my thirties. I could say late thirties, thirties. Now it's like you're you're forty. You're just 40. I don't know. There's just something like, I don't know, 40. Yeah, all right. Uh, I have zero sympathy for you. <laughs> what? <laughs> zero. Zero sympathy for you. Because um, next month, uh, you know what I'll be getting? What? Social security. Oh, my God. <laughs> So you think I give a crap about you, 40? Yes, because 40 is not, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a teeny bopper no more. And I wasn't for a long time, but I don't, at least I could dream. I still had time to dream in my thirties. Now I'm 40. What the F? Like I'm 40. Oh my God. You know what? It got canceled during COVID, but I, I was, they had my 20 year um, class reunion. 20 years. Angel, you, I, you're not, you, I don't think you I wish I had a little, you know what? <laughs> I wish, I wish I had a little violin I would play it for. Whatever. You. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I, let me see if there, there's violin music. Let me see if I could play that violin music for you. <laughs> no, zero. No. <laughs> You're 20 year, 20 year. When did I? Oh my God. I don't even know how many years it's been. I haven't even thought about it. But yeah, I don't have, I have zero sympathy for you. Hello there. Hey, teacher. I can, I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. I don't think you understand the struggle. I really don't. <laughs> um, Marla, yeah. you're a, a little whippersnapper. Uh, Uh, let me see, Marla. You are a little, I'm so far behind. Hold on. Um, you are a young, you are very young. You still have, you still have 22 years to catch up to me. Do you know, hold on a second. No, I had my son at 23. At 23. So when you were born, I already had my no, I wouldn't Thank have you, my Matt Riddles. We're well aware of that. Did you see <laughs> what, what he did? Did you what? see what he did? No. Ten more. <laughs> you know what? Sir, another comment like that will have you blocked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to drop the link for somebody right now. I don't know why you're sitting over here smiling. You'll hit 40 long, 50 long before I will, you old ass. Um, he, he was born in 77, so you know he's old. Oh, my God. At 77, I was sitting on the factory hanging out with my friends, worrying if my hair frizzed. 1977. Oh, my God. You both are babies. Yeah, right. 
what it used to be. I, I, it's, I am not kidding. Next month, wait, this is March, right? Next month is my birthday. So then May, I get social security. What do you think of that? Now I'm really depressed, Angel. Shit, I... <laughs> I don't know why the show had to make this turn because now I'm depressed. You know, there's so much I haven't even done, and I'm 40. I'm almost dead. Wait, whoa, whoa, what did you just say? <laughs> like, I'm almost like there's so much I haven't done. I'm almost dead. I'm closer every day, I'm closer to the grave. You know, all the stuff I haven't gotten to do yet. I've never been scuba diving. How uh, many people feel sorry for Nala? Tequila to your show, by the way, that my for the last birthday. What happened? I had my first tequila to your last to your show on my last birthday. Oh, that's right. We did. We celebrated your birthday with and you had a tequila. Yes. That's There'll right. be no tequila this year. Yeah, I know. Yes, I know. Um, Perry, don't worry about it. I'm sorry because you know what? You're mad one day, you're not mad the next. I'm not mad today, so don't even think about it. That's what happens with me. I get mad one day, and the next day I'm like, why was I mad? Hello there, MRE. Hey, what's up? How are hey, you? Hey. MRE. Uh, good. What's MRE? up, Mario? Your birthday's next week? Yes, and do you have a violin? Let's all get a violin for Marla. <laughs> yeah, I got one, one in my back pocket. <laughs> Could you stop playing it, please? <laughs> yeah, hold on a minute. There. Yeah. <laughs> I won't play. No, uh, is it, mine's the 12th. <laughs> oh, that's right. So your birthday is... Uh, your birthday sometime, is... sometime this month. Your birthday is the 12th. Marla's is um, uh, the 11th, right? A week from today is the 11th. Yep. Yep. And yours is the next day, the 12th. And then oh wait, even my niece's birthday is this month. My best friend, best friend's birthday is this month, too. Yeah, I know a lot of March people also. Yeah. A lot of my uh, close fa cousins and family members that I get along with good old March people. Yeah. Do you want to know something about my best friend and I? Besides stealing M and M's. No, that was that my sister. Sorry, story had to die and laugh. Yeah, wait, you want to know the best? I took the bag of M and M's and because we used to wear dresses then. My mother used to put dresses on us, and so <laughs> I took the, I took the bag of M and M's and put it in my underwear. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> And he caught me, but he didn't ask me to take them out. Thank God. What was it? A piece? A piece? <laughs> what did, did you guys both steal like a, a little package of M and M's a piece? Or? No, just me. I stole. It was uh, M and M's with peanuts too. And what made you do? Like, what did you say? I was gonna get them, but you forgot some change home, or you just wanted to be devious? No, I and... just yeah, we just went in there, and uh, and I just took the bag and, and I put them in my underwear, and I said, "Let's go! I'll get us M and M's. Come on, let's go!" And then he grabbed me. I'll never forget what he looked like too. He was he looked like Mr. Mooney on the Dick Van Dyke Show. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mooney. Remember Mr. <laughs> Mooney? He had those dark yeah. glasses, the black frame glasses and a half a bald head. That's what he did. He grabbed me and he... Uh, what, what did he say? He was going to call the cops on yeah, you? Yeah, he was you calling in jail? the police on I go, I didn't take anything. He goes, I saw you. <laughs> uh -huh. That was funny. Uh, yeah, but then I started crying. My sister started crying first because she cried over everything. My sister was such a little Mary. She cried over everything I ever... Any, the slightest thing made my sister cry. And then when he said he was calling the, the police, then then I started crying. And then she really cried. And they tried to hit her with a conspiracy charge? <laughs> I did. <laughs> well, because she technically wasn't uh, taking the m, &M. She did, did she know you were no. going to do it? It was sporadic. No, she didn't know I was going to do it. I just did it. But I'll tell you one thing. That man told me, wait right here, I'm calling the police. And I looked at my sister, and as soon as he like turned the corner, we were like, run! Run! Did you run? Yeah, we ran. See, I lived around... 
Yeah, we got we made it back to the oh wait, let me I wonder if it's still in here. Let me check. Um we made it back to the uh yeah, I think it is in here. Oh, so he didn't chase shoes, right? No, he I probably think he thought was, these they're I, little kids. Why yeah, chase yeah. them? I think he was pretending that he called the police anyway, because uh I don't know. Uh, he never came well, usually, and found us. Usually they just want to scare little kids and deter them. Yeah, look how beautiful you look in that picture. They want to make fun of her looks. Go look oh, at the I picture. Oh, I didn't even realize I did that. Young. Oh, that's all because I switched brands. I'm sorry. She's still a good looking woman right now, but go look at her pictures when she was young, her wedding pictures and all that. She was absolutely gorgeous. Thank don't you be, so much. Don't be mean bastards out there. Yeah, they're so mean to me. And look, you this still is are. No, oh, thank you. This is where we lived. So, like, like this was, say, like, in the middle of the block, right? And then you went to the corner to the to the left over here, right? You went to the corner, and then you turned the block. You know, you turned the corner, and then a few stores down was the A&P. So we ran not really that far, but... um. But yeah, we ran, we made it right into the, uh, what do you call this thing again? The lobby. And we sat there and, but you know what? Were you relieved? Were you relieved? Like, oh man, I got away. Yeah, and we ate the M&M's. <laughs> oh, so you did get to, to indulge in the M&M's. Nice. Yeah, I did. <laughs> so I thought um, the guy caught you or something. Yeah, well, he wasn't going to ask me for them back. <laughs> <laughs> we did. We ran. I mean, don't forget, I was a little kid. I was eight. I think she was seven. Yeah, all little no, kids. No, 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 she like wasn't. That. No, she wasn't. I don't know how old she was. Yeah, you don't want to give her <laughs> any. <laughs> she could have been three. She could have been <laughs> four. <laughs> oh. She was in a fast She was. She was an infant. She, yeah, she was in a baby carriage. I was flying down the block with her. I don't know how old she was, but yeah. So, uh, I but I'll tell you one thing: I never ever stole another thing ever again. Yeah, a lot never. of little kids do the same. Yeah, and um, I used to rob Stewarts when I was a little kid. What's when Stewart? I was little? It's like a, a Kmart or something. We used to steal G.I. Joes and little toys. Who were kids? Oh, you did? Did you ever get yeah. caught? No. Uh, one time, matter of fact, with Henry. Matter of fact, me and Henry. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, Henry, who came on here before. Yeah, we got caught stealing a starting lineup guy one time. But we got away, actually. He held us there, and we both ran opposite ways, and he couldn't do nothing. Are you kidding? He, I wish I was. We were like 12, but I still had the guy. And I gave it to my nephew. My nephew still has that little guy on his shelf. So every time I go to his house, I always see that guy, and it brings back memories. Who was it? Uh, it was a Detroit Tigers third baseman. I can't think of the name. It, oh, man, I can't think of his name. Uh, It'll come to me, but we stole a lot of those little gadgets because there was no cameras back then, and little kids could run wild. If you were eight, nine years old, seven years old, up to 10, 11, you could do whatever you wanted in them yeah, stores. Yeah, I know. So we used to run wild with it. And we I stopped shoplifting before I was 13, though, because my uh, father always told me, after you hit 13, they'll send you to the training school. You're not a cute little kid no more. So I never really shoplifted after I was like 11, 12. But I, I, when I was a real little kid, I used to always uh, steal G.I. Joes and toys from Kmart. I would never steal from a mom and pop store, but the big corporations, I would steal toys from there as a little kid. And I would use my brother as a, uh, as a, uh, to hide things with him, too, because he was even smaller. What happened? Who was smaller? My, bro oh, my your brother. Oh, your brother. He was yeah, four, yeah. yeah, he was four yeah. years younger, so... I would stuff toys in his back and his pocket, stuff like that. Oh, and in mine cute. too. I but we would get my father would find out in the car. And he really didn't care, but my mother got mad. Your father didn't care? No, because we were little. <laughs> we were little. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, my brother's doing twenty five years to life right now for robbery. Um, Thanks, Dad. I just have to answer this. Um, did your father like rap like Tom Scully? Yeah. 
You know what I call him? Dominic. I call him Dominic Sakali, the rapper. Dominic. Dominic. Is he uh, another one telling stories that he like he set tea? He had cappuccino with your father and stuff. No, not that I know. Uh, of. I don't watch him, but I haven't heard. He'll be coming in a few. Give him a few months. Yeah, I have. I don't watch him. I have no idea. Uh, I only know what I know when I watch like uh, the other channels, like Lee Cole and uh, you, when and the clip channels like uh, Assassinino and. Um, What's uh the fat cop caller and stuff like that? Otherwise, I would never know these things. Yeah, me neither. I watch the clip channels, but I got a, I tuned into one of that morons, like a short video of his. It was weird, and I watched the rap ones, and they were just so cringy. It's like, what are you doing? Some people uh, just. Yeah, I think he's insane. That's why I call him Dominic. He, he reminds me of that. Uh, remember that thing who captured the uh, Bugs Bunny? You want to hold him and cut him like he's my little friend, George or whatever. He reminds me of a character like that. Oh, uh, wait, what? Elmer Fudd? Not Elmer Fudd. He was like a big monster that caught uh, Bugs Bunny. And he wanted to keep him as a friend. And remember, I want to hug him and hold him like he's my very own. It's, it was weird, but he reminds me of him, kind of. Uh, I don't know who you're talking about, though. Oh, uh, he was related to Mr. Wilson. You won't know him. Okay. Don't leave him you know, around this lady. <laughs> Did you really say this? Don't leave M and M's around this lady. Right. No way. I would never say that. All right. <laughs> Til, you know, not for nothing, but till today, I still love M and M's, but I I can't eat them. I'm not allowed to eat them. So, and it drives me crazy. Do you ever get triggered when you see M and M's and have flashbacks of that? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always think of that. I always the M and M heist back in yeah. the eighties. Oh, was it the seventies or eighties when the M and M heist no, went it was down? The sixties. Oh, the sixties, the great M and M heist. Yes, the sixties. I was eight. You're gonna. So, have, everybody's gonna make videos now. How Angel Gotti robbed M and M's. Thank you so much, Cletus. Thank you. What's up, Cletus? Great hair on. day. Yeah. I wish I had some hair to have a bad hair day, Cletus. Yes. Yeah, so what are you doing, Emma? Oh, uh oh. Going. Oh, there's a thing over here. They're going past. Ambulance. Oh, it was an ambulance? Yeah. They flew, they flew by real quick. Uh, so what are you doing? You're with your dog? Very nice. Yeah, we're, uh, we're looking for seashells right now. Behind yeah. this place. It used to be a seafood restaurant, and they would pour uh, sand and beach sand and shells. Mm -hmm. And rumor has it that some of these shells came from Nassau. That was an old pirate, uh, uh, pirate uh, haven and pirate republic at one point. Really? Is that no. true? Well, that's <laughs> true, but I'm not really looking for seashells. <laughs> Just hanging out. Watch them do this house over. Could you get me some um, seashells? Yes, I am gonna. I'm gonna uh, send a raven right now to Winterfell, and they will be bringing you seashells shortly. Could we do, do have that? some though down the seashore, but I'm not near the ocean. Oh, you're not near there. Mm -mm. Thank you, no, Finn Freak. Proud. Thank you. How you doing, Finn Freak? I couldn't type in the chat because I was walking. So hi, everybody who said hi to me that I couldn't say hi back to. Speak things oh, they really don't know about. They need to yeah. stay out of the family family members business because they don't care about us. Well, yeah, they don't. They don't see why they're mad because it's not your brother or sister or family exactly. members they're talking about. Exactly. And, until it's your family or yourself being slandered, you you know you can say all you want until you until it happened to you. Well, thank you, NB, and thank you, Carol. But you know what? Uh, when you when you hear on here. Um, that I was a drug addict or that I did drugs or that Lewis did drugs or that my That's kids ridiculous. did drugs. It's, it's, um, 
it's so it's it's like so infuriating. You know that because anybody so who knows you I never did drugs, you imbeciles. I didn't do drugs. Lewis didn't do drugs. My kids were they they said my uh, you know what? See, I'm getting aggravated again. I'm not gonna do that. Well, your kids did your kids did are uh, not drug addicts or never no. drug addicts. No. Oh, it's ridiculous. Neither was your late husband. No. God rest his soul. He never did drugs. The guy was a business owner. He ran businesses and pizza parlors. How well, was he a drug addict? No, he was. A <clears throat> well, yourself, Barillo, uh, Barillo and oh look, thank you, thank you, Tommy. Real deal. Thank Aww. you so much. <laughs> How are you feeling, Tommy? How are you feeling, Tommy? But thank you. Um, yeah, it's very infuriating when you you, and then you're sitting there and you're watching people say things about your family, and 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 you're like, wait a second, why? Like, where the hell do you even get this stuff from? Like, where do you get this? this well, the whole drug from? lie started with uh, what what's his name oh, on that his, was um, Gene Aletto, yeah. yeah, on Aletto's show saying that. And anybody who knows you or knew your uh, ex husband uh, or your children would know that that's just ridiculous. Yeah. But you know what? Even A Light never said that. A Light never accused me of being a drug addict or Lewis being a drug addict or my kids being drug addicts. No, that that, that didn't even come from me. Like, came from Gene Barillo. Well, he's a special kind of degenerate. Exactly. And then the uh, the uh, the other thing about me that came from uh, a little punk in Ozone Park who. Uh, why he he said that? Why he lied? I have no idea. But he better pray I keep my mouth shut because I learned a lot of things about him. I learned a lot. He's probably oh, angry and bitter, and the only way that they you know feel satisfaction is to make up lies about people. Yeah. People are sick. Real sick. Yeah. Exactly. So um. So Robert says, ignore the coward losers. All they do is bully women and children on social media. Wow, terrible people. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And uh, uh, um, wow. Wow, come on. Mute. No, I, I just want everybody to know right now, I'm not talking about FBS. It's not FBS. This is, has nothing to do with FBS. I just want everybody to know that. Um, I don't know. Mr. Smith says he's not wearing a bra. He wears a Glock. <laughs> <laughs> nice to know, Mr. Smith. Nice to know. Yeah. So, um, what's going on? Um. MRE, what's happening? Oh, no. I don't know if you can see the dog. Can you see him? Let me see. Let me get the comment off. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I see the collar. You have a red collar on him? Yeah, he has a red. Then he has his choker up high. See, red is very good. Keep red on zee, him. Zee, zee. Bene. Bene. Bon. Oh, he is Bene. beautiful. He's a good boy. Oh, look, you're out without your mask on. Yeah, I didn't wear it. Oh, well, I got it in my pocket. I only wear it when I go in stores. Oh, okay. And, um, yeah, Marie, you're so cute. <laughs> uh, <laughs> after the surgery, many what? surgeries, many no, surgeries to make me look no, like that. No, you are not. Let me see, I'm good there. Yeah, now where are you? I'm right on Atwell's Avenue. No, you don't have to tell us where you're at, but where are you? What Are you on the street? Are you by the water still? Yeah, I'm um, uh, outside of my friend's house. Oh, you're at your friend's house? No, I'm not at his house. I'm just walking by it. Oh. I usually whistle when I walk by that I house. I was just going to say, is it you? Is it true you whistle when you walk past Tony Ubatz's house? Yeah. <laughs> 
Yes, I enjoy um, it. Could we? Could, he says that sometimes you sing. So could for everybody tonight? Could you walk by Tony Ubatz's house and start singing? Not tonight. My Why? voice. I didn't drink lemon water. If I don't drink the lemon water, my <laughs> voice is not is not what it usually is. So I don't want to put out any recordings of me. Uh, I'm not just as curious. A top is um Tony Ubatz here tonight? I don't know. Because um, I would love for Tony Ubatz to film you walking by and singing or whistling. Uh, he wouldn't do that. Oh, he wouldn't? It's, it's, no. He wouldn't, we wouldn't, uh, if somebody hears a song, they might copy it. Cuban B, what's up? They might, Teresa, how you doing? They might hey, copy the song, <laughs> and I can't have that. No, I'm only kidding. I really don't sing. I dance. <laughs> dance. Uh, no, you, I really don't dance. Can you stop dancing right now? No. <laughs> now I would have broken kneecap. <laughs> My dog's dancing, though. Uh, blood is thicker than water. Some families disown their family members for love of money. There's not a damn thing on this planet that I would ever disown my family members for, uh, unless they hurt a child, which my family loves children. They would never. Uh, I would oh, it's never. bad. Uh, there's this country and western singer who's on YouTube. Oh, sort of like a country and western rapper. Uh, he's not like signed by any top labels, but he's still like worth twenty million dollars. This kid, oh. and I guess it's actually very sad. Uh, his name's like Ryan Upchurch. His mother was like Robin. His mother ripped him off for so, so much money, and it's all over the internet. And it, it's just really, I feel my heart goes out to the kid because he's helped a lot of people too. Like this kid's bought people homes. He's helped a lot of people. Like he's stupid for doing it because when you just help everybody, people take advantage of you. But he's got a good heart and his mother ripped him off. And it's all over. She bought like two or three houses and put them in other people's names and all, and all the Are stuff, all the kidding? business. It's all over YouTube. Is he Shows broke? what money can do to, huh? Is he broke? No, he's not broke. He's got oh, money. She, she didn't take all his money. No, not all of it, but a lot of it she took. Oh, without, without him knowing, all he probably had to do was ask her. You know, he seemed like the, he'd give anybody the shit off his back. I'm sure he'd help his mother out. But the point is just from my point of uh, how money changes people. Well, um, my family is not like that. I'm talking about my immediate family, my uh, my brothers, my sister, and my mother. We're not like that at all. Uh, money's only a uh, uh, you can't take that with you when you go to heaven. Exactly right. Uh, you can't take money with you. So some of these people think they can. You're not taking that money with you. No, exactly. And I would never I would never betray my family for money. Because how do you sleep at night? And then, like I said, how you, you, gotta, you can't take that to heaven. To betray your family for a few bucks. Yeah, exactly. Or for any amount of money. Exactly. Oh. But it's just nuts because, like I said, I seen that kid. I thought, uh, you don't know of him, uh, Mala? The I've kid Ryan up church. Uh, he's like a popular, like, I don't know what songs he sings, but like this popular underground country western rapper. I like, have uh, heard so, of it, yeah. Yeah, see, yeah. Some of the kids in your area might listen to him. But Matt, your own mother doing that. That's terrible. Um, damn it, Mandy. Why was your father's voice being played at that time? Because they were, they, that trial. That truthfully, that especially that last trial, they were um, trying John Gotti Senior, but they had my brother sitting in 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 the in the chair there. But it should have been uh, my father. That's why they played tapes of him. What did your father have to do with him, though? Is I'm th you know, it was ridiculous. It was they were now grasping at everything and anything. It was the last trial. So now they were just going for it all. I told you, I said it the other night, the doors flung open and here comes uh, 
former judges, I mean, they're judges now, but they were the former, they were the prosecutors who put my father away. And now they're judges. judges. (laughs) And they came to testify against against my brother. Really? For how though? I don't get that. How crazy. Because they were just telling they were telling um things about my father. So Yeah, but what's that have to do with your brother? Twelve I don't know how many years later. Exactly. But they just were, you know, just thank God they did that because whatever they did, it worked. I put this home, thank God. Because the jury didn't fall for it. Well, they must have seen what this was. It was a witch trial to gra- and, uh, and like you said, going after your father and his uh, the last name. And they seen that as a witch trial. <laughs> That's um, right. Oh, what did they dismiss the uh, four judges to? How many different judges? What do you mean? That your your brother had? How many different no, judges? Uh, oh yeah, there was a few because don't forget there were judges in Florida. There was the judge in Florida who sent the case back to New York because they wanted the, the prosecutors here or the FBI here. The FBI here wanted the case sent to uh, to Tampa. And meanwhile, my brother John was never in Tampa in his life. Oh, so they wanted it out of New York. Yeah, they wanted it out of New York. I guess they felt that they could get him convicted in Florida. But. Yeah, I believe isn't like uh, the jury uh, tainted anyways when they're putting people on uh, TV calling the mobsters every two yeah. seconds. Yeah, same so thing with want- Dominic's father's trial. Yes, that whole so week. Exactly, and they're on the front page of every newspaper. Yeah, I forget what they call it. A t- I don't know the, the legal word for the jury. Uh, like, oh, jury, you're basically telling them, like, this, you know, this guy's a mobster, this guy's a mobster, and betting in their head. Yeah, now listen, they, they tell the jurors, you know, uh, while, this, while you're sitting and this case is going on, you cannot uh, watch the news or read any newspapers or or, or um, magazines, you know. Who really believes that jurors don't do it? Well, of course they do. Who really believes? Like, if I'm a juror and I come home, do you think I'm not going to put the news on? I'm putting the news on. I don't care what I said I wasn't going to do. <laughs> Just human curiosity. You're in a case. Of course you're going. You're the juror on that case. You're going to watch the news. Exactly. You're going to read the paper. Exactly. I don't care what they say. Exactly. Even though at that time when you're walking down the street to New York and you see the newsstands and you go into the shop and they have newspapers, there it is right on the cover. Don't tell me you're not reading anything. Yeah, of course they are. Yeah. Um, Comments would be. Yeah, and God don't sleep anyway, put it that way. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, our government is evil. The cops, detectives are good, but the FBI is not. And Senate is Congress not. Uh, I agree with. Uh, I don't have anything against um, the police. I really don't. Uh, the FBI. No, we need police. We need yeah, cops. We the we police do. people. But we, we need do. uh, we need uncorrupt uh, federal agents and stuff like that who are not corrupt. And willing to frame people, or people like John Conley, willing to run little, uh, little organized FBI gangs themselves, <laughs> or lie like uh, like they put a few guys in Boston away uh, with them lies many years ago for the Barboza hit. They blame these two guys for it that didn't even do it, and they spent thirty something years in jail. <laughs> And then they were released, and they got a lawsuit or something. But nothing takes you can't money can't take uh thirty something years away. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Nothing well, you can do. At, and we said this uh, last week also. Look at Linda Del Vecchio. That's one corrupt uh, FBI agent, and he got away with everything. He got away with it all. He sounds familiar, that name. I've heard that name. Yeah, uh, that was the whole uh, Scarpa thing. The oh, the, the, okay, yeah. yeah Look yeah, at yeah, that guy. Yeah. Had, uh, he was letting his uh, crony uh, uh, informant run wild. So it shows you right there. 
Oh, yeah, look at, like I said, uh, look at the Conley thing and Whitey Bulger and all that stuff. And there was more people than Conley involved with that in the FBI. Yeah. What I about. Over the years, picture how many, all right, let's say they're the ones who got caught. Picture how many of them were doing stuff like that and how bad it really was. If they caught one of them and put one up as a sacrificial land, that tells you there's a whole bunch of them like that. Yeah, exactly. Without a doubt. Hi, Damien. Um, What's look, up, Jay? You know what? They And they all cover for each other, too. Like when, when my brother's trial was, uh, I guess it was the last one. I'm not sure. I think it was the last one. They, um, The agent on the case, Ted Otto, was fired from the FBI. Do you know that until today they're still waiting to find out why he was fired? <laughs> really? Yeah, wow. he was, and then rehired just after the last trial, my brother's last trial. Yeah, that guy's a creep. Uh huh. And they 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 all stick up for each other too. You'll never find out why. I think before Charlie died, he did find out why. Oh, they're all gonna lie for each other and have each other's back. They what? They're all gonna lie for each exactly. other. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, Damien Artemi says, I made the most amazing chicken cutlets tonight. I haven't stopped chewing for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that stuff we made the other night was good. I ate it uh, the next day. Oh, you, you had his brisket? Yeah, it was good. It was good? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's always been a good cook. <laughs> Marla is the breast job a birthday gift. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good yeah, baby. Really? Yeah. Yeah. This dog will pick up anything. Aww. My is harder than 50? Really? My 40th. Oh, I don't. I never mind the years. See, it never bothered me. I think guys are different. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe some guys. My, I never minded my age. I don't. Mm -hmm. You know, I never really did. Me I'll be forty-four years old on the twelfth. The years flew by. You're all. Oops, excuse me. I got the hiccup. You're all around. You're all around the same age. Most of the content creators on here are, are you're all at the same age. Yeah, a bunch of Gen X uh, and some boomers. Some Gen Xs and boomers. Yeah. Oh, the most depressing age is 29. I didn't think 29 <laughs> was depressing. <laughs> the yeah, women, it's probably different. Maybe some guys. I know my I have a guy cousin that don't like saying his age. He's uh. He's a, he's embarrassed about it, and I don't know why. He looks normal for his age, but I don't know. Maybe it's just something. I don't understand it either. Oh yeah, the Who social knows? security club. Oh, has little Chucky, <laughs> little Chucky tonight. Um, uh, treated to Chinese food. She made my whole night. What did you? What uh, kind did you get? Um. I got um, shrimp with lobster sauce. I love that. What kind of Chinese food? Shrimp, shrimp with lobster sauce alone. You must have rice yeah. with it, yeah, right? It, it was a combination. That's what I wanted. Oh, ah, okay. And, um, and spare ribs. All right, so it's uh, no rice, right? It's just spare ribs. Right. Uh, yeah, it's fried rice, a roast right. fried rice, uh, and um, the shrimp with lobster sauce. But you know what I do? So I, I pick like the little pork out of the uh, fried rice. I don't really eat Oh, them. you don't like those little things? No, I, that's what I eat, the pork. Yeah, I don't eat oh. the rice. Yeah. So you know what? You don't eat the rice? Not too much, no. You know what you should do? You should get a strainer, right? And, yeah. and grab a strainer and dump the rice in the strainer, all of it, and just shake it. And all the rice will come out and you'll have all the little meat. <laughs> No, I'm serious. <laughs> I think it would be very helpful for you in your Chinese experience. <laughs> uh, can you do me a favor? Otherwise, I have to take the headphones off. I gotta put them down. I the headphones off. off. Back and to the right. And you do the hokey pokey. <laughs> and can you take Cujo downstairs? We usually want to fight me again. 
She's so nosy too. She has to look and see what uh, what uh, my daughter did with me. <laughs> Dogs are little fikinazas. Yeah, she's weird. I swear she's weird. Um, Maybe she wants a piece of the little chicken. <laughs> did you feed her her chicken? What? Did you feed the dog her chicken? Or did she get some? Yes. Uh, I cooked for them earlier. They had uh, chicken with carrots and rice. No, will, nah, will the dog try to like get some of your little like pork uh, beef stuff in there? Um, no, they can't have that. I had shrimp and they can't have shrimp. No, they can't have shrimp, but they could probably eat those little uh, beefy things that you... You, you take out of the rice. A little pork? No, I can't give them pork. No? Are they Muslim? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I don't think dogs can have pork. I think they get diarrhea from it. Oh. Uh, I think. Yeah, I don't feed my dog table food. Well, I give them uh, cooked chicken. And Once in a blue that. moon, I'll give him a scrap of something, but he's got his milk bones and stuff. So oh, you do? If Rocco likes milk bones? Yeah, he likes these milk bones. I get him. I get him at the store. Oh, all right, very good. He's eating sticks. Eat, we don't eat um, milk bones. Yeah, I had a dog that wouldn't eat them either. I had a shepherd that wouldn't eat milk bones. I don't know why. Yeah, my dog's born. Uh, Marla, a real deal says uh, he is almost twice your age. I like Just, that picture, real deal. You have some nerve being upset. Listen. <laughs> you have some nerve being upset. Yeah, I uh, blocked Fish. I blocked him. Just so you know, Fish, that was me who blocked him. And uh, before you call my father names, uh, your father, your mama. Uh, Fish is uh, a transgender, so he's a little. <laughs> and he's under, uh, telling people that, that you're going to make fun of him and call him that, so he could use it as a like a victim, victimhood. I always, I always got a kick out of fish, but uh, to call my father names, there was no reason for that. So you're blocked. And I'm sure you'll come back here like somebody else. And if you call my father names again, I'm going to call you again. Uh, Someone should poison his fish. What happened? <laughs> they should poison his fish tank. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to see all those little fish floating at the top. Oh, a little fishy. Gone. That's so, man, that's so mean. I'll feed him to Angel's cats. No. <laughs> My, my Kitty cat. Towers, we're having fish tonight, Kitty Towers. It's a fish night in Kitty Towers. My grandsons just lost their their fish. They had what kind for, was it? Um, they had them for two years. Yeah, they live a long time. I had a friend who had a frog for 20 years. She lived two years. Now, is that long for a fish? I, I just know the frogs live in turtles. Forget about it. I think for a goldfish, that was pretty long. Oh, wow. That's awesome. I can't kill them within the first week. <laughs> Wait, What's that noise, MRA? Uh, it's the shackles I'm putting on these people. <laughs> My daughter goes, oh, God. You can't hear it because I have the headphones on. It's doing, it's doing womp, 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 womp. Oh, uh, Charlie Brown time. Yeah. Um, well, you didn't figure out the headphone thing yet? No, I hate it. It's yeah, you don't want... Why don't you go back to... Why don't you go back to the old way that you did it before? Yeah, I really should. Yeah, it make sure... Does it, does it give sound, you... But does the microphone sound better? Yeah, it, it might sound a little better, but it's no difference. We could understand you and hear you good before, so... Yeah. Why well, put up with the extra... You know, like pain and pain. I w I wouldn't yeah. wear them. A right, uh, boy caught the, the headphones. Yeah, I'm taking them off because they're giving me an earache. Hold on. What's up, man? Yeah, I'd boycott those things for sure. You know, sometimes I put them on. You know, sometimes they give me a neck ache. I don't know why. My neck will hurt after I wear them. I don't know why. It's weird. Yeah, I um. It it, it, my ears uh, feel like they they were. I can't explain it. It's a very weird feeling on my ears. I don't like it. Uncomfortable, right? It's very uncomfortable. 
Yeah. But everybody said I sound better with the with the microphone. Yeah, we can still sound uh hear you the other way. We can still hear. Okay. If, if you couldn't hear you if it was all racked up, that'd be different. Yeah. Oh, here he is. Fish comes right back. Oh, no, that's not fish. Fish is uh, Gravesend, Brooklyn, I think. Well, I don't know. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you, Emory. Oh, I said hallelujah. Oh, okay. For, for what? My dog... Uh... Didn't bite this uh, can over here. I thought he was going to pick the can up. Usually he'll pick anything up. <laughs> I got to throw it in the garbage, matter of fact. See, these people litter like sons of bitches over here, and I hate it. I'll throw this in the garbage. Assassinino is 50, really? You don't look 50. He's 39. You don't look 50 at all. I saw you. Don't forget. I saw you. Never would have thought if they thought you were young, not an incel. Wow, I can't believe that Cesarino's 50. He sounds younger too. He sounds like the guy from uh that's doing the uh the Goodfellas intro. He sounds like Ray Liotta sometimes. Yeah, you think so? <laughs> yeah. I seen someone else say it in the comment section once. <laughs> I can't take him. I really did. A couple of videos. People said that about him? Yeah, I stuck up for him, though. And says, no, he's Bobby D. Uh, please don't squeeze the shaman. Uh, that was Mel Cooley. Yeah, Mr. Cooley. Oh, wait, Mel Cooley? Mr. Mooney was on. Oh, all right. <laughs> I messed them up, yeah. Mr. Mooney was on I Love Lucy. It was Mel Cooley, yeah. So it was Mr. Cooley. That's who he looked like, the, the guy from the A&P with those dark, dark... Um, so that's so called disinformation. What? Trying, trying to throw people off the tail of the store where you uh, did the m m heist. Yeah, the a and P. I I don't even think they have A&Ps anymore. I don't think so. No. Uh, look at that. Oh, I'm trying to catch up. I'm so far behind. I'm scrolling down. <laughs> I'm really far behind. They're still talking about um about the A and P. Well, you're gonna jump to the uh, you're gonna skip all them and just jump down to the to the new comments. Well, I, should do. I wouldn't get stuck up like an hour behind or half hour yeah, behind. I'm always an hour behind. Right now, just I'm go ahead to the bottom. Of... Just go to the bottom and just go right up to the uh, the new ones. Oh, that do that. Start from the bottom and then work your way up. Well, to the new comments coming in. If you're like a half hour, twenty yeah, minutes yeah, behind, I'm behind. I'm I would just down. yeah, I just start it right uh right over. Yeah. Um, okay. Give me one second. I have to. Uh, let me just. Uh, Any plans for your birthday, Mala? Any birthday bashes? Anything going on the eleventh? I'm actually going into West Virginia. Oh really? Yeah. Let I thought you live in West Virginia. No, I live in the Poconos, but I'm going into West Virginia. Where the hell are the Poconos? <laughs> Sounds familiar. Um, I'm serious, are you teasing me? <laughs> are they in the Carolinas? Pennsylvania. Oh, Pennsylvania. Okay. William Penn, the founder of Pennsylvania. Oh. First Continental Congress. They got a lot of history under their belt. Oh, I think uh, my son is uh first capital. Kinda. Well, they were pushing for Philadelphia to be the capital. I think my son is in that fight too. 
He's huh? He's streaming the fight. I think. What fight? Uh, I don't know the UFC. As I always say, one of the many things I love about Angel is she knows a lot more than she will ever say. <laughs> and that's true. That's true. Well, Angel's a good, loyal person. You, if you tell her something that stays between you and her, you can trust her. It does. It Just does. Don't leave any M&Ms around her. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> exactly. Because you will be fleeced for your M&Ms. Yes. I will. Um... Well, I might, I might just, uh, <laughs> I won't steal them from you, but I, uh, I will ask you. We'll make you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> um, okay, so Fish turned in his new and, uh, he is going to be in the more stupid question. So I'm just going to. Uh, well, what question is it? I don't even want to say. Uh, hi, everyone. I always watch the show, but I'm never in chat because I didn't have a account. Wanted to introduce myself to you to all. Conservative Lady US. Hello. How you doing? Lady. Are you from Texas, Conservative Lady, by any chance? From Texas. Just curious. Yeah. Just curious. Hello and welcome. Can you drop the link again for me? Yeah, of course. Are you going to get out of that Wong Wong town tunnel? No, this is Julius Caesar. What? It's Julius Caesar, not Wong Town. But, but are you going to, uh, you're making it like this uh, weird noise. Oh, because uh, I'm I'm in front of the uh the heater at work. Hold on, I'm gonna join in a second. Okay. My eyes are very red right now. Hold on. <laughs> Here we see. <laughs> Closer to Pocono Palace, Tommy Lucchese. Where are you, Mom? Are you telling people where you live? What they gonna do? Come and find me. Good luck. Uh, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look who is here. One of my favorite people. Hello there, Mr. Smith. Hello, ma'am. How are you? How are you? Mr. Smith. Oh, I have to. I we have to, love having you on, Mr. Smith. I'm, I'm, yes, ma'am. Yeah. We I, love having you on. What's going on? Well, thank you. Uh, I want to talk about AMP, like the grocery store. Are <laughs> you going to uh, arrest me? No, I'm I, I'm not employed by any agency anymore that has any powers to uh, do that. No. Yes, I know. I'm only kidding. But <laughs> oh, thank you, mean? thank you. Oh, Vincent Price is on again. Who? Oh, would have known. If I would have known this, I would have recorded it. Just give me one second, Mr. Smith, and then sure. you can. No, you're no, you're fine. It's your channel. Do what you want. Oh, Curse of the Werewolf is on. And I missed it. Oh, crap. Yeah, we missed it. I just got done watching The Raven the other night with him in it. <laughs> oh, you did? Remember we were talking about that like a month or uh, two months ago? Oh, well, I like on. Boris Karloff. I watch anything with him in it. But I like Vincent Price, too. Oh, yeah, they, were, yeah, they were both yeah. great. They were yeah. both great. See, when I was younger, those are the movies I love to watch. Those are the ones I still watch. They have a bunch of them on Tubi. They have like like the horror ones. They're uh, what is that? I think it's a European country that hammer that hammer something. They they used to make a lot of um like vampire movies with Christopher Lee. I'm trying to think. It was and Marie. Do you remember? He might know. Oh, he'll know. Who is it? Not Do you really. remember that company? Oh. It was, it was, um, it, it's, I think it's a European company. It's a film company, and they used to make a lot of horror movies with Christopher Lee. It's Hammer, Hammer hmm. something. Correct. Hammer time. That's <laughs> <laughs> MC Hammer. That's MC Hammer. Yeah, MC Hammer. Steen. No, it's Hammer. Mm, no. Hammer something. Uh, had, I watch a lot of their movies because I don't like the new stuff. Now, what is it like? A underground thing? Uh. 
<laughs> well, it's like back in the 70s, they were real popular. They made a bunch of uh, Christopher Lee when he played Dracula. Those, that company. I'll have to look at it. Yeah, I can't, I'm not too sure. I'm not either. I don't know. Emma Marie, Tommy Real Deal wants to know, is that the country and western singer who is a recovering addict? Uh, no, no, this kid's young and no, it's not. Okay. He's like in his 20s, I believe. That's of what it is. Of course you can, Tommy. Anytime, Tommy. Of course you can. It's Hammer ha Hammer Horror Films. Thank you, Gerard. Hammer Horror? Oh, Frankie. Are you seeing chat today? Really? Yeah. Um, the next time we talk to him, tell him I said hi. Hi, Scott. Hello. Um, wait, Scotty. Hammer Horror? It's Hammer Horror. <laughs> hammer Horror? Horror? <laughs> Okay, hammer, it's Hammer Horror. Oh, Hammer Horror. Okay. Or Hammer horror. Production. Okay, oh, horror. Ha okay. Hammer Horror. Yeah. Oh, I you said ha yeah. Hammer Horror. What movies? Like, besides uh, a Dracula movie, that's all they did? They did They did a lot of scary movies, but they're like the 70s. Uh, not everybody likes them because they come off cheesy to people, but I like them. I can't remember. I'm not into really it's too much old horror movies. I've seen a few of them. Oh, I am. remember uh, My Bloody Valentine. That was that. No, was how come I don't remember that? My Bloody the Valentine. Oh. They did the Mummy. Do you remember that one? Yes. Yeah, the Mummy. The Mummy, See, the mummy yeah. didn't scare me. Yeah. The Mummy yeah. never scared me. The Invisible Man I thought was funny. But you know who scared me? Dracula or, we, or the werewolf scared me. Who's the your werewolf? favorite Dracula? My favorite was, um, oh, Bella Lugosi. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, he was the only one I can remember. Chris I can't remember the names. Yeah, Christopher Lee was good, too. Him. Christopher Lee was good. The old Frankenstein movie. Yeah, Frankenstein, I loved. I Must loved all favorite. those movies. Did you see the one with the Wolfman? The Wolfman was I love great. The Wolfman, yes. I love The Wolfman, yes. Not that remake. That was BS. I didn't like that remake. No, the one the with Mark Cheney. Did anybody like the De Niro Frankenstein one? Because I did. He's like, um, Frankenstein and what night? <laughs> that was fun. It was, yeah, it was fun. De Niro played Frankenstein? Yeah, Mary What's Shelley. That noise? Somebody's scratching. Hold on, hold on. Who's scratching? The cat. Not me. Oh, the dog. But oh uh, yeah, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Who's scratching? She talking to us? No, the cat's a dog. The dog. No. Yeah, MRE, remember? Uh, I I forget who did the uh, comedy skip. It's like uh, Daenerys Frankenstein. He's like, oh, I'm scary. I'm the Frankenstein. Ooh. <laughs> remember that? Uh, I can't remember. Was it SNL or um, it was something? But uh, they made fun of <laughs> they made fun of Daenerys being Frankenstein. Like, oh yeah, I'm Frankenstein. It's, it's scary. he actually played a pretty good part though. But you you wouldn't think so. But it was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's pretty harsh when he broke that little kid's neck though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They chased him uh, out of the town. Yeah, you're gonna bring him his the book, Frankie. Bring him the book. Yeah, that was funny though. Oh, Dark Shadows was good too. Dark Shadows, yeah, we will. Never watch. seen it. You know what I'm watching now? What? You're not gonna believe it. It's on freebie. Um, Dallas <coughs> on the second season of Dallas, and I oh, love really? I love Jr. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to watch it with my mother and my aunts when I was a little kid, Dallas. Bobby's a sweetheart, but JR is something else. I, and I'm only on season two. I think it goes like 14 seasons long. Like it was really. Oh, you, you've never watched it before? I used to hear my mom and him talk about it when I was younger, and they always used to talk about JR, and I never knew what they were talking to about. But now, oh my gosh. He's now, is the father dead, dead yet? Or is no, he still? He, he died just in the second season, correct? No, he no second season. So he just ran off Gary. The, there's three brothers, and he just yeah. ran off yeah, Gary. Yeah, yeah, Gary. He ended up on Not to Landon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> would you, I used would to watch you, that as a little kid. 
Marla, would you like some uh, disturbing uh, news about that? Uh, no, I don't want to know who shot Jr. Don't tell no, me. No, no, no. I'm not telling you that. Okay. Uh, part of it was filmed in Potomac, Maryland. Really? Absolutely. Really? Yeah. Why? Potomac, Maryland, off of uh, River Road. Why? Why? There, there was just that's what Hollywood does. Like they just look for like they they place the the uh, the show in a certain area but they film in different locations but yeah they filmed part of dallas in potomac maryland really uh, that's a fact yeah yeah, well, so yeah. they use the uh they used a ranch to dub it uh it wasn't a ranch it was a, a huge house like a mansion oh okay like a huge house it was off of a uh, river road and uh, some other area like some other but yeah no they filmed part of that uh series in potomac maryland yeah, which Why is they weird. Start filming that because that's the era I wish I was born in. I love their clothes. That's they like the eighties. So less that's, complicated. I don't yeah, like those cars because they drove like big boats. Yeah, that's all. The, that's all the eighties. Well, that's uh, that's when they used to wear the uh, what is those shoulder pads? A lot of the women wore the yeah, shoulder well, pads. They're still kind of like. Hey, I like still I still wear like. those. Be easy. I still wear those. <laughs> oh my God, I had those too. I wore them. We all wore them. It happened to still, Tommy Real Deal. Still wear them. Tommy, where are you? He's what putting happened? on his shoulder pads. He's fine. He's oh, putting wait. On his I think he's pads. trying to come back. Yeah, no. He might have lost his Wi Fi for a second. All right. Tommy, you back? Put your avatar on. Hello? Tommy. Oh, Christ. I thought that was a bat on his ceiling for a second. No, that's his uh, alarm thing. Tommy, we can't hear you. How come we can't hear you? You okay? Yeah, Scott. My Yeah, they used to watch Falcon Crest, too. Yep, Dallas, Falcon Crest. Oh, Falcon And them used to watch that. Dolores liked it. Dude, she was like a little matriarch of the, uh, and Falcon Crest, I believe, yeah, she was, I uh, forget her name, but she was the old matriarch that ran the family, the grandmother. Yeah, dude, MRA, when I was going to school as a kid and they were filming Dallas in this Potomac house, like they shut down the street and they're like, we're, we're trying to go to school or come home from school. And they have like the police out there, they're like shutting down the roads and stuff. And they're filming in this stupid house, in Potomac, like a mansion or whatever. And they block the streets, and we'd be look, uh, we'd be delayed going to school or coming home from school because of freaking Dallas filming in. <laughs> what? Really? Yeah, it was horrible. It was stupid. It was stupid. But that's how that's how they work. Oh, uh, block the roads off and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, that's how they. Yeah, work. Scotty, I got you your hat too. I got to send you your hat this week. My street, I will never stop watching Andy Griffith. I watch him every single so night. So my mother. I love that yeah. show. I love that show. Mm -hmm. um, me TV is on 24 hours a day, just so you know. And well, if you, know Pluto, Pluto, you can watch it all the time. It, it's his own channel, Andy Griffith show if you, on Pluto. She's oh, no, really? Barbara Stanwyck was in, uh, she was in Big Valley, Carol, quote. I, I love Barbara Stanwyck. She was good. She was in Big Valley. She played she the mom. Great. Yeah, she played the mom. That's on today. That was on. That's on Saturdays. Yeah, I had a huge crush on Audra, Linda Evans. Me too. Yeah, she was beautiful. Oh, the first few Linda seasons Evans. of Dallas. I mean, Dallas above wow. Big Valley. Linda Evans. Oh yeah. Yeah, she was a beautiful woman. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. And I like the uh, the two I brothers. I like the brother with all the black leather who used to beat everybody up. His name was Nick. That's right, Nick Barkley. Yeah. Yeah, Nick Barkley was a tough yeah, son of a bitch. Yeah. yeah. I like when he always got in the bar fight to beat the people up. It was very. It was fun to watch. Hmm? Bonanza, Gunsmoke, all it. that stuff. I I loved all those westerns. Wade Murder She Wrote. My aunt Dolores loved Murder She Wrote. I watched it sometimes. Yeah, I watched it sometimes. It was okay. Dude, chips, emergency. Um, like See, I never shows. liked chips. Never. What? Never that show, chips. No. Nope. Chips. I remember it. I never I watched it. 
I went to military school with Eric Estrada's cousin. Like they look identical. I think really? I've said this on your channel really? before. Really? Yes, they. That, yes, they're identical. I went to military school with him, and it was like living in chips because he's like, yeah, he's he's making that he's making that show. I'm like, you look just like him. Uh, Where did Tommy go? Tommy, you, I'm dropping the link. But go ahead. I know I don't like. Uh, I didn't like that show at all. I didn't. Like how, how how about the A Team? Yeah, wow. I like the A Team. The A Team I had the toy. Now. The A Team is on uh, on every night here, but I don't watch it. Oh, okay. No, that, that that's fine. I mean, that's a personal decision. No, I mean it's playing, but I'm not paying attention to it. No, that's fine. Oh, oh right now. No, I didn't have the toys. <laughs> You know, they're worth big money nowadays if you kept them toys. Yes. Yes. The 18 van. Big bucks. Yes. Huge. Huge. The 18 oh, van, yeah. forget about it. Right. Every it's time awesome. I move my phone, I hit the wrong, I hit the X and it, I cancel myself out like a dummy. Yeah, I, sometimes I hit the wrong button. It does the same to me. Sorry about that. I yeah, hit the wrong happened, button. They uh, sent a helicopter. What happened, it's Tommy? Funny. You feeling okay? I'm a little tired today. Uh, Why? That's what, <clears throat> you Is know. It? Why? Just tired. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now you're right, Scotty. They didn't cooperate, even though they were framed. They went to jail and did their time, even though they were framed. Who's that, Emery? Ah, uh, these Boston guys that got framed oh, for, yeah. the, for the murder. Oh, without a doubt. Bob Bowes. That's with the crooked FBI agents? Yeah, the crooked agents, big time. They framed these guys, yeah. took 30 years away from their lives. Yeah, and then they found out that they, that they did all that. And, yeah. And they got big money for it, but big deal. You can't get the time back. Yeah, that's the thing is you can't get that time back. Now, yeah, can they make their family live comfortably and stuff? Yeah, but you'll never get that those years back. Never. No. It's a shame. Yeah. Yeah, that is. It's, Why know, is this like... I'm sorry. Go ahead, Tommy. The FBI and... Uh, when, when people say organized crime, now, you know, of course... I may be a little biased, but organized crime. It's the government, the FBI. And, and, and you're seeing it more and more now every day with all these different agencies. It's crazy. It's yeah, there's corruption it. everywhere. Yeah. Uh, why is this sound familiar, uh, Leonard Peltier? Uh, I don't know. It's a French who, name, though. Who is that, Mr. Smith? I don't. Who? Who? What? What's the name? Uh, paid witness have come forward. Ron Palm's guilty. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know that name, but yeah, it's a French name. It sounds. It sounds familiar to me. I don't. I can't think right now. Um. I don't. Know. I don't. Oh, okay, I got him. What was it again? A Native American activist and member of the Ameri American Indian Movement. Right. He is. Let me try to see what's going on. Is this in the background? Yeah. Or? He got accused. He got accused of murder, um, and he served a lot of time. And then the people that, that I guess that someone came forward. He was framed, and someone came forward and admitted to the murders. And I don't know what happened to and him. And did he get out? I don't know. Um, I'm looking I think, now. I think. Uh, uh, Damn it, Mandy knows more about him. <clears throat> Probably. Mm. Probably. Oh, special pin code. Fried rice, orange chicken. What's orange chicken? I never heard of that. Orange chicken. Yeah, what is our orange chicken? I don't know. I don't eat I don't really eat that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, my favorite is lobster Cantonese too, Tommy. What's that? Oh, that Tommy. Yeah, that Tommy. <laughs> hey, to hey, Tommy. My biggest claim to fame is I was part of the largest street gang in the United States, the police. <laughs> right? Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. 
What that's happened? Yeah, but you, the jury, not all cops are bad. I'm talking about no. the FBI. No, I agree. No, I agree. Really, gay man? I agree. I agree. You know, cops got a job, and usually they do their job. And, you know, you got a few bad apples. Well, there's a few bad apples in every every organization. I don't care what it is. Yeah. You're going to find bad apples. I agree. But, you know, for the most part, cops do their job. You know, they get picked on a lot. And yeah, I un agree. Un I, unjustifiably, it's just I, I the culture we live in today. Right. I stuck by the Constitution and law, and there were others that did not. And, uh, you know what? Sorry, Angel. Fuck them. Uh, they okay. were they were done, which is good because they should have been there. In yeah, the first just like place. those five cops in uh, uh, what was it, Memphis? Oh, please feed me face. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I was part of the largest uh, street gang in America. It was pretty cool. It was fun. It was great. Thirty years. It was great. Who? No, I was saying. Oh Angel look. Here, oh, thank you for telling me. Thank God you're here. Otherwise, I never would have known. Oh my God, thank you, Mob Tube Mania. I never said her father was a saint. Oh, is that it? Is that it? Is that a I shaky? had no idea. <laughs> is there? Do oh, you have a shaky that asshole? <laughs> <laughs> you have a shaky wanky in the background, like I had the other night. He's got a good point, Julian Gonzalez. Look, the pressure from your, it's probably the pressure on your ears from the headphones. Yeah. See, I feel like so free right now. I can't. I have to get. Feel trapped, out. right? A little anxiety, sort of. <laughs> good, yeah. I have to get something out. Are, are they adjustable on your head where you can move, you know, spread them out more? I tried. I mean, but <laughs> Yes, it, it's fine. You, you do what you have to do. It's fine. We're no, all... but what's so funny? Well, you have to get you have to get things out. You have to, uh, you know, express things. Uh, no, it's <laughs> fine. Mr. Smith, you, have you been you drinking? Uh, <laughs> <Duh>. <laughs> okay. You just seem a little a little uh, tipsy. No, I'm not tipsy. I wish I was. I don't smoke anymore. I quit smoking three weeks ago. God bless. Oh, yes. On week three. Very so good, I, Mr. Smith. So I might be a little yeah, on good edge. for you. So I might be a little on edge, but uh, drinking tipsy? No. I drink piss water. I drink Coors Light. Give me a break. Oh, my yeah. God. Uh, Assassinina, you are very far from ugly. I, well. Damien, you do not look fifty. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, 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 you know he's he's not lying. He, someone actually asked that some some Sorry. ignorant woman. What'd she say? She looked. She asked, "Is this your dad?" <laughs> what? <laughs> but oh me, this, this lady looked like she, uh, like she looked like Beirut. She looked like a <laughs> war you know what I mean? guy. Yeah, well, she, had know, she asked if he was my father. I was like, what? what are you about? <laughs> then, then she said something. Damon's like, though, thanks for insulting me. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah you, you, know is, you know what it is? You look so much younger because you got that baby face. Well, he's got a baby face. He's got a baby face. He's got a big beard too, so it makes you look older. But this lady was this uh, lady was a dinosaur too. And not only that, was she a dinosaur? Like I said, she looked like she just came out of a war zone. Oh okay. I mean, <laughs> hair everywhere. I seen better heads on lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And she had the nerve you know, you want to hear a funny story. <laughs> Jesus. When, when I was I had my son when he when I was fifty, right? So uh, he was four years old when, we, when his mother and I split up. So I used to get him, especially on the weekends, especially Sunday, I used to take him out to eat. And I used to take him to a restaurant where they had the, the machines, you know, the sports machines. Yeah, and, yeah. And so people used to say, oh, how nice you're playing. You're with your grandfather. Oh. I used to say, he's my son. <laughs> when I was a little kid, my me too. When I was my father was a lot older than me, right? So 
Uh, people used to ask me, is that your grandpa over there? I said, no, it's my father. Are you kidding? You know yeah. what? And I was the complete opposite. One time I'm standing outside and my friends were walking by. I was about, I don't know, 15 or 16. And my friends walking by, a group of girls, and they're like, hey, Angel. And, and you know, they come walking over and, and, uh, and, and they asked me if I had a cigarette. I'm like, I don't smoke. Because I'm standing right next to my mother, but they thought my mother was my sister. <laughs> they all thought my mother was my sister. My mother always looked younger. She still looks good for her age, your mom. Ah, uh, thank yeah. you. Yeah, her mom's very attractive. Yeah. I've seen pictures of her when she was younger, too. Real, real pretty lady. You look a lot like your mother. My father was... I think about it now, like my father was so good like that. Like, uh, you know, um, like he knew that I smoked, but he didn't like, he didn't punish me or get mad at me or anything like that. He knew that I was smoking. I I need to get uh, reading glasses like you have angel. Uh, yours are so modern. Uh, mine. I look like a jackass. Modern. Um, I bought, I yeah, bought them modern. on Amazon. It was a box of six, and they come in all different colors. I know. I don't care what you put. What colors? On. I just need. I need something um, more. That's better than this. Well, mine are cheap. They what colors do they come in? A box from Amazon. Uh, the ones that I had on in that video when I first woke up were blue because mm -hmm. I because yes. red is my favorite, but I broke the red. The lens popped right out. Mm -hmm. And then there was a, like a brown and a black and a, and a and another color. I don't even mm -hmm. I don't even know what color it is because oh green I think green. Mm -hmm. But I I literally yeah I literally have like ten uh, glasses or pairs of glasses whatever you want to call them. But these are my favorite, right? Yeah. Um, and then the rest are just they're mud. They're nothing. I, they I hate them. I hate them. I hate them so much. I want to just break them. Let's kill them all. Yes, exactly. <laughs> they make me so angry because there's not a, they're not as good as these. So I want to know, um, like, where you get yours, and I I don't care what Amazon. I get them anywhere. Um, you can even find Amazon? them in Dallas. Amazon. Yeah, wait. Eighty five likes. We can do better than that. Please hit the like button, everybody. I we never walk out yeah, of here with see. less than a hundred likes. Yeah, well, we got, like got ninety one now. Oh, good. Yeah. Don't yeah. be stingy with the likes, people. Please. Yeah, but I think my, how, old, I feel, go ahead. how old do you think I am in that in my picture right there? hundred and three. No, that's no, I'm just, from I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just that's kidding. from yesterday. I'm just kidding. No, I didn't check I my was, phone. My I wish it was from yesterday. <laughs> mm. I have something cool. My and friend I was sixty I was fifty seven in that picture. Really? Oh, shit. Want to hear something yeah. cool? Yes. My friend Damien just told me. He's like, hey, Nick, you love history. So I just found out my ancestor was John Billington, and he was on the Mayflower. He signed the Mayflower Compact, and he was the first murderer in the country. Wait, what? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you mean our me? Gen Z? No, Damien. Uh, my other friend oh, Damien. Oh, Black Damien. Yeah, oh, okay. Black Damien. Oh. Oh, oh okay. Billington. That's pretty interesting. He was the first murderer. Wow. wow. Oh, look, everybody here, Joe Small. Who, whose father was a murdering mob boss? Raise your hand. Huh. I think I'll raise mine. Fucking sure. hell would even say that. Oh, the, 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 the same people who wear his shirts. They're the same people who got their father <laughs> in their, in their <laughs> hats right. and shirts. Yeah. Yeah. The same people who come and sit in here. Fucking uh, asshole. Damien says, what's the difference between a catfish and John A. Light? One's a filthy mm, uh, 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 and the other is a fish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what uh, uh, uh is, but it makes sense. Okay, that works. <laughs> you, oh, you didn't read it? No. There are words that I wouldn't fine. say on no. here. Oh, Angel. I click I on Scott's thing at, at 1034. 
Yes, wait. Bondicio says, Angel, don't forget the heavyweight UFC fight later tonight. John Jones. Yes, everybody, you can go over to um, uh, Bay 8th and NB's channel, and they're streaming the uh, the fight. I don't know if it's well, they're not. They're not streaming it because it's on uh, ESPN Plus, and they can't stream it. They would be getting trouble. They're, oh, they're so commenting they're not... on it. Yeah. So, they're oh, they're just on commenting it. on it? Oh, okay. Yeah, because I went over there on my iPad. And yeah. You, you, you can't scream it. It's like screaming an NFL game when you're not supposed to. Yeah, you know, they, stealing, have it right. they, they, they consider it stealing content. Yeah. Right. right. Same yeah. thing. I think they'll be all right, though, if they use it off uh, uh, no. the no, other thing. Won't. My friend uh, is gonna, might join, so if I see him in the chat, I'll tell you to drop the link. Yes, I can't wait. Which friend? My friend Damien. Oh, Argenti. Oh, so this no, will be Black no. Damien. So Shit. then Damien will be number 13. I think so. I'm not sure. Yes, this will be your 13th friend. If he knows how to do it, I'm not sure he knows how. We'll see. All right. We'll see. We call him Bernie Williams. He used to play center field. Yes, so. that's the one. Yes. I would love for him to be number 13. Oh, we used to put him in center field because he's very fast. And in center field, you've got to be fast, right? Because you've got to cover... A, lo a large area in center field. Then he had a good arm too. So, can you? When he was on my team, I would I would you try to pick him uh, high up uh, in the picks, and I used to put him uh, usually uh, put him at center because he could cover a lot of ground. Dude, could you imagine Trock as center? Seriously, no. Trock would be like a first baseman. <laughs> uh, well, there he is. Can you drop the link for him? Hey, Bernie. Yeah. When, when the link's dropped, uh, just click on it. Yeah, click on it. And say hi. Hey, just found out that his, uh, his his family member was the first murderer in America. It's pretty cool. Yeah, oh, and, and of course he's your friend, Emory. Okay. Yes, good people. He, That's he, actually that actually is pretty cool, honestly. But, yeah, yeah. He, he was he signed the Mayflower Compact, uh, and he was I guess he I don't know, must have gotten a fight. I don't know how it happened. I was going to fight with somebody, murdered somebody, and went on trial and got convicted. One of the first that, people. That, That's actually pretty cool. Sassino loves the 80s and 90s. Oh, yeah, you've got to bring him Josie's book. That was from like an hour ago, though. But. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm going. I'm running down. I'm running down. Yeah, you down. should always stay on top of them. I yeah. know. Well, I, because you know why? Because when when I play this back like tomorrow and I start listening to it, and then I realized that MRE said something really funny, and I didn't laugh because I wasn't, wasn't paying attention to him because I'm looking at the chat. I rarely say anything funny. Yeah, or well, anything me, comes and I do this. Something. Tommy Real Deal says something, and when we don't even answer him because I'm looking at the chat. Well, he's bringing America's first murderer on here. Well, a relative <laughs> of America's <laughs> first murderer on here, so that should be uh, pretty good. Oh wait, there's one I love, Jade Island. No, there's a the, which day? I don't know. I've never heard of Jade what? You know what restaurant, the Chinese restaurant I love in Staten Island? It's right on that main boulevard. And it is a fortune cookie or fortune something. Hi, Hello. Damien. Hello, hey. how you doing? What's Hi, up, Hi, how are you? Uh -oh. Good, good. So wait, now wait, everybody. This is MRE's 13th childhood friend? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, we've been friends probably like 30 years, maybe more. Well, How old are you? I'm 40. All right, I'm I'm 40. I've known you since you were, yeah, since you were like yeah, five. I was, I was like, oh, yeah, longer than that. For well, even in Providence, I remember over on Harold Street, I Street, Street yep. over there? I knew Michael, that. Michael Duffy, the firefly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Michael, with the, when we were in uh, one day, we're sitting in the room, he goes. Want to see it? Want to see fire? I'm like, no, not in here. Wait till we go outside. He burnt his mattress on fire. His mother and my mother had to throw the mattress out the window. What? Yeah, he, he lit the curtains up too one day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How old were you? Uh, I, I was. I was, I was real little. I was probably like five or six, and yeah, we were like eight or nine, maybe. You guys uh, are setting shit on fire at that age. Well, he was uh he he was a pyro. He had a problem with it when he was little. He grew up to be actually a very good and successful person. But when he was little, he was enamored by fire. Like 
Holy he would just love it. It's like his mother would check him for matches constantly. <laughs> pat him down. Pat him down before school. You have any, you have my my any dad matches? hated him. Every time I used to go hang with him, he'd be like, oh, well, you're not smoking cigarettes with Michael. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's okay. awesome. Okay, so now wait a second here. Wait a minute. Okay, so you're Damien. You're yes. a different Damien. You're Damien... Dias. Dias. Okay. So now you know Emory since you're a child, and and you know him. I, I'm so excited. You're number thirteen. <laughs> I've, number had 13. 13. I've had thirteen. I've had thirteen of Emory's fourteen. Child. What? Isn't it fourteen? No, this is number thirteen. I'm very well, very excited. I always thought that I should be fourteen because that's my birthday on Valentine's Day. Oh my God! Like my brother John. <laughs> No shit. My oh, really? Son is Valentine's Day, and also a very, very dear friend of mine. Her birthday is on Valentine's Day. I will not say her name right now, but anyway. Um, so, so you're at the number thirteen. So now, let me ask you about your friend Nick. Oh boy, Nico. Oh boy. What do you want to tell us about him? He's a very stand-up kid. I know okay. him my, I known him for a long time, and he's always been a straight shooter and a good kid. Saved my ass a couple of times. Really? And he saved mine. One time, I'll tell you this funny story. One time we were in uh we were I was in front of my house, and uh Damien and Nick, my friend Nikki, were in the backyard, and I'm in front, and I am talking to these girls in a car, and all of a sudden I see a bunch of kids come around the corner. And at first I thought they were our friends, like 14, 15 kids. Then I realized oh, these kids ain't our friends. And they look up to me like, we don't have no problem with you. We want your friend. We want your friend. They mean my friend Danny, the small kid. Like, we want your friend. So I looked at my friend. I wasn't going to give my friend up. So I looked at my friend. I said, go get the baseball bats. And he ran in the backyard to get the baseball bats. All 14 of these dudes jumped on me, hit me with Heineken bottles, were kicking me, all kinds of stuff. All of a sudden, I hear thunk, thunk, thunk. And I look up. It's Dayman and the kid, uh, Danny, hitting people with clubs and knocking them out, getting them off me. It was pretty, <laughs> pretty wild oh, night. Remember you had that yeah. the pipe that had all blood on it? Yeah. <laughs> so, so wait a second. So now, so Damien, so have you been on here a while? Have you been listening and hearing everything that's been going on? I've been, I, I just got on right now. I was telling him about my um, ancestor, John Billington, that um, was the first, he was on the Mayflower when he was the first murderer in Rhode Island. Serial killer. I guess he was killing people on the Mayflower and stuff too. It's, it's kind of hot, but um, <laughs> what? none of my business. No, it's, it's none of my business. Wait. So, oh, so, so we. So he came to this country and he was a serial killer. And uh, what happened? He got caught. Yeah, he was the first person hung in America for oh, murder. Wait. God, are you kidding? How'd you find out that this guy was your relative? My sister went on Ancestry.com and they started doing research on everything. And my my um mom's maiden name is Potter, and there's a lot of potters and hazards that um were like real big in Rhode Island. And they date all the way yeah. back to John yeah, Billington. There's, yeah, there's a lot of potters. Uh, yeah. Wow. And, and they found they founded Portsmouth, Rhode Island. All right, Portsmouth. Yeah, and then I in um, is he buried? Do you know where he's buried? I know over in um East Matunic, there's like a um, there's another place or whatever. It's called Potter's Pond, and then like the, my family had a um, a state on there where they owned slaves and stuff. And I'm mixed as myself, so it was pretty weird finding all that stuff out. What do you mean mixed? I'm mixed. I'm Cape Verdean, Portuguese, Irish, and English. Really? And Italian too. Yes. Don't forget the Italian. Yes, an Italian. Because okay. your mom's just like me, half and half. Yeah. Irish and Italian. You know, I still got that shamrock flag your mother, uh, your mom gave me. I don't know if you remember. Oh, yeah. I think Edie was there then, but yeah, I still got that shamrock flag. Hmm. Yep. I don't know if you remember what you had to wear with the green, the gold and green shamrocks. It was like yeah, I remember you were talking about Caserta's the other day too. My mom's own. Um, Husband Bud, his um nephew used to was the pizza chef over there. All right, at Caserta. 
Yeah. Remember you owned that place on Kinley Street, Johnny O's? Oh, yeah, for a little bit. How long was that open? Probably like three years or something. It was short-lived. Yeah, basically in the back of my old house over there. Yeah. Oh, was it where the old... Uh... No, it was where the cookie lady was. Oh, okay. Gotcha. What's gotcha. the cookie lady? The it store. was a breakfast. Yeah, it was like a breakfast place. Like. Oh, and that's what it was called? Cookie lady? Yeah, the cookie lady. I actually yeah. love that name. It was like a little hole in the wall joint, uh, mom and pop shop. This like old retired woman would bake, uh, you know, breakfasts, cookies, stuff like that. It was a pretty oh, cool shit. joint. That is pretty cool. Okay, so wait, I have to ask Damien some questions. Oh. So Damien, so now you you you've been hearing the crap that they've been saying about MRE. Yeah. And what do you say to that? I say bullshit. <laughs> Okay. Bullshit so, on that. <laughs> okay, so I want this loud and clear. Um, so now you are the thirteenth friend who came on here and said that uh the, what they're saying about him is all bull crap. He is no um rat and he no. is and you're saying he's not a racist either. No, obviously not. Because <laughs> he's friends with me, my buddy PJ and Jay Jason, we're all yeah, we're all, all colored. So wait, you're all black. wait, one minute. You're all what? We're all colored, so. Oh, so you're 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 what? You're you're. What do you mean colored? You're Cape, Cape black. Verdean is Cape Verdean's black and Portuguese mix, pretty much. It's an island off the coast of Africa and Portugal. Port the Portuguese settled it. Okay, so I didn't even know that. So that's nice to know. And and the other two friends are what? They're black. They're Cape, Ver they're Cape Verdean too. But you'd think they were Italian by the way they talk. <laughs> yeah, you would. <laughs> if you talk to that, if you talk to Jason on here, you would you would think you were talking to an Italian person. You would yeah, and, and he looks like the predator. <laughs> With dreads. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't know. Listen, you would really think you were talking. He could come on here and, and do a whole stream. You would think he was an Italian guy. You wouldn't. Yeah. You, yep. So, you wouldn't know. Oh, Amy, could you bring him on here so that I can have fourteen of his? <laughs> bring them both. Bring them both back. We have. We have uh, fifteen. Oh, I got 14 and 15 of MRE's childhood friends. I just there's can't a lot of people. That. There's like another, you know, how many there's like 10, 15 more people that watch, but they just wouldn't join or nothing. But there's a lot of people from my town and city. Yes, I know. I didn't think we would ever get Tony Ubats on here, and he came on. I got him yeah. to come on. So Tony was on. But you weren't here that night, MRE. You weren't here, but Tony was here. And the the other one that I'm still trying to get is Frankie Calabria. Oh, there he is. Frankie, I see you over there. <laughs> I, I see too. you, Frankie. You were supposed to be number 13. Yeah, I've known, like I said, I've known him for a long time. And we always hung together. Uh, he hung with my little brother, too. I hung with his older brother. Uh, our family's always lived near each other. He Come was on, in Frankie. My Come, on up. Come on up, Frankie. Come on up. Frank was a year ahead of me, because you didn't go to middle school with Frank, right? No, you were. No. You were. No, you were my brother's grade. Yeah. No, yeah. See, you were, actually... He used to, he used to make his brother leave all the time, and he used to. I'd go over his house. He'd bring me into the room to play video games, and his brother would start crying. <laughs> ah, you stealing my friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was some funny stuff. Yeah. Wow, I'm so excited. We had a lot of fun times. How about Vinny and Joey? Um, yeah, oh, they were classic. <laughs> I miss them. I wish they were alive because they would be on this thing having a ball. Right now. <laughs> that was Joey would call me at all hours of the night to talk about stuff on the History Channel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see this documentary on Hitler? Wow, what a sick fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so now do you live near him still? Um, I'm moving back to Johnston, but I live in um Cranston right now with my sister. And how Please. far is that? Not far, Rhode Island terms. Yeah, it's 45 minutes to get to end to end in Rhode Island. Yeah, Rhode, Island, Island, Rhode Island. You yeah, you stretch your arms in Rhode Island, you can you can just go across. Yep, everybody knows everybody. Everybody's in everybody's business. Yeah, 
Yeah, we live in a small, small state. Oh, uh, you talked to PJ the other night, Scott? Yeah, so now Scott says, night. I was talking to PJ <laughs> the other night saying how they were calling MRE racist, and he was like, F them punks talking about my brother like that. See? <laughs> That's what I mean. You know, like, this is number 13. Number 13. Your 13th friend. And they all say the same thing. No, not one of them has said that uh, anything that these people are claiming is true. No, these people are retarded. No, it's yeah. not. Exactly. I, I, can, I can tell you personally, Angel, uh, and I've never talked to MRE on the phone or email or anything like that. Um, his knowledge of history, uh, the way he expresses himself, the things he says. There's nothing racist about anything he says or does. All right. That's my personal opinion. I will stick by that. I will stand by that. Uh, there's nothing uh, that I'm not going to. Well, OK, Nick, sorry. Uh, MRE does that says Hey, I'm racist. These are assholes that attack him because they don't like his intelligence. They're intimidated by the things he says. You're right. That's what it comes down to, real deal, right? Well, they, I didn't let them march to Berlin with me, and they're very angry. Yeah. No, you see, you see what it is. When they had nothing substantive to say, and they can't argue with somebody or debate with somebody, right. they come out with the name calling. Exactly. Racist homophobe, all the isms. It's crazy. Well, like I said, on the, the newspaper mm -hmm. clip, when they said they came in my house, they said they found Nazi flags. They didn't sit, they didn't say the other flags that I had up because it's not juicy. It's not a, it's not going to make the papers. It's not going to make the thing sound good or nothing. So they wanted right. to just throw the Nazi stuff. And Damien's been in my house and seen my Nazi flag, my World War II flag. They had Nazi mm -hmm. flags. I had all kinds of flags. Now, were most of them German uh, National Socialist flags? Yes, they were, because that's where the money was at, and that's what I liked getting. And I like selling and making money on them. And you got a few that, pictures uh, with, a, with a Death's Head shirt. Ooh, find somebody that I've, uh, like I've ever attacked, uh, like an Asian person or somebody just because they were Asian or something. MRE, you already know this. If they came in my house, they'd find Nazi stuff that my grandfather captured in World War II. There'd be flags. There'd be... Uh, weapons there'd be all kinds of of stuff there'd be uh uh confederate flags because i in, involved myself in history and the civil war and things like that but that doesn't make me racist right well they call reenactors nowadays that like yeah. people that do reenactments yeah it's all okay. history it's american yeah. history yeah you know i don't even like the black history month like black history is american history too like in America, it's stupid. Yeah. They, they try to divide and conquer. Yeah. That's yeah, right. exactly, you're you're hundred percent right, Dom. Or <clears throat> game in. It, it's crazy. You get attacked because you like history, you study history, you expose history, you know history, and you talk about it, and then you get attacked. But it's all in the game. Like I, I get why they do it. Like I attack I uh right. I, I make fun of their uh, their informant friends, so they got to use something. I don't mind it, really. The, the, the cops were more racist than anything. When I was in Johnston, they would always tell my friends, oh, t say it was the nigga. He did it. Fuck him. <laughs> it's not, like, you know what I'm saying? And I had I had Nick stick up for me one time. Some kid, was, some kid I ran in and kneed him in the face was banging him. The cops came there. They were like, oh, you all were doing it. And Nick's like, nope, it was just me. Take me. All right. Remember, yeah, remember at Carissa's house that night with Vinny when he choke slammed what's his face? Yes, yes, I remember that. That was crazy. <laughs> he picked them up way in the air. That was a wild yeah. night. <laughs> <laughs> Those were wild times back then. We had a lot of fun in the early, the late nineties, early two thousands. We had a real good neighborhood. I'll tell you that. Yeah, we did. Nobody came in our neighborhood. Nobody was there stealing bikes, doing any of that shit because they were petrified of all of us hanging. Up. Standing out, we'd stand right out on the streets. They would take back roads to try to evade us. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good neighborhood, though. Yeah, it we was. Had it was great. People from all different ages. Like we had like guys like Scotty, Jason, PJ that were older. Then we had like yeah. me, I was the younger guy, and then these guys are a few years younger than me. We had all yeah. different ages of people too. It was a real tight neighborhood. 
Everybody yep. grew up with each and other. And everybody showed us up. Like when I used to go to Rudolph's and he used to show me all the pictures with Sammy Davis and yeah. tell me stories about Hulk Hogan. Yeah, I used to make him crumble to his knees. He did that handshake with the knee with the knuckle in the back <laughs> of the hand. Yeah. He was a great guy. Yeah, he was the best, man. All the yeah. he, all, all the young guys in the neighborhood loved him and were yeah, when I went shoveling, I would always go to shovel his house for free and he would come out and force the money on me. Yeah, right you now, could you had money. to take the money. Yeah, you gotta take it. You, there's yeah. no way you're not taking it. Even though you want to yeah. do it for free, he's still yeah. giving it to you. Yep. He Remember that time good. downtown when you had him driving and he crashed the car and I went and put a rock <laughs> to a police cruiser window <laughs> to draw the attention away? <laughs> yeah, let's not talk too much about those things. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Fuck it. It was me doing it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, that was around the time. Cause, see, listen, I, I used to drive because uh, at a certain point, Rudolph's eyes were going bad because he was getting older. So a lot of times I would drive him. He'd be like, no, let me drive. And he'd jump in the uh, driver's seat and crazy stuff would happen. And one, the last time that he stopped driving was we were going down Manton Avenue, right, Damien? It was me yep. and him. And I, uh, we're going down Manton. And this little black girl in a like little Catholic outfit walked by. He didn't see her, right? And I'm like, whoa, you almost hit her. And he goes, she should have took a right. He thought she was in a car. <laughs> like, well, she should have took a right. And I'm like, no, she was a little girl walking. So later that night, he's like, he he uh, he called me in the room. And he's like, no more driving for me. He's like, you drive every time now. That's when he gave it up when he almost hit that little girl. Yeah. <laughs> because he, he like he he would come reckless down the street. Cans would be knocking over. He'd be hitting things, clipping yep. cars. Uh, it was nuts, nuts. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm sorry, me and. My that 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 actually uh, brought back a lot of memories for me. That was fucking hysterical, you two. Uh, <laughs> that was great stuff. Sorry, Marla. Um, but that was that's good stuff, like memories. And, and then you get accused of being racist and violent and all these other bullshit things. It's fucking ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. Well, I haven't had anything violent on my... Uh... Yeah, no, like that. no, no, I no. Well, they I, did accuse me of being a terrorist. That was well, it. I saw I, that's not. <laughs> yeah, come on now. Were you on the news when you when thing painted the swastikas down there and you had the mayor come and yeah. when we were playing the baseball games? Like you tried to get rid of that stuff because you didn't want little kids seeing that stuff. You kept all your stuff private in your house, all your collection collectible stuff. Yeah, they I had all this. I had the same stuff. I used to watch documentaries on Hitler. He was a smart guy. He used the hatred that they had towards Jewish people to to start his own war because they all took over. I guess they foreclosed on houses and they were, and he used that to rally himself to try to take over the world. Yeah, World War Two was crazy, man. It's pretty smart if you think right. about it. Dang, dang well, any world leader, even world leaders that I hate, like Stalin and stuff, anybody who can become a world leader has got some sort of smarts or something to them to put themselves in that position. Even some of the most notorious people in history that people might like, you say their names and they might cringe, but those people, you know, they had to be smart to get uh, to that point. Like a lot of people are really hot on Idi Amin. I don't know if you know who he is, the guy from Angola. I know who he is. Yeah, they're really hot on him, but he was very, very smart. You know, he might have went crazy like all the rest of them at the end, yeah. but he was a smart guy to get where he was at. Mm -hmm. I heard when he had talked when Hitler had talks with Mussolini, they had him shot up on so much cocaine on pharmaceutical cocaine that he talked so much that he just made Mussolini like, all right, I, I'm, I'm going to go with this guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm going <gonna, laughs> to do what he's doing. He wouldn't well, let he, 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 yeah, they wasn't had he a mean and cannibal? No, he was not a cannibal. That uh, cannibalistic things did happen through his tribe years ago, but he would stoke yeah. that. He would stoke that to make for for fear. He would put that out there too, but he really didn't. Oh, eat, you know. oh okay. didn't, even, like, didn't I'm sorry. Didn't what's the guy's name that played him? Was it Forrest Whitaker? Whitaker, yes. Yeah. He won he an did. award, didn't he? Win the Academy Award for that role. He did a great job yeah. in that movie, oh, he The King did. of Scotland. So it was true. Yeah. The story was true. Uh, I, mean, I don't know if that particular story uh, is totally authentic, but yeah, yeah they well, he, had, he had a doctor from Scotland, but I don't know yeah. about the wife stuff and all that. But yeah, the guy uh, was uh, no joke. Hollywood makes shit up just to spice things up all the time. 
Oh, tell me about it. For yeah, sure. They do. Tell me about it. Yeah, absolutely they do. Yeah. But in Africa, all that stuff happened ever since like when Belgium ran the Congo, the king yeah. of um, Belgium was cutting off everybody's hands. That's why they that's why those RUF soldiers do that now when they get the child soldiers, they make them cut their parents' hands and arms off with machetes. It's fair tactics. Yeah, he it was, was pretty he, he was brutal that guy. Yeah. It was taught to them by King Leopold of Belgium, yeah. and then then they all started doing it to each other. Yeah, because when you put the arm before. off somebody, it's uh, it puts terror in the whole. Yeah, community. they go. You go into a village and you see people with missing limbs, arms, and legs. You're like, oh, what the hell is going on here? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, and they also can't fight and pick up a weapon and stuff. There's yeah. a bunch. Of, it's mostly psychological uh, yeah. reasons uh, with that. So I was saying the baseball games that we used to play. Remember the baseball league we had? Yeah. Yep, Clint Eastwood. Yeah. Remember, remember he broke his shoulder when I hit that pop up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his glasses were filled with dirt. We had it for seven years. I used to organize a baseball league, right? I would get all the kids from Johnston, Cranston, Silver Lake, Federal Hill, uh, all over. And we would cut down and we'd all get like, there'd be like 23, 24 people there. And we would pick teams, you know, we would pick teams and we would play baseball every Sunday. And we had a blast doing that. I had, to, I kept that going for seven years. I was like Joe Torrey. I was calling everybody like three times a week before Sunday. And yep, I had bring to- gloves, bring bats. <laughs> yep, gloves. I had everything, man. Everything. Yeah. We had so, a I, gear and everything. So yeah. Emily, have- are, are all your friends historians, Castanians? Like you both, you, you guys are both talking like, well, back in 1826 or 806 AD, uh, this happened. Like a I lot of history. I, a lot of my friends are into history. Some are okay. not. Some are, I, but quite a I bit. I think I think Damien is kind of on your. Well, he likes history too. Yeah, he okay. likes. History. Okay, because there was you guys were talking about shit, and the rest of us are like, what? Like we're just, <laughs> dumb. We're just dummies here. And we're like, what? And, <laughs> and listening, but yeah, I think uh, Damien and you have uh, the historical. Um, intelligence to educate us all which is pretty cool we're both big baseball well i was a big baseball fan i don't watch the so sport. I. I was a big yankee fan me too and we yeah. used to we used to have good games down there our field and what was our biggest enemy with those geese man? those canadian yeah yeah the geese the canadian yeah geese. they would defecate all <laughs> over our field so i would go there early and rake all the defecation off our baseball field before we played but we used to get great games down there. And we'd have all kinds of all different ages, all different people from. Yep. I remember little Dante Broccoli and we had little Rudy yeah. playing and stuff. Remember, little Rudy? remember the time Rudolph came down? Do you, yeah. you remember the time he was down there? Oh, that yeah. was funny. Oh, yeah, remember your, your brother would your brother would storm off every game like you'd be like ah oh, you, you're not playing that. and you would get all mad and throw the glove down and walk. walk remember I tossed the him off the field that time. <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna throw out of the game. And I was like, "Get off the field!" Because <laughs> I took it serious. We would play like it was like the world yeah. series, you know. Yeah, I remember. I remember running down Brian Gould at the plate. I messed him up because <laughs> oh, there yeah. was that because there was that cement home plate. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, he didn't feel too good after that. No, we had a lot of good. I think that was inside the park home run too. I hit. You had a few inside the park home runs over there because you were fast. That's why I'd say I would put him at center field because he could cover a large portion of uh, of the field. He was fast like a deer. I used to call him Bernie Williams, you know, and he was like a deer out there. We had a lot of we had some. And I kind of look like I kind of look like him not with my beard right now, but yeah, without the beard, with some glasses and a Yankee cap, you're dead ringer for Bernie. Dead (laughs) ringer for Bernie. No, who else was good? Uh, Ionella was good. He was yeah, good. I know I like no ma, no ma Gassiapara. <laughs> yeah, he was like no ma. I used to like him at shortstop. Yeah. Because he had a good glove. He had a good glove. Remember, yeah. uh, remember Vinny playing drunk? Bella Rose. Yeah. Like, <laughs> with a with a bottle of wine on his pinky. Those yeah, big, he used to carry a gallon. Bottles. Listen, a <laughs> gallon of wine. A gallon yep. of wine he used to have, and he used to put it. Uh, he used to play first base because he was real tall. You know, he's a big target to throw at. He could stretch and reach. So I used to put him at first base, and he'd have the gallon of wine right on the side of first base with him. No joking. Gallon of wine. A big gallon of wine, and he would drink that gallon of wine all nine innings. Yeah, 
I used to love it. I remember when I was a kid, it used to make me walk and carry the 30 racks and natty ices, and I'd be walking down Killing Street, and the cops would just look over and look at us, and they'd be like, we're not, we're not gonna, we're not gonna stop and mess with them today, because he, he was, he was well, definitely he a loose cannon. Out, yeah, when he was, uh, he used to pull people out of the cars and everything. Oh, yeah, Jimmy Manyaka, you saved me from, you're like, Damien, get out of the car, you don't need to be in here. Remember <laughs> it was that like when night? I had my I forgot that night, dude. That's a crazy night right there. He almost killed all of us. Yep. Me, I guess all of us in the car almost died that night. Yeah. That was a crazy night. I remember I was just having my daughter, and you were like, you don't need to be in the car. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yep. Yeah, he. well, you weren't in the car with us because I, I said no to you. I didn't want you yeah. to get it. He took off flying. Dude, he was, I was like, you got to stop. You can't drive. What are you doing? He ripped the kid out of the car, jumped in there, and he just was, he was banging cars on the highway, jumped off on Charles Street, smashed a car, jumped back on the highway. He was yeah. like, Man. Yeah, he took me on a death ride on a dirt bike, too, one time. No oh, shit. you were crazy enough to get on that dirt bike with him? Yeah, well, I would get on that moped with him. Remember the last time we seen him when I brought oh, him by yeah. your house? Well, he wasn't bombed <laughs> back then. That, it was different. But in the old days on Kilney Street, getting on, uh, I would never yeah. get on the bike with him ever. Yep, no, he was doing donuts in people's front lawns. He, the cops chased us all the way up in the Highland Memorial. <laughs> hey, 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 Damien, um, give us some um, stories on MRE and the crazy shit he used to do. That would be <laughs> fucking awesome. That would be fucking awesome. Oh, well, the stuff. There was yeah. uh, there was tons of cra crazy things that happen i can't even like really think of it because there's so tell, there's so many tell us about <laughs> his driving skills uh, he's a pretty good he's a pretty good driver oh really? yeah i was i never i was i was not i never drove fast or nothing he was safe and cautious but i remember one time there was this kid and there was this big puddle that used to fill up on the side street on the side of this car lot shannon motors and this yeah. kid's walking by, and I'm like, do it, Nick. <laughs> he hit me and this guy, Mark Shagner's Cadillac, he's called the Shagner Wagon, that had no power steering. It was like a tank. <laughs> Nick hits this puddle, the wave must have went like 15 <laughs> feet. And hit him, covered this kid's head. But then we, we pull up at my friend Derek's house, and my friend Vinny D'Amico's there, and the kid comes up all soaking wet, like, why'd you do that? Is that? And I was like, uh, uh, uh. I was like, I wouldn't do that right now. Friend Big Vinny was licking his lips like, oh, who's this kid? I'm yeah, like, like, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I didn't even know that kid was walking to Derek. I didn't even know who he was. I feel bad. I drenched that poor kid. And they drenched him three streets over. We pulled to our friend's house, and guess who comes walking up? It's the kid drenched. <laughs> I was like, oh, man. I felt bad. But. Fucking he, he got washed out on the side of the road. That's it was like a tidal funny. wave. It was funny. <clears throat> yeah, that was a That's big funny. puddle, man. Well, I used to drive cautious because I used to drive an 80-year-old, 70, <laughs> late 70s, early 80s-year-old man around. So I always drove wagon. cautious. Yeah, I used to have, either that or we used to have the black Lincoln, remember? Yeah. Last time I seen Mark Shagner, I think I was in minimum. I gave him a whole bunch of weed. And the whole floor got shut down because he was smoking weed in the bathroom that I gave him. I didn't care. I was getting out that day. And the dude Botus came up, and that was um that little remember that girl Rebecca Johnson, their stepfather or whatever. He was oh, like yeah. the he was he was the lieutenant. He got fired for making some dude eat shit or whatever. He made him eat like cigarettes that he snuck up in his ass or something. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> they come and they're making me do a urine because they made the whole floor do urines. And I was like, I'm pissing residue right now. I don't give a fuck. I'm getting out in like fucking three hours. They locked down the whole floor, but then that dude Botus let me out. He was like, Oh, you can go. Listen, now he's getting out. Oh God! Oh, you did you did training school time too, right? Yeah, lots. yeah. I remember when you went to the training. When you got out, you were huge. When you, I remember. Yeah, you I was like two hundred and twenty pounds, venturing yeah. like four hundred and something at sixteen years old. Are you yeah. kidding? Jesus Christ! Yeah, he was a beast. I remember when you got out, Damien. You need to find more people to come on here and tell stories about. Uh, I'm sorry, MRE. What yeah. um, his name? I, I'm not using this. MRE to tell to talk about MRE. <laughs> yeah, and, and that that's fucking hysterical. Yeah, you don't need no that's psychos true. like that weirdo that was hitting me up yeah. that other night. <laughs> yeah, we need more. We need more good, uh, you know, story because he's he's honest and he's very intelligent. We all know that, but we need more background stories of how. 
fucking crazy that he actually uh, is was. I'm actually crazy. not crazy. I never was. Huh? Yeah, yeah, not anymore. I, I, I we did some was. crazy stuff, and it was most. He, he was actually was. really. He would actually try to stop like some of the stuff we all used to do. He used to look like one time yeah. my friend Vinny had this kid sucking on a. You gave a leg, and he was like, "That's degrading." And he came in that? and stopped it all. That was <laughs> yeah, Hitler. We gave him that Hitler. Yeah. Remember, we yeah. gave Hitler the Hitler mustache and cut it open. Did that. Cut it but, but wide would, open. But yeah, I would say, it. Damon, he would try to stop it because he, it wasn't like he was trying to stop. He's like, "No, you're not doing it right." Here's, oh no, there was this. No, kid. He, he stopped because because we, oh. we were we were horrible. We were horrible. Like so we were, yeah, they were beating this kid. They were uh, abusing this kid and like giving him mustaches and. I uh, want remember the guy Dennis. He kept he kept sticking this uh, stick. Yeah, into Dennis, five me, nigger. <laughs> that yeah. dude was really <laughs> Ron's his boyfriend. He kept trying teeth. to stick a stick in the kid's mouth, and I'm like, "What are you doing to the kid? Leave him alone. That's degrading. It's like dehumanizing the kid." And then we told the kid to leave and get out of there before uh, someone heard him. Yeah, but yeah, that kid's a weirdo. I caught him on the payphone. Talking about sucking some dude off or whatever. Oh. I was in Silver Lake. I was walking through Silver Lake. Didn't know that little Asian store, Harry's or whatever, over there. I, I walked. I walked by on Plainfield Street. I'm like, what the hell? And I, I was like, did I just hear that? And I looked back and I was like, oh my god, that's Hitler, right. <laughs> like in John Dorico. Yeah, I think they abused him. That's why. Like those older uh, guys got a hold of that kid and abused him or whatever. He was a weird yeah. dude, man. I, I think he's dead. Uh, yeah, he probably is. Yeah, I haven't seen that kid in eight years. Yeah. He went to school with my cousin Adam. That's how yeah. I knew him, and I felt bad for him. Like, yeah, he had those big boots that he tied so tight they curled up in the front. Yeah. He was yeah. like a walking target. Yeah. Do you remember the time Joey uh, threw the kid in the pool and in, in sights? Yeah, me, yeah, that was Ryan Alva because he, uh, he beat me up when I was a little kid. But I was like, what 12 years old and he was like 20 something they broke my ribs or whatever because they called my sister a nigga i went back to his house i was like oh that was funny i had an egg behind my back i egged him in his face and then him and his marine friend jumped the shit out of me oh, broke man. my ribs kicked me broke my ribs so Vinny was like oh yeah he did that he tossed him in the pool with like tread water he did that and to that, ray bomb too yeah and that water was black like yeah dead, with dead cats like, and shit in it dead animals <laughs> That water, you did not want to go in that water. <laughs> no, not at he, all. He threw him right in there. Angel, this I'm is Vinny. Vinny who passed away in the fire. I'm kind of nervous yeah. right now with them talking. It makes me nervous. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, There's so many yeah. stories from the uh, from the old neighborhood that yeah, it's I'm, just. I'm there's too many to uh, yeah, yeah. even remember. We used to just hang out for hours out there, and there yep. were so many of us. You know, the neighbor was like a yeah. His like aunt Del a Broadway. His aunt Dolores was the greatest. She let anybody come over. Like I could walk in the house over there. Hey, Dolores, I'm going to. The I need to use the bathroom. Oh, go ahead. You want something to drink? I made yeah, I made some pastries. Or and it was she was a saint. Yeah, she used to yell at the window. The cops are coming. Yeah, the police. Oh, we used, to, we used to go take everybody's Christmas decorations, Halloween decorations, and decorate our yard with all of them. People would drive by and see them. They wouldn't say nothing. They're like, oh. oh my God. <laughs> yeah, my aunt. She woke up. She's like, "Oh, who decorated? I didn't. I don't even know who decorated everything. It was the younger guys who did it. Him and all yeah. the kids grabbed all the decorations and put them on. Uh, Scotty, we didn't torture anyone. Well, Bill, you, even Scott, yeah, people used to take lefts to avoid Kilnley Street because yep, the they used street, to take that back cave, but then they'd end up right in front of your aunt's house. And uh oh, <laughs> well, there'd be so many people hanging out on the corner. The cars go by. People wouldn't want to, you know. People ask them. So there'd be some people there drunk asking for rides or pulling people out of cars. It was they, they had to get security guards at the Dunkin' Donuts because they were petrified of us. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. They did that back in the early nineties too for the older guys too. They did yeah. the same thing. <laughs> wild. Uh, it was a wild neighborhood though, but it was all good people, like friends that we all have to this. To this day, you know, there was a couple rotten apples, but you get that everywhere, you know. But basically, oh, yeah. all of our friends all still uh, are friendly and talk to each other. Like we all meet up at the feast every year, <laughs> except for a few. There's, there's a couple of turncoats and backstabbers, but yeah, yeah, of course, you're always gonna get that, you know. Yeah. But if you go to like the feast, uh, 
like there's like 50, 60 of us at the feast every yeah. day. Yep. And so many people move away and stuff. And do yeah, they I, just, I love back? the sauces. I love getting sausage and pepper sandwiches every time the um St. Rocco's yeah. feast. Yeah. I go there every year and get a sausage and pepper sandwich. My fourth grade teacher sees me. He, he's serving Mr. Kanoya. Oh, <laughs> serving the, yeah, he serves the sausage and pepper sandwiches. He used to do it with Jared's Uncle Johnny over there. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. 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 The sausage and peppers were great at the feast. Yeah. St. Rocco's. Uh, oh, yeah. Great the Federal Hill and St. Rocco is probably had the best sausage and pepper sandwiches, I think. Scotty, the security guard, I put his thumb cuffs on him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember one time we were at um, Jay's sister's house, me, Scotty, Danny, and um, Jay or whatever. And, and, thing, and I think somebody had a desert eagle and was like jammed and i see everybody running to the kitchen i'm just sitting there still sitting there hitting the hitting the roach on the couch and things like oh why didn't you get up and run i was like because if that thing's gonna go off it's gonna go through the wall and hit me i was like fuck it i was like it was my time to go it's my time to go <laughs> <laughs> now damien let me ask you a question are you one of the men that uh that are in the that picture that you have uh posted up mre uh uh, the one no, I I I think I posted a picture of Vinny, him and my brother once, but no, he's not in that picture right there. Oh, he's not in that picture. Well, he might be. He might be. I don't know. The group uh, of friends you have it looks like it's I don't know outside either somebody's house or a church. You're all dressed. Uh, I'm not sure. He might like be in group it. Photo. No, that was that was at Rudolph's um, funeral. I think Jay's in that picture and all them. Oh uh, yeah. Think. Yeah, that's I think Jason. I made it there. I ended up making it there later, or whatever, because I didn't want to go by when Deandra and shit, if Jody yeah. or anyone were there, and I showed up late. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, he wasn't in that one, but yeah, okay. he would. We took that in the beginning of the wake. That picture. Okay. okay. Now that's my friend oh, PJ, oh, Jason, oh, and the two oh, kids oh. that died. Yeah, there's a whole group of you. Yeah, two yeah. of my friends who were like my cousins, Joey right. and Vinny. They passed away. Right. right. They were in it. Oh, okay. And the kids we were talking about earlier, Jason and PJ. Now, Damien, Damien, did you do you know MRE's other friends? Well, you all know yeah. each other. Yeah, we all know yeah. each other. We all grew up together. We're all close. Wow. PJ and Jason live right across the street from me. His aunt lived right around the corner from me. Oh, very nice. Yeah, he knows Frankie and uh, Bobby. He knows all these guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Bobby's been on here. Do you know Henry? Henry's been on here. Yep, Henry Doily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Henry. Oh, Henry. Scott's been on here. Uh, Maya. Oh, that's Maya. right. I forgot about him. I keep forgetting about him. That's right. He yep. was on here. Um, Maya, <laughs> Del Judas, like, that thing's still on his thing. That do dope spray painted on, on the side of his thing that he had. That um, Vinny had. Um, yeah, Vinny used Gio. to torture them. Oh my Gio god, had, he made Geo spray paint do dope on the side of his house. You could still see it coming through like the paint. Oh my god, yeah, Vinny. <laughs> so Vinny used to bite his phone wires. You know, this cable wire. Vinny used to go by it every time he got drunk. He would stop there. And do something devious. He bit his cable wire one time. The kid's cable went out. He's like, wait, well, how'd our cable go out? He gnawed through the wire with his teeth. <laughs> with his teeth. Those are thick cable wires. Yeah, uh, they are. He was biting it. Yeah. He was like, oh, he was crazy. Yeah, he was a sick unit. Last time he was, uh, last time, yeah, last time I seen him alive was that day that you came by. No, two days after you came by with the bike. Yeah, yeah. Two days after that. I believe so. I don't know. if so. I'm still, I think either he was murdered or yeah. he killed himself. One or the other. I don't think he would kill himself. I think he would. I think somebody did that. I, I think so right. too. Cause he did some crazy stuff that week. Yeah. Uh, I know you told me all about it. That was. Yeah. Nuts. Yeah. I, that's why his mother doesn't believe he committed suicide. Uh, the cops say he must've committed suicide. Then it's like, no, nah, he was, Someone, the cop someone was just happy that he was that they didn't have to deal with him anymore. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Remember, they got Joey with the beanbag gun. Ooh, that was nuts. <laughs> yeah. They broke his ribs. Yeah, 
Well, he wouldn't put down the knife. The night the cops came to his house, he had this big butcher knife, and he's telling the cops, uh, I'm going to off myself if you don't get out of my yard or I'll off you. The cop pulled out that 12-gauge and shot him with that beanbag gun. He broke his ribs. Yeah. Oh, my, my Uncle Timmy's on cops doing the same thing, trying to kill himself in the backyard. And the Providence cop, it was on Cops in Providence in, like, 1996. And the cop was, like, the Asian cop in Providence. He was, like, a gang detective, Officer Campbell's or whatever. And he was, like, he, but my uncle's, like, what's your name? He's, like, Officer Campbell's. He's, like, why don't you go back to the station and make some soup? I was, really, I was rolling. I remember I laughed so hard I spit mashed potatoes out my nose. Yeah, Timmy, his uncle Timmy made cops, the show really? Cops. His uncle yeah. Timmy was on it. His yeah. uncle was a good dude, too. He yeah, he good, made but he cops. had a lot of problems. He swallowed like 150 razor blades in jail trying to kill himself. They had to cut him out. It looked like his insides were on the outside. Yeah, he, he had a lot of. Uh, Where did he get razor blades from? From the from razors in, in jail. When you get razors, you break them, them up. Open and, you oh. break them open, snap them up, and eat them and swallow them. I, I used to love the show Cops. I just want to, I'm, I'm trying to understand if there was an Asian cop with the last name of Campbell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, was the, he, was the, he was the Providence gang detective or something. I don't uh, even know why he was there. Providence. Yeah. Well, Damien, remember when those two kids, the college kids were murdered? Down yep, at Buttonhole. Yeah, down at Buttonhole. <laughs> we were there two nights before oh. that. Now that that's a crazy story down in Buttonhole. <laughs> oh, the, oh yeah, that was nuts. Oh, that. that, that. <laughs> I'll you, tried, a time. you tried to stop some of that too. I remember Tim almost killed. Uh, Tim almost killed Bill Fannin with that rock. If Vinny didn't yeah, grab him, he if him I didn't stop him, he would have killed him. If I didn't <laughs> yeah. stop him with that rock, he would have killed that kid. Oh, because he got hit with that brick, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He got hit point blank in the face with a brick, my boy. And he started when he finally came to and woke up, he's like, I'm going to kill you. He's like, you like throw rocks. He picked up a huge boulder and was trying to kill this kid with it. Uh, guys, goes, uh, <laughs> statue of limitations just. Z -z -z yeah, they're oh. all. Oh, no. All those, kid, all those kids. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All those kids I'm wouldn't kidding. say nothing. All those kids wouldn't say nothing anyway. They told the cops, they're like, oh, we don't want to say nothing. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. They were petrified because they know if they did anything when they went to school, they were going to get harassed. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, they well, <laughs> a matter of fact, the night that those kids were murdered, we were down there two, three nights before that, all hanging out. Yeah, yeah drinking because there was a yeah. spot to go to. People used to ride dirt bikes down there. Now they made it a golf course or yeah, a, no, a golf course. drive, a, a driving range or whatever. That was sad. They shot, they, they killed these two kids, college kids. Uh, yeah, back to pieces style. I don't know. They uh, we don't even know why they did it. They did it just for fun, uh, just to steal a car, and then they drove their car around for two days. It was oh, nuts. Yeah. yeah, it was disgusting. Yeah. They killed yeah, two nice kids for no reason. I think a hundred bucks or something. Uh, Scotty says I was. Yeah, Scott, you were locked up when Rudolph passed away. Yeah, it was sad. It was tough losing him. Yeah. yeah. Um, did, uh, did they ever catch them? Yeah, they caught yeah, the they kids caught. And killed them. Yeah, yeah they, it was five of them. Five of them. Yeah. Five guys killed two pe uh, a girl oh. and a boy. Oh, uh, my men. God. Very Are you sad. Me? Yeah, it, it was yeah. probably one of the last murders in Johnston like that. Yeah. Like oh. that. That was disgusting. Very sad. Yeah. How long ago was that? Uh, 2099, uh, maybe? Right? Yeah. 90. Oh wow! Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that was a while ago. Yeah, it was. It was a while ago because we all used to hang at my aunt's house, so we hang up at Rudolph's house. Uh, we would go back and forth, and we had like so many friends in the neighborhood, and we used to hang out at the Dunkin' Donuts and the Cumberland Farms across the street. We had our own little chairs set up and stuff. It was like our little hangout. It's like a neighborhood yeah. hangout for like thirty years, you know, and for. A bunch of different generations from Scotty's era and the kids older than him to kids younger than us. Don't yeah. you miss those days? Yeah. yeah, we had a lot of good times. Not the same anymore. I, dro I was walking down that street the other day when I was at my dad's house. He lived across the street from Pompey, God rest his soul. And we, yeah, Pompey. And I took a walk down there. I was like, oh my God, everything changed. It was different. It's a There's ghost no town. Movement. Yeah. It's a ghost town, dude. Forget about it. Since the Cumberland Farms yeah. move up the street, 
all the action's up there. There's no more action down there no more. Yeah, but all, all all the kids do it on their house playing video games and shit. They don't they don't yeah, go out yeah. and do things anymore. Uh, what's up, Stax? Yeah, that too. Stax, how are you, Stax? Hey, Stax. Um, hey, Stax. Those people were s bags. Anthony Sabetta seen a couple of them in the feds and made sure they Good. got. Good. At, at S bags, you actually couldn't say scumbags. You had to. Say <laughs> I'm not saying that word. Yeah, because they they brutally murdered. Uh, the, the, those those are good kids, and that was done yeah. for no reason. Yeah, but it's not shit bags. It's scumbags. You can say. Yeah. Shit. I said uh, S bags, and uh, believe me, every time I go to jail, I go to SAG because if I see rippers or something, I'm smashing them on <laughs> on strength. <laughs> <laughs> I get. Um, I put. I put one into a seizure. Some guy that raped his nine-year-old niece. He said, "I was like, how could you do something like that?" He was the guy who was drunk and felt like it. Come I on. smacked his head right off the fish tank wall. He was seizing Come out on. on the floor. My boy kicked him right in the head. Kill him. <laughs> Kill him. Yep. Um, chatting with Stack says he'll be in Providence on Monday. Oh, really? What are you doing in Providence, Stax? Yeah. What part of Providence? Stax, you want to come on and tell us? Yeah, come on, Chatton. What's up, man? So yeah. the, he's a New Englander. Sax is a Southern New Englander too. Yeah. So uh, Providence is not far from him. Probably a couple of. How long does it take you to drive to Providence, Sax? What two hours an hour? Yeah, you have to ask him when when he comes if he comes on. Oh look, no, he's, he's coming. Said, he said sure. he's come on, coming. he's coming. Come on, Chad. You know how many times I call him Chax? Chax. 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 Because of the, the, so many times I do that, I catch myself. Chats because it's because of the the, the, the words. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I do. I call them chats so many times. No, that's cool. You said. It. Yeah, I'm glad they punched them, Scotty. I'm glad they did beat them up in the can. I'm glad because that was that was a a sick, senseless murder. Yeah, yeah was, exactly. Yeah, like Craig Price. That's why that motherfucker is in jail forever. Yeah, he, he was did. he was a serial killer. Like yeah. he killed. First time I went to training school, I was in there with him. He, that kid was so big, and he had like the weightlifting record at the time until this yeah, kid he was Ivan. Huge. That I Price was is tough, you know. Craig Price yeah. is a monster. He's oh a yeah, beast. he hurt so many. He hurt so many of the prison guards. They like tried. To, they set him up, but he was a scumbag anyway. He deserved it for what he did, but. But yeah, they set him not. up. They pretty much set him up. This guy Tony, this big Jack, um, train school god, kept fucking with them, fucking with them, fucking with them because he wanted him to hit him. As soon as he turned eighteen, because he was on an NFT, he was um locked up in there till um or uh, what was it till he was twenty one. He was in the yep. train school till or whatever. They wouldn't let him out. And then uh, as soon as he turned eighteen, the dude started messing with him. And as soon as he assaulted him, whoop, assault on a thing. He went to the ACI, and then they never let him out. He kept assaulting. Yeah, and that's when he got moved to Florida because he couldn't stay up there. Was so bi- they were so biased against him, you know? Yeah. Because of his hands. I was tiny, too. Oh. I, was like te- I was like 10, 11 years old in there with this big 20-something, a 20-year-old murderer. Like, fucking guy smashed babies. A yeah. baby. What's up, everyone? It's horrible. Hello there, Stax. How are you? How are you? What's What's How long did it take you to get to Providence, Stax? Hour and a half. All right, I was, I was, yeah. Oh, you wrote that in the chat. All right, I didn't see it. Um, what are you coming down here for? Um, celebrity boxing. Really? Where? And brawl for it all. They're having an event. Uh, um, hold on, I'm looking for the address. Oh, Jared uh, runs that brawl for it all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. I, ask. I went to the one that was at that um that last resort where they got the pool and stuff. I wonder where they're having it now. Oh, wow. I ran into your brother over there at the last resort. I was drinking. I seen your brother. I was like, oh, me and Billy, Christopher Robin, went there. What's going on, Stax? Are you go? Are you looking for the address? Yeah, it's an event. There's an event going on, and uh, there's a big announcement. There's going to be a bunch of celebrities there. So it's a oh, press conference. Maybe you should go meet up with Stax. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. we can link up. Boots Nick, DD said hi. Oh, tell her I said hi. It's at Moore Rooftop Lounge. You know where that is? Rooftop Lounge. Water, is it Waterman Street or something like that? Oh, Waterman Ave? Waterman yeah. Ave. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. that's it. Yeah, that's I'm trying to think of the place. Hmm. All right, hold on. I got it right here. Uh, Waterman Street, 229 Waterman Street, Providence. 
It's the uh, Mar Mar rooftop. Wait, what is it? Oh. Hmm. What is it? Uh, Two twenty nine Watermill. Waterman. Waterman. Waterman Street. M A N. Um, oh yeah. 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 Waterman Street, Providence. And there's a oh, huge Dan announcement. Oh, there's it's a huge downtown. announcement. It's near downtown Providence, near Gano Street, right? Yep, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah, it's right over there. Okay. I don't know the place, but I know the area. Oh, it's the Mayor Rooftop. Yeah, it's those yeah. buildings. I know what buildings. It's where the old, uh, remember Rudolph's old lawyer, uh, Martinez? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Scotty knows what I'm talking about. Martinez. Where it's Mart and to Daval Square near Martinez's old offices. That's where they're having it. How many fights do they have him? So this is a press conference. There, there. Um, there's a huge announcement that's going to be taking place from four to seven. There's going to be celebrities there. It's going to be insane, man. Well, yeah, what's it for? So oh, Jared does it every year. Uh, Jared's this uh, local boxer from around here. He was like a uh, big boxer and stuff. He, and his father was a real good guy. He undefeated, was undefeated. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he holds it every year. So people don't fight on the streets. If you have a beef with somebody or something, you don't go and like get in trouble. So they handle it in the ring and then they shake hands like men and stuff like that. So yeah, it's bo really like good. boxing in the ring. So you don't, they don't um, take it outside of that and they settle yes. the differences. Yeah. And it's actually a good thing he does. Yeah. He's had it going for a while now. Yeah. They got, they got something big. Uh, Coming up, so now in the press conferences, what do they do? Just like, uh, like have all different people talk. So Jared linked up with, uh, with, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Feldman's brother, Corey Feldman. Corey Feldman. <laughs> the, uh, celebrity boxing. So they linked up and they got something they're going to be announcing Wait, at the Corey press conference. Corey Feldman's brother? Corey Feldman's going to come out with the Michael Jackson glove. Damon, Damon, <laughs> Damon Feldman. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, I don't know if that's his brother or not. Is it? Uh, no, it's not his brother. No. <laughs> no, not Corey Feldman's brother. No, no. no. His brothers, no, he has two brothers. So no. there's a lot of people involved. Snoop Dogg. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh. there's a lot of big names, man. Just stay Any tuned. Celebrities? Be, I'll be live. I'll go. I'll be going live from there. And um, Any celebrities fighting? No. So this this is a press conference. Oh, this okay. is So this is going to be like an announcement of what's to come. Oh, all right. To let you know who's uh, who's going to be fighting, what's going to happen and stuff. Yeah, it's like, it's huge, man. Huge. Hey, uh, Stax, do you remember yeah. in the last in the last year when uh, MRE uh, punched the dude? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. The punched guy that came out to Providence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, guy that, the guy that tried harassing me on the internet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. He harassed him. Matter of fact, that's right, Damien. He was. Yeah, I was at him. I was at yeah. that girl. Je I was at Jenny's house, and um, which one called? He hit me up, and I was like, "Yo, who the hell? Who the hell are you?" He's like, "Oh, who are you getting loud with?" I was like, "Dude, I was like, if you knew me, you would not want to have problems with me. I will choke you out and leave you on the ground." Yeah, it was <laughs> weird. He was acting hey. weird that night on, yeah. on the stream before, and then he just showed up. I remember. Yeah. He got he got gunned down. Uh, yeah. Angel, do you remember that? MRA just fucking. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, do I remember it? Yeah, I was traumatized. No, why were you traumatized? He took care of business. That was yeah. that was traumatized. Perfect. Yeah, that but you never wanted to come to that. No, I don't. I no. It's I, it, I didn't it happened it. though, and he did it, and that's what matters. Yeah, well, you gotta handle, you gotta handle you. yours when someone comes at you. Well, the guy, it's not like I like really wanted to. I don't meet up with people off of YouTube and fight them. That's ridiculous. But <laughs> this guy was stalking me. Like that was yeah. hysterical. So I had I no other choice. Guys. But yeah. I wouldn't I go do that, that again, though. That but was the guy's an, a weirdo. Yeah, yeah, that was crazy. I mean, that some was... people are just... It is well, what it is, man. I'm focused on bigger and better things. <laughs> yeah, amen yeah. to that. Yeah. So, Stax, so Stax, what time does this event start? And you're going to live stream it? Yeah, 4 o'clock to 7. Oh, 4 to 7, okay. Yeah. 
Okay. Click on Scotty's thing. Yeah, that's right. Jared has really brought that brawl for it all to the big time. Good for him. He is someone that turned his life around and helps the kids around Rhode Island. Yeah, he's good people. Yeah, it's he's really, good. really good. There's charities involved. There's like yep. he, he's really doing a good thing, and that's why I'm behind it, and I'm willing to do anything to help him out. So if you guys can, share it. Let people know. It's uh, Monday the 6th from 4 to 7, Waterman Street. And, uh, yeah, but it's gonna uh, be huge. But uh, um, put up a thumbnail so we could share it. Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna be dropping yeah, something tomorrow. It. Oh, I'll share it when you drop that. Yeah, his sister used to be a neighbor. Used to be a neighbor over there yeah. on Walnut Street. Yep, good people. Yep. Yep. Christian. Yeah, so I'll be out there if uh, you guys are around. I'll uh, I'll swing by. Yeah, we'll be watching. Definitely yeah, for sure. Thank you guys for the opportunity to come on. I appreciate you guys. Always good talking to you, Stax. God bless you. Good talking to you, guys. Have Shut a good night. Stax. Shut up. I got to get back to work. I'll, I'll see you guys later, right? God bless. Nice talking to you, Stax. You knew what I didn't say. Have a good night. Good All right. Night. Bye, guys. Bye. Have a good one. Where is yes. Marla? Is Marla? Yes, is Marla in the wind one is? is yeah. I know oh. she's here. She's it only here. takes him an hour and a half to get here. See how small New right. England is? Yeah. People don't realize how small Southern New England really is. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, it's tiny. tiny. It's tiny. We said at the same time. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Which Thanks. is weird, but that's how we're trained, so we're not going to talk about that anymore. Tommy, you're so quiet tonight. You and Marla. Yeah, Marla is just, just listening. I know. I, I think this is also interesting. I've, I've yeah. been served from the. I've been served from the uh, YouTube. Oh. And, uh, the YouTube. Served the USA. No, I know I'm on YouTube, uh, Mr. Smith. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> I know I'm getting old. But hey, remember I had that motorcycle? Remember I had that GS Honda 450? Yeah, Batman. <laughs> remember, remember the dude from the project used to call you Batman? He used yeah. to ride with his robe on, and his robe would be flapping in the wind. He'd be like, yo, Batman! <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I used to jump. This thing, I had to power shift it to get it to go. Like you had to run. It was such a hunk of junk that I would have to run with it and then jump start it. And I would drive it to my girlfriend's at the time and I would fly up Mount Pleasant Avenue and I had my bathrobe, my pajamas on, and slippers. And I literally looked like Batman on it because of the cape. Because of the bathrobe. Oh, that was when you were with Tiff, right? <laughs> yeah, that was well, years. That was way <laughs> back. I used to hang over there. Yeah, Mount Ple oh, George J. West School, matter of fact. Oh, I remember we slept over and I had to sit in the back seat with Rocky on the whole way home. Oh, shit, my pants. Yeah, oh, Rocky shit. was tapped, huh? This is, this, is <laughs> a real this is a real fucking story. Holy shit. No, keep going. This is awesome. No, my dog Rocky was a listen. Rocky was an insane dog. He was known all over the town. Like all my dogs always attacked on command. You can ask Damien and Scotty and them. Yeah. Rocky was a maniac. Like people yeah. feared my dog. Like we said, he, he's he bit a lot of people. Put it that way. Okay. We used to have a lot of fun. One day uh, I was sleeping over at Nick's house and um, oh my MRE's house, and uh, I'm sitting there. I wake up. I open my eyes and I got the dog right in my face. So I close my eyes back and I'm like, Vinny, <laughs> through my teeth, Vinny, like trying to get his brother to, <laughs> to come and get the dog. I was shit my pants. And he wouldn't do nothing if he thought you were sleeping or something. Uh, but as soon as I woke up, he would have he would have mauled me. Holy shit balls! <laughs> yeah, he was he was nuts. Were you there the time he got hit by the car? Yeah, and the only person I never seen him bite was one time Midge walked in, grabs yeah, his yeah. grandmother, all all crazy. The, the dog must have knew, sensed the yeah. crazy, and uh, she came in. Hey, Rocky, pet him on the face. I look, look at Rocky; he's looking up at her like, "What the? What's wrong with this lady?" Yeah, that was unheard of. Uh, if someone would have told me that she was going to walk in and touch oh that dog, I would have said he would have bit her a million times. I don't know why he didn't. He must have sensed that she was just like a, like nice but a little crazier sometimes. I don't know. He liked her. She was an old lady. Yeah, he was he liked that with Jason, too. Yeah, he, he liked him. Jason. Yep. That's fucking awesome. And Damien, I can only imagine you waking up and like the dog's like yeah. right in your face. Muzzle, like, muzzle right touching my nose, too. 
Right. Yeah. And you're like, oh, fuck my life. I don't know what to do. Scotty. Yeah. I broke him out of the pound one time. Yep. I broke him out. I, I squeezed. Tony. Shit. Tony hey, what's Ubat. up, Tony? Tony Ubats, look who's here. Um, hey, Jason. Yeah. Damien. Tony yeah, that's the other Damien. The other Damien, not the yeah. satanic All one. All your friends too. are here, MRE. Most of them yeah. are here. Yeah, a lot uh, of yeah, yeah. Me and Dam me and Damien's younger brother Mike used to hang out. We used to all hang out in Damien's basement when we were kids. Yep. D's uh, house was like he had the, he's had a little like a little club in his garage, it's like a little hangout. Yep. Yeah, but yeah, but Angel, I never I never well. yeah, I never grew up with MR. We just worked together for um the CIA you know, years. Uh, don't, don't why'd you have to say that? We just worked. <laughs> To Click on Scotty at eleven thirty-nine. Yeah, I did spring him from the pound. How many times did you break him out of the pound? Yeah, um, one one successful time. Let me know if uh, let me know if you want to come on, Tony Ubats and Scott, because now we have Damien and Damien here. Oh, yeah, it was Damien. it was it was Damien and Black Damien. <laughs> Damien and Black Damien. Which one is this? Which one is this? That's a uh, red Damien with the shirt, red I, shirt. I, 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 Obviously, he's the white one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, yeah, you know. he is. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm going to go in Rocky, bet you, Scott. Yeah, Scotty tried yeah. to hit him with a shovel. It was crazy. Oh, he ripped my he ripped my Nautica jacket wide open one time. I remember Vinny had him, and he let him go a little bit, and he Nautica. tore my jacket wide open. You're not he, a good jacket. Were you there when he bit Vinny <laughs> D'Amico on the hand and he didn't even move because he was so yeah. drunk on wine? Oh, he did that with Mimi, too, when he was in the room with Diane, Derek's mm -hmm. mom. Remember, Mimi was tacking him. He came out with his hand all leaking blood. Oh, I don't know why I'm bleeding. I was like, because the dog's hanging off your hand? <laughs> yeah. The kid we were talking about with the gallon of wine, well, he would get bit by dogs and not even, like, because he was so bombed on wine. He wouldn't even feel it. Like I'm drinking some wine right now. now. Bumbley. Yeah. yeah, he yeah. was really tipsy. The yeah. first he time. Thing. He used to take shifts and drink from like, he'd wake up at eight in the morning and drink to four in the afternoon, sleep four or five hours and wake up and drink again. Who's I that? watched him drink 78 beers in one day. <laughs> first time, house. The first time I ever met Vinny D'Amico, I was wearing, remember the big gold chain I used to have, Nick? Yeah, yeah. I yes, I do remember. He, he was all drunk. He grabbed my chain. He went, that's a big chain for a big man. I, <laughs> I said, I'll fucking shoot you right in your face. Take your hand off my chain now. And he was, oh, I was just playing with Yeah, you know you're my friend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, he wouldn't know his own strength. One time I remember he, no, he yeah. tried pulling me in for a hug and he... I whipped across your aunt's porch and I hit my head on the ceiling fan on the porch, fell on the stairs, and he started picking me up and hugging me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm he was sorry. Like a big ogre. Like he like he was like he a, was, a he was an ogre. ogre. That's yeah. what he was. He was an ogre. <laughs> Fucking trick. <laughs> Good kid. Good kid. Real big wow. heart. Just far, Tony. He was nuts. Yeah, I used to huff gasoline with my cousin Anthony. Let me, yep. let me interrupt one minute. And let me just say that um, Dingbats, Marlo was only kidding about the job. Yeah, can I go down the boulevard for a minute, fellas? I'm you sorry. go right down that boulevard. Everybody make way for uh -oh. Marlo. Oh, wait. Uh -oh. I'm going down coming. the boulevard for Better a minute. get out of her way. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. One one is about to get real. I'm going to have to ask right, that girl down. coming through. Down. Hold on, Marla. Hold evil, on. Evil. Wait one minute, Marla. Uh -oh. Evil, evil, evil. <laughs> nope, let's make it. Get a Marla Boulevard, also. Ooh, Go right yeah, ahead. Um, let's walk to see you from Miss Marla, Epic Marla. Go right ahead. Somebody jinxed me. I ain't had to do this in a minute. Fellas, um, Get you all plug your ears. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> <lady> like <laughs> so the nasty twat. Whoa. Who, for whatever reason, feels the need to go live right now and talk about my imaginary boob job. It wow. was a joke, much like your MF in life. Okay? <laughs> the, uh, these, are, these are mine, okay? 
these uh y'all ain't seen them yet these double d's all me bitch okay and i'm keeping them it was a joke get off my bra strap and if you Ooh. have nothing to say we can <laughs> drop the link bitch marla's throwing smoke in the air and no. somebody run and go tell that hood rat that she said that yeah in <laughs> all caps in all, in all caps okay you gotta say I'm sorry, yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't have no. and, and she was and she was saying now that you brought it up, I didn't want it to go public. That's why I put it in the back backstage there. Yeah, I don't know. But, oh, but I was watching her. I was watching her for a while. I, I was gonna say something in her chat, but I figured if she started with me, I'd go up there and really you know get in real get in trouble. So I just kept quiet and watched it. And she said, You turned in your black card. When you uh, gave up something and I, you're up Angel's Keister or whatever the hell she said, you know, she talked. I gave up my black card. Would, so what, what's, yeah. that, what's that supposed to mean? My credit score going up? Get oh, the fuck, fuck out no. of here with that. Wow. <laughs> my ass, okay? Yeah. So I'm just, I, I don't mean to get you upset because I didn't want well, I'm not to mad. Like she's, she's, she's playtime. I didn't, you know, I don't want, I'm not the person to throw coal on the fire. But I, I couldn't stand the way she was talking. It was, uh, and the only reason why I I I, uh, I went over there is because I was going back and forth on my iPad between here and the fight on uh, uh, Joe's at channel, Joe Bay Eight channel. Yeah. What happened? And Did Drake I, Gyllenhaal was filming something there tonight for the UFC thing? Well, yeah, they're yeah, talking he, about it. They can't. They can't they can't broadcast it because it's uh on ESPN plus and they'll get copyrighted. They'll get shut That's... the channel gets shut down. Well they can the listen to it, correct? Yeah, they, no, they're my listening. friend just showed me a clip. Right now right now there's prelim fights going on. Well, what I forgot what movie that's for. Um, epic Marlowe. Yeah, the new Jake Roadhouse movie. was me and a guy for, in the face. Yeah, just it's, kept for the new, it's for the new Roadhouse movie. <laughs> oh, is it? Roadhouse? Yeah. Oh, Roadhouse. 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 They're doing that movie over. Really? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. With, with, yeah. with wow. fucking Jake Gyllenhaal or whatever. Really? Who's I think that? Ronda Rousey's supposed to be in it too. Yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal looks ripped at UFC. Yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal looked ripped. Well, that was him. That movie was made in the eighties, correct? Yeah, so the nineteen ninety. Nice. New Roadhouse yeah, movie yeah. coming out. Whoever that was, Roadhouse is a classic. I That's think it cool. was made in 90, 1990. Him and Conor uh, McGregor are, are yeah, fighting it? Conor McGregor's playing the, um, what's his name? Fucking Mustache. You remember really? Mustache? Oh, yeah. Oh, that, oh okay. Who are you with, Dave? Who are you with? I'm with my yeah, buddy Chuck, would, and yeah. Chuck and my brother. Oh, what's up, Chuck and Mikey? What up, MRE? Superstar. What's up, Mikey? Hey, what's up, baby? What's up, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. Hi, wait. Angel. Hi, Marla. Hello, Michael. Wait a Hi, second. Marla. Wait a second, please. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Now we have 14 friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my, yeah, my boy Chuck's over here. He knows MRE very well, too. Oh. I know Chuck, I too. I met him on New Year's Eve. Wait a yep. second. So that means 15 friends of MREs are here because we have your brother Michael and we have um, Chuck. Chuck. My buddy Chuck. Can Chuck say hello? Chuck just went in the other room. Oh. Oh, then we don't know. Oh, Angel. I'm a quiet fan. I keep my mouth shut. Yeah, Chuck's an actor and he's a. Uh, um, he's a, uh, uh, a Guinness Book of World Records beard. Man, oh, it's his real name, Chris. By no, chance. he's no. got like a um, like a fourteen or fifteen inch long beard. Wow, is that big? That's pretty big. Yeah, that's a long beard. It's it's like down to like almost his belly button. So where is Chuck? Chuck's around. Oh, so <laughs> my, Chuck's right around. Now. So we're gonna have to keep it at thirteen because they're gonna. Chuck's in my kitchen. He's uh he's eating some chicken cutlets and stuff. Quit chucking around. Quit chucking around. He's chucking around. All right, I'm a little bit left in the bottle. I want to interrupt for a minute. Can I know how she knew that? Want me to open the other one? 
wait a second. Can 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 I ask you, uh, Tommy? How did she know that Marla even said that? Marla was first of all fooling around, but how did she even know about that? Well, I know I know Marla was fooling around, but I have no idea how she knows it. Obviously, so obviously she got, watches. If she was watching, or she had a spy in here. Oh, but I think she was okay. watching because she went she went through it um, line by line. So. Well, who cares? She's not going to cost the funds all anyway. Can somebody run yeah, back and tell her? Can what? somebody run back and tell her that Marla was only joking? And ask her how stupid she feels now. Okay, mm -hmm. carry on now, gentlemen. I, 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 I mean, too, I will. Roadhouse, yeah, Peter Griffin, they said? No, he's not doing Road Roadhouse with Jake Gyllenhaal and Ronda Rousey and um, Conor McGregor. Yeah, because Tony Obots didn't know about it. He's like, there's a new Roadhouse. I need to be in that movie. Yeah, yeah they filmed it tonight. They, started, they filmed the fight scene tonight, the UFC uh, uh, match tonight, I guess. Oh, all right. Interesting. Fucking hell. Yeah, they should put Tony in it, ripping apart uh, phone books. Jake Gyllenhaal was real good in uh, um, uh, Southpaw. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember that movie, Southpaw? No. Real good movie. He was he was actually really good in it. It was a boxing movie. Oh, all right. But this is not going to be a boxing movie. It's going to be more like Roadhouse. Like, was, I guess. About clubs and bouncers fighting and stuff I, like that. I, I have no idea. I didn't even know that they would do anything until today. Oh, all right. Yeah, he was in Jarhead. That was, yep, I remember that. Yep. One. Jarhead yeah. was good. But that movie, Southpaw, was really good. That was, uh, pro that was uh, produced by Eminem. Really? Yep, yeah, he was the executive yeah. producer. He paid for that film, and he did the yeah. soundtrack. Oh, interesting. He did the soundtrack for that film. You know, I What's that noise? I hear a beat. Damien yeah, Diaz has alarm. some great stories yeah, about us, too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's Scott, so many. Scott, anytime you want chicken collets, my come on over. My dog's shaking, so now i got to put the earphones back on because my dog is shaking from that uh -oh. long. Hold on. Oh, yeah, the dog. Ooh. Remember when mine was going off? Yes, I couldn't watch you. Don't you remember? I said, I can't listen to you because <laughs> yeah. your, dog is make, the, your alarm is making my dog a nervous wreck. Yeah, and I remember the, the ambassador. The the I couldn't watch her. I couldn't listen to her either. Because yeah, the ambassador was like, yeah, you got to fix that. <laughs> this, I was this watching a cooking show this morning, right? I don't know what it is about that. Well, it triggers some animals. Bink. Beep. Yeah. What is about that that makes her a nervous wreck? And well, then my it's a little sharp dog. beep. It's a little sharp beep, and it probably goes right through the dog's ear. Yeah, and even um, my daughter's little one, Gucci, starts shaking. She starts scratching on your legs. They get so afraid of that noise. So I, that's all right. I got the headphones on again. Beep. No, um, I don't like headphones. I hate wearing them. I hate them. I hate them, but uh, I then I won't be able to. Uh, yeah, uh, Scott. Scott Kutu said, uh, uh, "Any yeah, come on down anytime. Anytime you're in town, make sure you hit up me, MRE. We'll go out. I'll do some cooking. I yeah, want to do a cooking show. Good. Really, a cooking show? Every time I cook, I forget to film it. Yeah, you got to film it. Remember, I was uh, watching. Uh, I was watching some cooking shows today. Did." Does anybody know who Action Bronson is? Yes, I know who Action Bronson is. He's great. He's a, the only Albanian I like. He's a rapper. He's an Albanian rapper from Queens. And um, that food he, show. Um, he does a, a cooking show called Fuck That's Delicious. Yeah, it's really oh my God. And he was making chicken cutlets today. And I got yeah. so excited. I ran. Yeah. I ran to the yeah. store and bought everything I needed. What, well, well, what's what's so exciting about chicken cutlets? Like, what does he do differently? He just made chicken cutlets. As soon as I saw him, I went, I just need them. <laughs> oh, all right. So he he, I love chicken cutlets too. Yeah, really I love do. them. Well, but, he's, um, he's an Albanian but, rapper too, so that makes chicken. Cutlets, yeah, but so wait, I I love everything. I love chicken cutlets. I even love pork cutlets, veal cutlets. Mm -hmm. I love. I had like six pounds of bread and chicken cutlets from um, Lincoln Packing the other day. Jenny nice. gave me a whole shitload of them. Nice. I made real cutlets last night. Oh, nice, Tommy. Real deal. 
Ooh. Yeah, I had a special order to veal because the you know, public didn't carry it. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow I'm, I'm making chicken palm. What are you making? I'm going to make chicken palm tomorrow. I oh, bought I'm the making fresh that tomorrow, out. too. I'm making yep. that the chicken out. palm gone. He <laughs> remembers. I, did the, uh, I bought the fresh mozzarella and uh, the big, big chunk of uh, Parmesan cheese. I'm going to grade right as, as soon as you take them out of the frying pan. You got to hit it with the fresh Parmesan. Yeah, yeah. David, remember, uh, uh, Jeff, remember the time we won't say no names. Don't say any names. Remember the time your father. Uh, he he broke his friend's arm with the baseball bat in the kitchen. Yeah, it was an accident. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Was an accident. a sporting accident, you know. It was an accident. Um, um I'm going to make chicken cutlets tomorrow, also. See chicken cutlets. Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm. I mean, I'm making chicken cutlet parmesan tomorrow. That's yes. What yes, yes. That's some, the, yeah. That's what I'm doing. Some Deerfield spaghetti. Why, now, what, why? Do you, what kind of breadcrumbs do you use? Do you use a, the panko or do you use just the, the regular no, Italian? No, I breadcrumbs? use regular Italian. I use both. I worked oh, at yeah, Mantarelli, so I worked at Mantarelli, so I used to make my I used to make all the breadcrumbs and make all the meatballs, the eggplant over there. So Did I was a butcher really? at Vendor. Yeah, I was a butcher at Vendor Ravioli for two years. So I was yeah, I was well, with, Ke all with, with Kevin over there. Yeah, he's a good kid, Kevin. Yeah, yeah Kevin. My girl, my girl was working there for a little bit after she got out of the caddy over there. Nice. With She's a scumbag, my, though. She's oh, my mother used to make her old bread crumbs. She used to get the, you know, when the bread got stale, the Italian bread. Yeah, I That's know. That's the best way to do it. would get the cheese grater and yep. grind the bread yeah. home. Yep, right. everything she made was homemade. Yep, that's what we do. We grind up all the we grind up all the Italian bread in the grinder, then put um. Grated, we put Parmesan cheese and all that shit, and right. then all the herbs and shit. Yeah. Hey, and Kevin's watching too right now. Why? Yeah, Honestly, Kevin's Kevin. watching right now. Why? That's why like, do all you Italians dig on yard birds so much? Say what? Why do all you Italians dig on yard birds so much? Chicken? I don't understand. Galinia. It's called Galinia. It's good. The black yeah, and saying, mm, chicken in the in the chicken. Italian and he's like, yeah. But you guys like uh, like all your like chicken. Yeah, we get a lot of pulse. You know what I'm job. dying for? Chicken cacciatore. Okay. Uh, you know, I haven't had that and I don't I couldn't tell you how many years. Thirty last time I had it, my years. mother made it. Yeah. yeah. I never made, it. I never made chicken cacciatore. I make it all the time. I'm just it's asking because really. I don't. I like, I don't it like it with chicken. chicken. I like it with chicken on the bone, and then it starts to come yes. off the bone and gets all the flavor. Yes, that's, that's the best way. That is yeah. the best way. Chicken okay. on the bone. All right, all right. I'm just, I'm just asking a question. I don't like chicken. I, I grew up around yard bird and the factories and stuff like that. I don't. I just don't. Like oh, it. yard uh, bird. I know what you're saying now. Yeah, yeah chicken. I, chicken. I, I, chicken. Yeah. yeah I, well, I, that, I just don't. You know, he's, just, being, he's being a white. I got sick of it. I got sick of it. I just don't. Scotty's in the chat. You know who can cook some good Italian food? PJ. PJ yeah. cooks some spaghetti and claw and, and scallops and clams. He learned from my grandmother too. Yeah. Nice. My, my dad does all that. He's like the Cape Verdean Italian. Grew up in all Providence, right next to um your dad over on off of Wooded Road or whatever. And yep. he, he he acts like you'd think he was Italian too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Your dad's yeah. Yeah. He's always like, ah, I'm gonna give you a ski off and. With yep. every time I'm drinking, salute, Tim Don. Yeah, well, that's because they, that's because they were brought up around us. That's you yep. know, it's you just well, like I said. If I brought Jason on here right now, <gasps> who's you that? wouldn't you oh, wouldn't you that. wouldn't know I, what I, you I couldn't could, tell I, the nationality. I was looking to see who what was, picture that was. Who was that, that Angel? That, that's uh, that's me with curly hair and little. Okay, so beautiful. Thought, Okay, I thought, yeah, pretty. Oh, <laughs> that's, how, that's how curly my hair is. Eighty like the super hair. Look at that. <laughs> Look at little Chucky. She was going there. <laughs> oh, she was. She was even <laughs> angry back then. You could have been a Maybelline <laughs> model. Good. For that's her. a beautiful picture. Good Angel, you could have been a Maybelline model. I'll cut it out. <laughs> Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> I was gonna say that. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe she. 
<laughs> we used to say that about Ricky Coffee Cakes, remember? Oh. You can't do coffee cakes. You remember oh, what I used to do to him? When my That's daughter good. was born, I came in, I went uh, I, at Lenny's house, I soaked a whole diaper full of water out at the hose. I came in, I was like, it's medicine time, Rick, and slapped him in the face with it because he used to put that fucking baby urine on his face. <laughs> He used to owe me money. I used to take his shoelaces and underwear every single time I saw him. You took his underwear every Ew. day. Every Ew, day. Just saying that. Just saying that. When off. Ricky, he he was doing that dancing or whatever, and I and he left his bag at with this girl I was staying at Jen's house, and I went and I went in the bag with tongs because I was afraid of what I was going to find. Then I found these little underwear with a little dollar pocket in him. <laughs> he was like, "Yo." I'm going to be a DJ. What should my DJ name be? I was like, how about, is, how about DJ Gay for Pay? <laughs> you would take your you would underwear, though. Seriously. Uh, you, somebody's hey, listen, telling you to with keep it down low. Yeah, it's more of like a humiliation thing. Huh? And I did it in front of everybody. Like, listen, pay your debts. If you're a man, you got to pay your debts. I don't care. Yeah. And, how, how and if you, you don't have it, at least when, when you see me, you say, listen, man. Huh? How do you pay your debts when your underwear is stolen? That's what I don't understand. Like I didn't steal them. I didn't steal them. He no, handed them to me. You stole them. I'm saying, well, somebody he, he stole can't. He can't. He can't tumble out of nets and have guys put money in his underwear. His mother was home. calling me, going, "Can you give my son back his shoelaces and underwear?" Yeah. Yeah. That kid passed, okay. Didn't that kid pass away? Right. The kid you're talking about? Yeah, God rest yeah, his soul. Yeah. But he right. passed right. away. Right. I get it. All right. Uh, hey, he did a lot of douchey things, though. So, well, yeah. Tony, all right. Tony all Ubots right. was right there a couple of times when I took his shoelaces and underwear. Tony <laughs> Ubots, where is that moment? Yeah. He's on. He's over yeah, there. I, I, I see him in the chat. He's driving home. He said, but "Yeah, he's he, driving home, going like I hope they don't fucking call me now." From White Plains and and texting yeah. Tony Ubots. Yeah, he used to he hang said, around my brother, liquor store Larry. <laughs> Oh. What the How is Larry doing? How is he doing? Yeah, yeah he's, he's out of jail. He's um got his own place out in Iowa. I don't know. Yeah, I know oh, he lives out Iowa? of state. Yeah. I know he's, uh, last time I yeah, talked Tony to Tony Ubots. <laughs> yeah, Tony Ubots said he that I ripped his underwear off right in the middle of the road. <laughs> no, I'm laughing. I'm laughing at Tony Ubots. He's getting yelled at, Angel. I'm getting yelled at, Angel. <laughs> yeah, Scott, he's funny. He's, he's moving close to you in South Dakota, MRE, so he'll be fine. Be yeah, fine. In South Dakota. Yeah. Uh, Tony Obots, you are a one funny mofo. I wish you'd come on. Uh, I mean, I, agree I know. I, I loved having him on that one time he came. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I've seen yeah. Scotty chase some people out of the odds a few times. <laughs> <laughs> We had a wild neighborhood, but it was a fun neighborhood to grow up in. You guys, you guys are all fucking nuts. And I was only there as a kid. Like we were nuts as kids. Once. We How really I, did. I only remember once. Oh no, I think you did come on twice. I'm sorry. I think you did. came on yes. a couple of two, yeah, three times. I think it was a time near the feast, right? Uh, the yep. feast. Yes, he came on. Uh, I think it was New Year's Eve. He came on. New Year's, New Year's Eve. He came on. Yes, New Year's oh, Eve. All right. And then after that, Aralata was going, they did what? They think they're royalty. What the hell are they talking? Oh, they did stuff when they were 17, 18. Please. These yeah. people have, have no we idea. Had a nice night. Rat bastard that he is. There. Yeah, he was nice working night. in his father's produce place while we were doing whatever we were doing. That was fun, yeah. New Year's Eve. That was nice. Oh, that was. I, I, we I, laughed. Yeah, and, and as a kid, I probably walked around these mutts, these Providence mutts. Like when I was there, like I probably walked around them and didn't had no idea who they were and what they were doing and shit. And nowadays, if I if I came there and walked around Damien Damien uh, MRE, I'd be terrified. I'd be what? terrified. Because, yeah, you would. No, I would. <laughs> I would. But back in the day, like when I walked them, like when I was a kid, like we grew up in the same time. You would have been hanging out with us. Yeah, yeah, I would have. That's what I'm saying. I would have been like, oh, I, who did we lose? We lost Damien. Would have had you playing baseball with us. Oh, I, yeah. yeah, and no, I'm the lost I seen. Yeah, and the, we lost in the school across the street from my grandmother's house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, of course. 
Yeah, of course. I miss those baseball days. Yeah. Little really Damien. So, yeah. I was thinking about a few years ago, I was thinking about starting the baseball league back up. But I get the connections for the North yeah. Providence one over there, the little leagues, if, if you wanted to. Yeah, I could, but I still have the equipment and stuff. But you know how much work it is to to organize. It, it sound it doesn't sound a lot, but it's a lot of work to organize twenty five. You want to show your face? Yeah, my I was trying to upload my thing, but it wasn't working. So, well, oh, Damien, yeah. uh, Damien, right? It's not it's not easy organizing a baseball game to get twenty six, twenty seven people down on a Sunday at one o'clock, two o'clock. You got to call yeah. these people three times a week. Because yeah. they, get, they get drunk on Saturdays. They like, we, do, we could hop nope. in a softball league if you wanted to. Nah, I like playing the baseball. But I'm, I like the baseball. But it wasn't easy. I would have to call, and I would have a notebook, right? A notebook filled with people's names and numbers, like all the people who play. So if I would just meet somebody, I'd be like, hey, you like baseball? And he's like, yeah. I'd be like, hey, give me your number and stuff. We play every Sunday. I'd have everybody come down. And then mothers, and this is back in the day where not everybody had cell phones. You had to call homes and houses. So people's mothers would be like, oh, your friend Nikki's on the phone. We know who this is. Every Sunday he calls for the baseball. So they knew I was calling. MRE, can I? I'm sorry to break in. Can I just say that Damien Diaz looks like a Ukrainian war fighter? Just my personal. What do you mean, you people? Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, he looks like a Ukrainian warfighter just uh, yeah. right now. Just saying. But he's been in a few wars. Are you in Ukraine? Yeah, I have. I've been in some battles, got some scars. Yeah. He's in Fallujah sad. right now. Yeah. <laughs> Fallujah. <laughs> no, he looks like a Ukrainian warfighter, which is cool. Which is cool. You should have seen me a few months ago. I looked like um, an Al Qaeda member. Oh. I trimmed my beard. Well, oh, yeah, you had it longer, huh? My brother yeah. said, that. said it was long. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's that, that, that's cool. It was almost chuck length. Chuck length. Yeah, his is, his is long. <laughs> yeah. He you did. Still he got just that said, Give us a of World Records thing. You still yeah, got that pit bull? Didn't you have a pit bull recently? That was Mike's. That was Harvey. Yeah. Oh, all right. All right. Yeah. Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. And that dog's a sexual predator. You know, I'm having a whole conversation here, and I'm saying, why isn't he answering me? I go, oh, that's embarrassing. Um, yeah, I, uh, Damien, I'm sorry. I've been having a whole conversation here by myself. I was <laughs> muted. Which song? Excuse me. <laughs> I was muted the whole time. Um, Damien, you, you, do said, that once, you do that once or twice a show. So yeah, you're okay. not kidding. I know. Damien, it's very nice to meet you, I have to say. It's really nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you, too. Aw. Yeah, he's so good nice. people. He's like a little yeah. brother. So you know now, let me yeah. ask you, are, are you married? Uh, I just got out of a 13-year relationship, and my kid's mother was doing messed up things pregnant with my kid and I got uh, I got to try to fight for custody but I was together with her for 13 years and how Excuse many me. kids do you have well I, I got three kids from a previous relationship and then I have one with her oh I'm sorry to hear that yeah he's a good father though Real yeah. good. Mm-hmm. that's why the women nowadays are tough man it's 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 really if you can find a good woman nowadays, it's like hitting the lottery. Well, that's what I get from making a stripper a housewife, you know. Well, that's why I, you know. Oh, I think it's on both sides. There's good, bad guys and both women, yeah. bad men out there. It's on all ends. you got this uh, heap of degeneracy in this country, in this world, where just people are just nuts. Yep. I... Yep. I find a good woman almost every night. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they you know. Jesus Christ. You know, that's in the movie. Like, come on here. I want to be with Angel on her podcast. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say, that's in the movie Goodfellas. <laughs> I've been happy being single for the past couple of months. So, Isn't Oh, you're it nice? happy? Oh. oh, good. All right. As long as you're oh, happy. It's so nice. I'm getting to see my daughter now, too. So that's good. Now, I'll oh, probably good. have custody of her in a few months. Oh, really? And how old is your daughter? She was just born on the 11th last month. 
Oh, Congratulations. wow. She's yeah. a baby. Yeah. Yeah, she's a little... I was born, I'm born on Valentine's Day. She was on the 11th. She came a couple of days. I was the best oh, birthday wow. present I ever got. Oh, yeah. that's so nice. Well, she was well, born I hope you, I, she was I born hope you get two days before my birthday. Oh, I right. hope you get custody of her if the mother's not capable of taking care of her. Yeah, well, the, the, child the, the, needs work, a good home. the case work is that I'm dealing with, they all see that I had three kids and I know what a change type is, burp them, and they see that she has all problems. She tries to rush out of the visits and stuff. I, I take my daughter the entire visit. He's, yeah, he's like daddy daycare. He can do the whole thing with the little babies. I've seen him do it. Like He, he knows what he's doing, for sure. Yeah, but, but it's more than that than taking care of kids, too. You know? my, my first kid's it's mother, tough. she had postpartum, so I took care of my my daughter was a saint, but my my first son, he had colic and he'd scream and cry all night, and yeah. she didn't want now to. What is, what is colic? What is colic? Yeah. Like that, colic like is that a constant crying. Yeah, I, yeah. Said I had that crying. as a kid. My mother. Yeah, said the I doctors was... would tell me they'd be like, "Oh, just go outside and smoke a cigarette and relax, lay the baby down for a little bit, take the monitor right. with you," and they're like, "Yeah, because yeah. yeah. you'll snap yeah. it down." Yeah. yeah. Right. When I was a when I was a baby, I had the whooping cough, the croup. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Really? For, for, for forever. I oh, Damien, you had the whooper. Ever. That's the worst Whoop. sound. Damien. Yeah. The whooper. Oh, King Dom. His birthday is on yeah. the eleventh yeah, 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 yeah. as well. Oh, happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday. I'm on the twelfth. Mm -hmm. It's coming up. Oh, that's right. Emory's birthday. Yeah, my uncle's Timmy's God rest his soul was today. Really? Yeah, yeah. all right, be Timmy. He was a good he was funny, man. He used to have me die and laugh and Timmy. Oh. <clears throat> he was a character. Oh, he was. He didn't care who you were. I remember I was in front of the courthouse. I almost went to war with like dozen Spanish people and everybody thinks I'm Spanish because of my color or whatever because I'm mixed so I'm sitting in front of him and, he's, and all these Spanish people are trying to cut to get into the courthouse he's like you cut your way in this country now you cut me a line they all turn around ready to beat him up and I step from behind him I was like yeah nothing, ain't nothing happening and they were like looking at me like what the hell is this Spanish dude sticking up for him for <laughs> <laughs> yeah R.I.P. to him he was a good Aww. dude <laughs> yeah. Angel, is the uh, state of Rhode Island paying you uh, to host all these Rhode Island Providence motherfuckers? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, There's a lot more watching. I'm, well, you're not. Yeah. I'm well, you're not. Get, you're not. They got to get some kickback. I'm just. Yeah. A real deal. I'm very excited. I have I, I um, 13 friends so far of MREs on I my know. show. I'm so he's excited. So, he's so for for when we had, when he and I worked together, he never even talked about these dudes. We were I know. Well, because CIA is not yeah. supposed to. Uh, who, who said we worked for the CIA? I didn't. You did. He didn't. I didn't. Three can uh, keep a secret if two are dead. <laughs> yeah. um, I think it one. was MRE who blew your cover about a year ago. No, I blew his cover. No, he blew your. You did what to him? Oh, I didn't blow him. Shut up! I didn't blow him. Shut up! Not at all. Not at all. That left to degeneracy town. No degeneracy. Five, six media. You got a potty, bro. Shut up, baby. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Damien. He, Damien, big Damien. He blew what? <laughs> <laughs> That's he blew bad. bubbles and he's back in town. He wants oh, your number. Five bubbles and crown. 5.56 media. When you were young, bubbles did you used to blow bubbles? <laughs> he's been asking for you. He's been asking for you. Tony, who blocked Tony Watts said, ask me no questions and I'll tell you no lies is the CIA motto. Is that really their motto? Is that uh, what? Is that really their motto? Or do you just make that up, Tony? Hey, Edwin, what's up, Uncle Edwin? Hi, Edwin. How are you, Edwin? Hey, Edwin. Tony Ubats, did you just make that up? He might have. <laughs> five, 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 six. Yes, sir. You started picking on these guys from Providence? Yeah, yeah, I did. Bad move, bro. <laughs> Bad move. <laughs> Real deal. I ain't afraid of them. I ain't afraid of them. I spent time. You don't to be afraid of us. I ain't afraid of them. 
With no, no, I don't know where those people <laughs> come from. Uh, if you go to your analytics, believe it or not, most people are from New York that watch these shows. Mm -hmm. believe New it York, or not, New Jersey, and Rhode Island. Well, it's mostly New York, but we go to a lot of Rhode Islanders that watch, though. Don't get me wrong, but New York is the most where people come from because you can check the analytics and it tells you. Oh, when you get right. a chance, Angel, right. check right. it. It will, it will say that. Uh, I'm yeah, like one right. person from New York. Right. I'm sorry yeah. to interrupt you, Amari. Uh, Rudy uh, uh, Herrera, thank you for the time check. You oh, fucking always come on at the best time. <laughs> it's 11.13 p.m. Central. Sorry, Amari. Uh, it's Rudy all right. The analytics <laughs> on this on my this channel is that, it, I think it said it was 83% men. Oh, yeah. my gosh. <laughs> Could you imagine? We have 83% men. I don't yeah, identify as a man. I, I identify I as a new topic. <laughs> I know right. you do, but um, I was so surprised to see that. Yeah, eighty-three percent men. Yeah, we have a. Uh, I think it's like two or three percent from the United Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, uh, I don't have. Yeah, I don't have a big uh, United yeah. Kingdom crowd. I know you do, Emory. Yeah, there's, like five of them. there's like four or five UK people that watch. Uh, I think you have oh, more than that. There are. No, I don't there's, think there's so. a few. There's a. There's you know? quite a few. Yeah, there's Emory. See, because yeah. you go on at anywhere between two and six a.m. Yeah, and they're My always hours. in your chat. Yeah, yeah, because their hours are exactly are like twelve hours ahead of us. Exactly. No, the, like that, the yeah. UK is like seven hours. Oh yeah, Wade's from New Orleans. Yeah, like people from all over that watch. You know, Emory. Do you remember when I used to have my radio show, Scumbag Superstar Radio? Yes, I remember that. That was like 2011, 2012. I was yeah. having people, because it showed up right on the screen where they're calling from, where they're uh, logging in from. It was all Australia, Germany, England, Peru. Um, really? Japan. Like all, 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 I had a much larger international following. Yeah, they were from other... Now, remember the time, me, Rudy, Anthony... Uh, yep. Little Rudy, we came down there like seven, eight of us. We came down there for the show that time. That was funny. And the midgets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. God rest yep. them. One of them passed away. One died, yeah. Uh, one of them died, one yeah. Tiny the Terrible. Nothing. They were good yep. guys. I liked them. They were cool as hell, man. Yeah, I Tiny remember. Tiny Terrible and Half Nelson. They were WWF wrestlers back in the day. Yeah, yeah I used to see cool. over there when I was bouncing at that club over there. With yeah, big nuts. <laughs> and Mary, is this part of the crew that used to call into uh, what's his name show and, and prank him? Who Howard Stern? Yeah. No, uh, no, no, no. It, that was uh, <laughs> that was me, Del Judas, and D'Amico. That was a long time. Ago. Yeah, uh, Joey's passed away. Vinny passed away, and I haven't seen Dave in years. Yeah. Wow. But Vinny and Joey passed. We used to call in Crank Stern all the time, mostly as interns. <laughs> How did these guys just yeah. run around with uh, your age? How did they pass away so young? Oh, for a lot of uh, the one that we believe was murdered. Uh, yeah, the oh, other one was pneumonia. Pneumonia. Uh, a lot of a lot of kids get hooked on pills. Uh, all kinds oh, of okay. car yeah, accidents. Uh, I get we it. I get we it. lost a few from car accidents. Uh, or being killed. There's a, there's a lot of different reasons people passed. Yeah. We lost a lot of good friends. Your yeah, brother, yeah. your brother always tells me I'm cursed. Like so many people that I beat up in the past have passed away. He's like, you go like the hit of death. You might not kill them thing, but later on they all end up dying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a good point. A lot of the kids you fought with uh passed on. Even yeah. Ray. Remember Ray? Crazy German yeah. Ray. <laughs> oh, remember that? Remember you beat him <laughs> that time? That was crazy. Remember the blood on the side of Mike Netcher's house. <laughs> yeah, that was that wasn't fun. that was nuts. <laughs> it was like a rainbow arch of blood, and Mary Netch came out. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, Mary, yeah. she used to stop. She was, us, she was a nutcase. Yeah, space shot. Yeah, we lost Richard. Uh, Rich Ganu. Uh, Rich was a good dude. I miss Rich. He passed yes, away. I was. I was working That's with him body. and Josh Ganu right before that happened. I, I, I was a young kid. Young kid from high school, uh, uh, Legault was his last name. Yeah, um, Richard, Richard Legault. Legault. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, Scott, yeah, yeah. what do you think? Oh, I, hit, I, I hit him too at his house. I felt bad. Like they all started jumping. Poor little Nick Andriozzi and um, me, your brother, cleared off the whole porch. Me and little Vinny. Can you click on Scott's thing at two nineteen? Vinny D'Amico, he was murdered. Uh, he had to be because yeah. he, the house caught on fire. Uh, yeah. He could have got out of that house. He was still, they said he still had, uh, he had smoke in his lungs, so he was conscious. They married, he got married for sure. Yeah. Because he did a lot of crazy things that week. And yeah, he, did. he was nuts. He did a lot of crazy things. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah, I'll talk to you off the, off the thing with him. Yeah. But yeah. yeah There's no way people, that yeah. he, he committed suicide. There's no. Oh, he got the, caught in a fire. There's no way. The way he was before that week, like he spotted me out, and I didn't even spot him. He spotted me, and that's pretty hard because, like, he he's so big, and this guy he spotted me, spun around, pulled up on me. He's like, "Oh, what's up, Tiger?" Because he used to call me the Bernie Williams of Tiger, and he's like, "What's going on, Tiger?" Because he used to always have that golf driver. Remember? Yeah, you guys <laughs> yeah, used to hit the golf balls. Yeah, he yeah. loved that guy. He loved that golf club. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of you bots that uh, we did a show. We opened up for uh, ICP one day, and he was at the show. And and the next day, he got into the car accident. We saw wow. him before. Really? I, insane Clown Posse? Yeah, I toured with them for a little bit. No shit. All right, cool. All right. Yeah, I cool. with, yeah they, that's, that's a, a group that had – Zero talent, but, but their, their drive and determination to like make something. They never, mm-hmm. they never had one song on the radio. I can't they think never, of one of their songs. Like these guys been around for years. I can't think of. I mean, a song. They're, it's they're, they're like I wouldn't put them in a talented category, but their hustle far surpassed any talent that they had. They and they amassed a fortune of like thirty million a piece. There's two guys in the group. Yeah. They're worth about sixty million. What were those Performers. concerts that you took me to uh, back in like 2015? Remember, you brought me to a couple of concerts. Who were those people? I brought you to so many. I don't. It was a bunch. We did like the uh, the grind mode ciphers when I would get in and battle all the kids and shit uh, with those things like that. But we went to. Uh, I think I took you to like a DMX show. I took you to. Um, oh, DMX. No, it wasn't. It wasn't the DMX guy. I would have remembered that. It was. I local. ran into DMX downtown when he was all messed up. He was out yeah, on the streets. I knew him. He was, and shit. Yeah, he was living in Rhode Island for a while. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah I was living in, downtown yeah, living all the time. For a while. Yeah, he was trying to get clean living up here. Oh, oh no, hey, man, remember you? You seen remember you seen Bobby DeLuca at the bus stop and took a yeah, picture at the bus stop. <laughs> <laughs> I know my father. <laughs> so, 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 Damien, you were in uh, the business. So, I'm not going to get in depth or ask in depth questions. So, you were in the business and involved in uh, the entertainment industry, so to speak. I was an artist, right? Right, an artist That's, and a performer, right? Okay, so you you were involved and you know the the backs like behind the scenes kind of things. And as as far as what? What do you mean? What are you getting at? I'm not getting at anything. I'm just I'm not trying to um, expose. Just what ask you the question. Did. Okay. Well, you fucking like you knew these people and you were experienced firsthand in uh, success of these different. Uh, I platforms. achieved lo- I achieved low level success as far as music is concerned. Okay, fine. But you understand the whole concept the background how it works yeah right that's all i'm saying i'm not trying to say anything else but um like you're talking about uh we were just talking about uh you know spit it uh, out no i'm be, i'm i'm being nice not not i'm not talking about don't you. be I'm nice just about, be honest tell me what you want to say we're not soft skin. You, you, you and I yeah. have both seen. You and I have both seen successes and failures, right? Mm-hmm. And it's hard work either way. Oh yeah, I mean, I, you know, peaks and valleys. Yes. You know, a lot of I've had a lot of peaks and a lot of valleys. Yes. <laughs> How did they make that soda popular? They made that soda popular, right? Well, Those that guys- was a Detroit-based uh, soda company, Fago. And what they did was uh, they destroyed a lot of 
equipment by using the uh, just a regular cola, and they found out that if they use the diet cola, it doesn't affect the musical equipment when they're spraying it all over the, the crowd and everything. What made them do that? I don't get it. When, what's, can, what, can you name one song of theirs? I can't think of one, but those guys are very popular. They got a lot so of money. Many. They got like 25 albums that they came Chicken out with, up. I think. There's a song. Eminem Chicken. made them even more famous when he was ripping them. Yeah, that was yeah. about to say. Didn't they have Eminem's mom in a song or something like that? Well, they, uh, they, did, a, they did a diss uh, to Eminem, and Eminem came back, and then, you Both know, them. they just. Because they're from the same yeah. city, correct? If, well, yeah, they, um, they're like from a. It's this. It's it's Detroit, but Eminem uh, was eight mile, and I think they were like six mile or something like that. So it's not eight mile, which is like the hood, where six mile is a little bit more like trashy. Than Trail parkish. Yeah, yeah. They uh, had all the weird there. wrestling fans too. That's what. Well, big. they were in the WWF for a little bit. They achieved a you know a lot of weird success that not many people could ever. I mean, they sold more, more merchandise than public. they sold as far as merchandise sales go for artists, right? And bands, it goes. Elvis is number one. Kiss. Uh, I'm sorry, Kiss is number one. Elvis is number two, and Insane Clown Posse is number three, and then the Beatles are number four. As far as merchandise, as far as, really? as, far as merchandise sales, T-shirts, wow. hoodie, jerseys. How's that possible? They got all those weirdos tattooing their face. Those people are so devoted. Listen, the way they did it, they pretty much stole Kiss is formula. Yeah, so the face, face. they 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 mm-hmm. recognize that you know. Instead of showing your face, you can be eternally youthful by painting your face, which is yeah, what Kiss did. Really? And then Bitches will tell Gene that, Simmons to put the makeup back on and shit. <laughs> and, and Gene wow. Simmons was a master marketer. Yeah. He, put, he ran that band, correct? Yeah, he, he, didn't, he didn't even care about the music. He just cared about getting no, women. It's and, all about merch. It has nothing to do with talent, music, stage presence. It's all about the merch. Yeah. And that's how... A lot of people either make money or don't make money in the music industry. That, if you've true. got a good marketable logo or any type of fit, like uh, because they were like wicked clowns, it was stupid. But for some reason, they just stuck with it and amassed a fan base of probably ten million people. Let's say so. Oh. Then they and have they the little festivals. They had festivals and stuff. Once a year, they they put on one of the largest music festivals in the country called the Gathering of the Juggalos. I performed there a couple of times. The Juggalos. And, Juggalos uh, and Juggalos. Now, I'm, I'm not a Juggalo. All right? No, I am I'm, I'm not. I just but know what you're talking about. my That's fan cool. base somehow, like I didn't pick my fans. My fans picked me. You know what I mean? So it just so happens that their fan base kind of leaned towards the music I was putting out, even though like I'm, I, I can honestly say I, I'm, I'm much more talented than them, but they achieved success because of their marketing and um, certain other elements of their stage presence yeah. that okay. they would sell out shows when they've never been on one radio station ever never been on one mtv ever you know they never had any exposure on a um on a um on a mainstream level but mm-hmm. made more money than most of these mainstream artists ever have mm-hmm. yeah, but I, i'd and, listen to that italo vandals record way more than i'd listen to any of their shit yeah, <laughs> well, that, that was like a concept album. That was like you know we did that fucking when yeah, that was funny though. years ago. That was like thirty years ago. That shit was funny. Mm. Now are they still around that uh, the clown posse? Or do they still do they, songs? They, to- they, they tour the world. They still tour. I mean, yeah. they're constantly, constantly touring to yeah. the point where um, their record label. They started a record label called Psychopathic Records. They were they mm. tried signing me. And I, I turned down the deal. Why? Because uh, the money 
the because they they do like fuck deals where they get these kids that have nothing and no future promise or anything like that and and they pretty much say well we're gonna bring you on the road we're gonna feed you clothe you you're gonna have a roof over your head as long as you keep touring and as long as you keep doing this you're on the bus you're on the road you get a job and if you're not doing music anymore or something like that that's when you start doing like the merch booth or like the roadie shit or, you know, any, all the other elements, like, like setting up the stages and being the guy that wears a clown outfit in the corner dancing. Or I mean, whatever, how many like people that, would that. they have with them? Like, like how many people would they take like on their tours? Um, as far as the bands, they'd probably have like maybe five bands with them. And then they'd have multiple merch people. They'd have, um, and it was mixed with rock and rack, ra- uh, rap and rock and roll, sort of. Kinda. I mean, it was more. It was more like um, trashy hip hop. Really, yes. is what it was. It like nobody really accepted them. The rap crowd didn't accept them. The right. rock crowd didn't accept them. The metal yeah. crowd didn't accept them. Yeah. So they were doing shows with people and getting booed off stage every night, and then. They just kept doing it and doing it to the point where they just organically grew a fan base and became wealthy. It's just yep. the only way to just, like they just kept doing it and kept selling merch and their merch far succeeded that, all their talent. That's right. That's right. And their cult, you know, their cult following, like all the people that dressed up, like yeah, um, up and the, like the juggalos. They're like the the actual fan base mm-hmm. that they call themselves the juggalos. They were on the uh, the top ten gangs. Yep. Really? In the country at one point. Yeah, oh, they yeah. were. Uh, gangs, they were, like a like a street gang. Yeah, they yeah, were violent. Like a street gang, yeah, they were very violent. violent. Yeah. Violent and and a lot of those people like gravitated to my music, so yeah. it was more like I didn't necessarily have a fan base. I more had like loyal disciples, where yeah. anything I said or did, and they were like, "Yup, and who's bothering anything?" So yeah. I'd have like if I had a problem with someone, and let's just say I aired it out on social media for whatever reason, I I would get literally like eight nine hundred people call me up. Do you need me in Providence? Oh, so they were like cult following. Yeah, it, no, that's exactly what it was. It was like a cult following. Yep. But I guess the the two guys. Um, I don't see how they got it with the gang, though. Like, how can you call? There was so many of them. Like individually, they're nothing really to worry about. I know, but, but did anybody ever get arrested? Were they doing anything illegal? That, oh, like, many was... people. When because of that tattoo, they have like a certain like logo that they have. Yeah, they have that. And well, it has that people with dreads with the um, meat cleaver. Yeah, it's it's called a Hatchet Man logo. Yeah, okay. and people people that would go to these shows, some you know, you get a couple of bad apples. They're involved in crime and shit like that. So when they were going in prison with this particular logo tattoo, they were just considering them a gang. And and, and Damien and Damien, correct me if I'm wrong, but it was kind of like a media created label where they called them. Well, you know what I mean? And, well, yes, pretty much. And it, it was just like some weirdos mm-hmm. that became, you know, that were street kids that they weren't really fitting in with like um the urban kids and they weren't really fitting in with the suburban kids and they weren't really fitting in with the the country kids or the you know you know, so they really had no where to fit in. Mm-hmm. So they just started their own thing and became yeah. like, uh, you know, like these, these are the kids that were picked on every yeah, day. Well, in school. Well, right? well, kids. You know what I mean? Like they were all kids that were picked on and like, um, they just got together and started bullying the people that were bullying them collectively. So instead of just picking on one kid that was, you know, like a, like a weirdo kid, you know, not necessarily. So, they got arrested. so these guys got arrested and got dubbed as a gang. They got, got uh, they got dubbed as gang leaders. There was like a RICO thing going on with them, and anyway. they took it. They took it to um, to the Supreme Court to to explain how like they are not a gang. They are not gang members. There, so it was like a big thing for a little bit. Mm-hmm. I mean, as far as music goes, it was 
probably the biggest gang for music as far you know like like i mean you think like like g unit and shit like that's a gang all these kids from like Treyway with six nine and shit was a gang there's maybe like a hundred people let's say in these gangs in this thing we're talking like a million people mm-hmm. you know well, what i mean people yeah. would go to their like festivals sell out sixty thousand a hundred thousand they like could sell out. It's like they you would, couldn't. Yeah, they would sell out. They would paint themselves up. They would dress up. They would. Yeah, uh, yeah so you're talking like a hundred thousand yeah. kids that are all wearing clown makeup. They yeah. tattoo that, are, that clown makeup on their face. Yeah, they right. tattoo their face like a clown. Like, and mm-hmm. listen, when you see like thirty thousand of these kids show up somewhere and they'll wreck a whole city. Yep. Yeah. You want to talk about like these little urban gangs that that shoot their pea shooter at people? We're talking yeah. uh, an army, a legit legion of fans that yeah. the time. snap of you know. And that's why they somebody, tried to hit him with a Rico because their fans are like breaking stuff up. No, nah, because they were pretty much like if you got bullied in school by this kid and like his whole, you would just wipe out the crew. They would just like destroy, yeah. like explode people. MRE, remember what that Thay Street brawl? It was like a bunch of them, a uh, bunch of them kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was wild. Yeah, listen, like that's what I'm saying. I'm not like I'm not a juggalo. I'm not part of that. But because I was considered one of the top tier artists that they yeah, fucked that, with, the ball rap they looked at me like I was like a, on the cult leader following thing like so like they pretty much would do anything i say and like so it was it was it it was an ego booster to say the least where like i'm not talking about 25 30 dusty old wise guys that could say hey hey you know who my cousin is i'm having thirty thousand painted faced freaks like clown show freaks pull up and just and they really painted want? clown makeup on their face, I mean, like real tattoos. Dude, they That's were dangerous. They would tattoo their face up, but a lot of them would just use like the paint, like the clown face paint. Uh, uh, MRE, Damien, Damien, correct me if I'm wrong. They were fucking dangerous, MRE. Really? No, listen, these kids that, that listened to me and like lo- loved me, they weren't like fans. Yeah. I remember going to shows on the other side of the country and they would shake and go, oh my god, can I please just touch you? What? Yeah, like I'm talking like, kids too. like cult-based following kids that these people, they had nothing other than this music and they and it was like a family. It was like a crime family to be honest with you, except it wasn't like nearly as organized or anything like that, but I mean it was And they really had yeah. 60,000 people at a festival? And that's that's a low number like that's, that's a, a lot that's of people. A, that's sure a that low many? number. I'm talking like, uh, like very conservatively, a hundred thousand would show up right. to some of these shows. Yeah, they were bigger yeah. than Woodstock. Yeah, it was bigger than Woodstock. Like, yeah. I mean, their shows are huge, yep. and they have certain cities that they call clown towns. Yep, clown which towns? are <laughs> clown Wigan towns, Billy. which are like the big <laughs> big cities, like like oh, yeah. Worcester, Massachusetts. Yeah, he's right. Probably has like 70,000 of these juggalos just in Worcester mm-hmm. alone. Wow. Yep. And Providence was considered a like semi smaller clown town. Mm-hmm. And like, um, uh, like, um, Anderson, Indiana. None, none of those kids would go to the real clown county in Providence. Arizona. Though. Huh? The Wagons Village. Said, none, of, none of those painted freaks would go to the real clown town in Providence. <laughs> no, you'd be surprised, it. man. You'd be surprised how many of these people that, and I'm not talking like it was all colors, nationalities, races, religions, creeds, all different that collectively got together mm-hmm. and would just fuck shit up if Correct. there was mm-hmm. an issue. Like if if there was a word that you were bullying one of these kids, I'm not exactly <laughs> 900 <laughs> people would show up to your door. Yeah, you'd be and done. Painted in clown face makeup and ready yeah. to destroy your house. 
Yep, you'd be done. Yep. And, and Jack here's the would thing. Terrify you. <laughs> and here's the thing. It's very. It was very difficult to like catch these kids because nobody knew what they looked like. They were just painted they like clowns. clowns. They got paints on their face. It should be easy. And they're see. wearing like they're wearing like clown outfits too. Uh, like, uh, like yeah, like, MRE. Da, 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 da. like these fuck. They didn't fuck around. He's telling the no, truth. No, listen. They, they would hurt around. people. They would yeah, hurt they, people they bad. It up. Yeah. Like, sure. do you remember like the uh, like the punk rock scene back in the day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. A lot of those kids ended up going towards um, that particular type of music because it was more of like a like a family. Like these people, like they would get out of prison and their family wouldn't help them out, and these people would. Like they would collect. Like if one of them was down, they would pick that person right up and be like, oh, what do you need, a house? What do you need, a now, car? Are they still need... around? Is they still have these festivals or what every happened? Year. Every year. I get invited every year to go do a set. I would never go to one of them things. You couldn't pay me to go to one of those festivals. <laughs> Usually. Oh, it, smells like BO, it smells like BO and God knows yeah, what. They're, they're, uh, um, yeah. they're freaks. Like They're like, um, what's the word they use for them? They're like... Uh, um, like dirty, grimy kids, like yeah. it's like like street kids, like dirty, grimy street kids that yeah. have nothing. That's yeah. the only way to describe. It. Like they literally have nothing. They come from like real broken homes and like, like all, all the all the white kids that hang out in Kennedy Plaza. <laughs> a lot of them. Yeah, but you'd be surprised how many black fans that I had yeah. with them. With yeah, them, I know. And like, oh, all juggalos and like. Uh, a lot of Hispanics. Yeah, you ain't kidding. When I was doing shows in like, um, like Albuquerque, New Mexico, I I got off the, like, I would pull up to the venue and there would be like, I'm I'm, I'm not even exaggerating, like, eight hundred kids all yeah. painted up like clowns, yelling my name, like screaming yeah. my name with flyers yeah. and like all like big banners. Yes, yeah. yes, he's here, he's here. Like, and I'd be like, wow. Yep. That's crazy how you know who I am from in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yep. And and you legitimately love me. Like there's no like it's it's just such like an admiration and ego booster yep. to have these fans that would literally die for me if I asked yep. them to. It was sick. Correct. It was sick. It, it, it really was. <laughs> You know, and they still keep in touch with me. You know, hey, when you're gonna come out with a new album? They add, I I get I get emails like every day. Please, please don't stop doing music. You know, you, you know, you stop me from doing suicide. You stop me from committing suicide. You help my brother because of you uh, and your voice and your words. I'd be like, wow, I spit fucking gutter hip hop into a microphone. I. <laughs> Yeah, but you have to deal with you have to deal with um, all these people that uh, say like I'm going to kill myself or whatever. Yeah, and people. Um, and I, I dealt with that on on my end for my professional field. Like they like they did stupid things because they deal with the the, the entertainment industry things like Listen, that. When someone comes up to you, and I'm not talking just one person, like when hundreds yeah, yeah. of people come up to you. And say because of you, you helped me get over committing yeah, suicide. Are they, are they just saying that? Yeah, it's no, like, no, I don't think no, that's no, a popular no, thing no. to say. Or no, 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 because literally these people yeah. they have nothing but their no, CD just, player and their music, and that's what pretty much gets usually, them through the day, man. Yeah, like usually they, they mean it. Usually they, they mean come it. from a real fucked up place in their life, in their Just head. Imagine if you were tortured and thing, like the shit that we did to that kid Hitler and all shit like that. Like, it's gonna thing. Like, I, when I got old, I felt bad for half the shit I did when I was a kid. Yeah. No, usually they they mean it, and they're and they're sincere about it. They're like, hey, you saved my life. Your lyrics, your song, your whatever, yeah. your music. It's crazy, and me. I wouldn't understand. At first, I, I was like, I was kind of fucked up over it. I was like, this is this is way too much. And then you kind of like embrace the love because it's all, it was all love. It was no negativity. Nobody was being, Hey, you suck. It was never like that. It was always like, mm -hmm. what can I do to, you know, can I do anything for you? Like, do you need anything? Are you okay? And I was like, Oh, yeah. you're literally just some, some 
overweight chick from Anderson, Indiana, and you want to fly out to bake me cookies. <laughs> what? <laughs> it was no, sick. It, no, he's serious. It's it's, it's, no, it's, it's, yeah. it's crazy, like the way and, people think. And it, a lot of them just don't have anything else in life except this music. Right. And that's what got them through whatever hump or obstacle was hurting them that particular day. Uh, like, you know, they, and they would tell me stories about how, like, their parents just didn't want them. And, like, let, like a lot of, like, abandonment, yeah. I found. A lot of these kids were, like, abandoned or just, like, pretty much picked on and bullied their whole life. And mm -hmm. finally, they, they related to something that made them feel complete and whole again for some reason. And these shows was that outlet for them so like when they would go to these shows and they would travel all over the country just, just to, it was like kiss or like you know like a fish show i mean don't get me wrong a lot of it was like drug fueled sometimes because that's it what could, these people are doing they're doing dude, it drugs could be, and, it, it could be five finger death punch in, in modern times it doesn't matter. Yeah, but they don't have down. they don't have a loyal fan base like right. some of these people. They like but, I'm talking like a legit right fans. Like they weren't fans. They were loyal disciples. Where right. like people, cult leadership really found what it was a means right through the music to yeah uh, survive. Is yeah, it? and that's what and did. all these people really did was just collectively fall in love with each other. Mm -hmm. through this music and they would meet up at these shows and you would see like the the div like the divine love that they literally had for each other because you could tell that they were all individually broken but together collectively they became an extremely strong group there we go yep that's you know and and yep. some yep. people were better than others as far as you know there, there would definitely was a criminal element with these people like they you know they could the street they just people, get like drunk they, uh or would they be like just high and drunk and do crazy stuff yeah well you know they would get high and drunk and do like real real crime there, shit did you they know? have hats that said divine love no 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 i would have hats with like a little hatchet man on them like the logo is right. like a little hatchet man all right, Damien will agree with this. There were dummies, right? There's dummies in, mm -hmm. in these in these groups, but there are people that actually relied upon it, and they and they it fed their soul, it fed their mind. Yes, it fed. It their really did. A lot of them, things. a lot of them did, and all, and you know, when you get that, you're gonna get some some wolves that come mm -hmm. around and manipulate the situation too. So there was, yep. hey, listen, you have nothing. Let's go do this crime or whatever like that so we can eat for the month, you know, and you get like 30 people that run in somewhere and do what they got to do. Mm -hmm. And then they legit eat for the month. Yeah. All of, you know, and, you know, so that was that element. It was kind of like it was like a gang, but not it like it wasn't initially like that. That's not what it was supposed to be. Right. But, but because of a couple of bad apples and bad seeds, right. you got that whole gang thing came up. And it was legit considered one of the top 10 gangs in the country. There right. were so many of them. And I'm talking like, yeah. yo, these people would like beat up biker gangs, like mop yeah. the floor I, with them. ICP would fuck some shit up for sure. Like, I'm like, they would like, like, when they Why would, would come they to town, these people, I don't get it. Because, would, because, because they would get made fun of, they would get yeah, made fun of. They're just standing and, up for themselves. Yeah, they were standing up for themselves, and That's all. when you're making fun of one of them, and there's a show down the street, and they go, hey, uh, sideshow Billy Bob the Clown is getting beat up right now. Come and help. And you got 800 people running down the street to go beat up a, uh, an outlaw biker gang, and they run in the clubhouse and wreck everything, and then walk out rob them for whatever they got and then go back to the show. Yep. And leave and leave bikers right on the street, right on the ground. Uh one of them was Chicago Muscle, but that's something none of my business. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I shouldn't have said that. 
I shouldn't have said that. Who? Nothing. Yeah. Why shouldn't you have said that? It's on my business, Angel. <laughs> I, I just I just wanted to be a smart ass in the moment. It's on my uh, business. Uh, smart Alec, eh? Yes. Uh, wise guy, eh? Yeah. 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 Yeah, see, I got a cigarette machine in my bedroom. See, yeah. I, I should have, yeah. I should have even fucking. Yeah, see, you better catch me, copper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. yeah. copper. Yeah. 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 catch me, copper. Yeah. <laughs> and these yeah. kids would literally like wear face paint, run into places. Nobody knows. Who, oh, oh, who attacked you? A oh bunch of clowns. <laughs> Nobody's, but he's right. Like, uh, I see. Who attacked you? Like a legit, a legit. Um, considered Dang. to be a legit violent uh, street gang. Yeah, it's all about the music. It's all about uh, the attitude and and things like that. Oh, yeah. And in some of these cities, we're talking thirty thousand of these kids. Yeah, in some of these cities where you like, you know, you go to like these little gang cities. There's like twelve, you know, there's twelve gang bangers, a hundred at most if it's a big gang or whatever. Mm -hmm. And you got these painted up weirdos that come in and mop the floor with these people. Like, oh, yeah. oh, oh, you got a shotgun and an AK? There's still 700 people that you ran out of ammo. And they just, <laughs> like, yeah. that's pretty yeah. much, you know, that's the, like, they're not, and no fear. Yeah. They're not afraid because but, they're together. But, so most active shooters forget about that part. Like, oh, God, I could run out of ammo. They mm -hmm. never fucking think about that part of it. They never it. run Listen, out of that. Dealing, when you're dealing with people do, that have nothing, when you're dealing with people that don't have a home to go to, or if they go home, mm -hmm. their parents are literally strung out drug addicts on the ground. So it's not a home. It's not a happy home. Right. It's, it's, it's not a healthy home environment. So right. they they would rather live with these people on the street and, you know, when there's 30 of them, they can rent or you know, somebody has a house and it becomes like a flop house for these these painted up weirdos. It's a, it's they, a, hopeful, it's a hopeful life that they create for them. It's a hopeful It really is. And it's life. all surrounded by this music that they're involved in. Yeah, right, right. Which, yep. you know, music has the power to create um, beauty and it also has the power to create uh, chaos. Yeah. Right. Uh, well, if you look at music, uh, movie scenes, like you can show a kid driving down the street on a bike, and you can whatever music you put, you would think it's something bad's gonna happen, something good's gonna happen. It yep. depends on kind of music. Music you creates put. moods. Right. Yeah, back in the day when I was in the club scene bouncing and I'd be doing rolls and stuff, that stuff affects you. And then the music, whatever music you're listening to, is the type of mindset you'll get into. Mm -hmm. And a Don't lot of these kids are on. Know you're all, oh yeah, partying, yeah. but then listen to the DMX, and you know, and you want to go start smashing people's faces. And Damien, <laughs> there's a good, there's a good question that came up from Finn Freak. So, mm -hmm. what happened to the Juggalos? That's a good question. This, this still, Juggalos? this, this still juggling, still, still around, they're still juggling. <laughs> mm -hmm. And they got like a thing they yell out. It's called boo boo. And as soon as you yeah. hear that. You literally see uh, hundreds of these people running at you. Yeah. You don't see the, that weirdo kid that's always on the things jumping on fucking barbed wire and shit. Going, woo, yes. <laughs> yeah, like they're, like, they're like extreme they wrestling fanatics, too. Backyard wrestling or something. Yeah, they yeah, do like, yeah, extreme, they like barbed wire wrestling. Like, so, like, these people have no fear. These people are used to getting hurt on as a pastime. You know what I mean? So, like, running into, like, somebody's house and damaging everything. Yep. And, like, wrecking. Run They'll run right. through a brick wall like Kool-Aid Man. Yeah. And they oh, don't even yeah. feel it because they're on so many drugs that they just don't feel it. And they're, like, I equate it to, like, the punk rock scene. How, like, you know, there's, you know, like, off. Like, something's wrong with these people. You look at them, there's, there's something wrong here. And then that's pretty much what, yeah. where all that genre went to like this particular outside group of. They mystics. can't be still around that popular. No, they are. No, they're. Yeah, Listen, they're so they, you go to any of these insane clown posse shows, 
you can't even buy a ticket. Yeah, I'm already. They're packed. so it's up packed. There. It's packed, <laughs> and I'm and they're all ages shows, so they're letting in kids that are like 13, 14, and you got people that have been in the scene for twenty years that are like 40, 50, 60. That so like it's just a, a huge. Yeah, man, there's there's absolutely they've been doing it for like almost forty years now. How old are the clown guys, the leaders of the group? <sighs> They're they gotta be at least fifty five now. Oh damn! They gotta be at least fifty five, and but like you wouldn't know it because they wear clown makeup, so they they are eternally youthful. It's it's like a modern Kiss kind of thing. Yes, like, that's exactly what it is. But Kiss didn't way. have. The um, the 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 criminal element that these people Correct. have really Correct. kissed was Correct. more Correct. fun loving and going with these people were more yeah. violent and yes Absolutely. you know like Correct. where like they would hit you with a hatchet like that oh, was their heart, that, was, that, no, yeah. that was their weapon of choice was a hatchet yeah so heartbeat. like you yeah, go to Home Depot hatchets. They're walking around with hatchets, Nick. Really? Yeah. Nick, it, it, Nick. Yeah. Why did any, I never seen one on the news hack someone's head off? It's, it's all it's, it, they're <laughs> all over the news a lot of the time. They don't like, especially like in the Midwest. They're huge in the Midwest, especially like the Detroit area. That's where like they're from. So like, you're living in Detroit. I thought they went out of style. Down. I thought like what they went you? out of style by now. Nah, man, they're still big and still doing shows every night. Like, I'm talking every night they're doing a show in a different city. Still. But they're already millionaires, though, those guys. Multi, right? mu they probably got about $30 million a piece. So there's the two guys. They're probably worth about $30 million a piece and growing every day. Hmm. You know? The lead singer, the guy Violent J, he's like a, an avid like Michael Jackson collector, and like he's got like crazy like Michael Jackson jackets, and like he's got like huge money invested into all like crazy music, and he owns a lot of music from other artists that he just bought their masters and owns their like owns their catalog, where like um, uh, I'm trying to think like somebody that they Problem like I'm, I'm talking like country singers are owned by insane clown posse that like you never even knew. Rock really? singers, rappers that like they just put up money to, to fund their tour and to fund their merch and all that stuff. Like a, a lot of people go right to them because they have the warehouses that make all the merch. They bought all the every element. Like when you go on tour with them they have the t-shirt machines right on the bus so like as they're going to the next city they're going to go buy 30,000 t-shirts and start printing them up on the bus or they have like um the the album makers like the disc makers right on the bus where yeah, they're, the they're, scribe, they're you know, know like all the light scribe and everything for the cds they're making album covers on the bus. They have all those people that are doing everything too as they're entering a new city. So they don't have to call ahead and say, Hey, can you mail me 30,000 shirts? Can you mail me 30,000 CDs? They're doing it right on the buses, which saves them so much money to, to make so much more money. Yeah. And their shirts aren't cheap. Like I'm talking like, Two three hundred dollars for like a hoodie, like some like they're expensive stuff. Three how do, how does a kid people with broken homes can't afford uh, afford that? because not all of them are broken homes. Some of these like their parents have money, uh, and right. oh, what are you into? Oh, we're into this, and you know, all right, we'll buy you whatever you want. People will only buy them for sale. Yeah, there was this one guy. He uh, he was just like a. I think he had like old family money, multi-millionaire, and his son was, you know, a fan of this, and he, it was just him and his son, and they painted their face, and they, they were like affluent people. They came for money, and they would tour and follow this band all around the country, and buy all the merch and do all the stuff and try to contribute whatever they could to help 
that little cause or whatever it is. And that's just one guy that I knew that was like probably spent a million dollars a year just like buying shit. Wow. <laughs> and there's a bunch of them. Yeah. You know? <laughs> crazy. Crazy, crazy. It, it, no, he's right. He's right. It really it, is it, a it, crazy, crazy lifestyle. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to be ultimately super tied in with them because it wasn't like I had money, so I didn't need to go with, like I said right out, I was like, listen, I make 5000 a week just staying home, going to work over here. So what can you provide me that I don't already have? I didn't need, I didn't need to necessarily, I hated going on tour. After the first like year, two years of doing it, it wasn't fun anymore. Like you're not eating right. You're eating fast food because you're on the road all, all the time. You're going from city to city every day and it just wears you out. I don't know how these people do it, to be honest with you. It's 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 a it's a weird life. It tears you down. It it really does. It, it it's a strange strange existence. Not what not just leave? not just psychologically, but also physically. I can yeah. Where did everybody go? No, I think we there. lost two. Uh, you, I think he hit something. No, yeah. um, uh, MRE had someone at the door. He'll be, oh. he'll be back. He'll be back. Yeah, it was crazy. Crazy well, life. Yeah. It, 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 it would it wears you down crazy life yeah angel how are you ma'am hi angel hi angel hi marla hi marla what's going on hi, hi. marla hello hello what's angel washing our floor i have no idea she's not on mute she's here she's here she's busy yeah she doesn't at least I'm not talking about conspiracy theorist shit. To... Yeah, I don't. Oh, you're good. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh... I got a lot of different subjects I could talk about. Oh, me too. Angel. I've lived, I've lived a fun life. Angel. Yes. Hi. Hi. You I'm sleeping? Here. No, yeah, well, I'm here. Where did that Marie go? Uh, he, had got... to, he had to answer the door. He'll be back. Oh. Yeah. Marla? The helmet showed up. Yes. Hi. Um, I <laughs> oh, I think um, MRE's French trying to get back on. He says he doesn't know how to get back in. You're going to drop it a link. Know how yeah. to get back in. Well, he's never, I don't think he's been on this at all, ever. No, never. Not at all. Yeah, send him the link. Hey, yeah, he's, he's new. He's new. Just send him, just drop the link. He'll, he'll figure it out. Poor, poor new, poor new guy. Well, I remember MRE, doing it when he was a little kid. MRE's is MRE's going to go live on his channel. Oh, is he? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. He's going live. Okay. Hey, Scott K uh, K Katu, thank you. You too. Good. Yeah, thank you. That. You too. Yeah. Oh, where real did, deals. Uh, where real deals. Where did Tommy tonight. go? He, he said, uh, himself out too. <laughs> he just said good night. Oh, he's all right. Good night, Tommy. Good night, yeah. And thank he just you. Said to all of thank us. you. What time is it? 1 30? 1 o'clock in the morning. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. Eastern uh, Standard Time. Angel's still awake. Marla's still awake. I'm still awake. Damien. I'm wide awake. I've got 20 awake. pounds of color seat tonight. I know it's crazy. You know what? You need a wife. Who? It says that you eat like that. Right. Who, Damien, it's, it's, it says that his device is not connected. Well, screw him then. I hear her. <laughs> no, his his thing's not to, uh, connected. No. Wife Damien. said, "This yeah. Damien, he's right here." I'm no, the now. other Damien is trying to. Oh, get the on. other Damien. Oh, yeah, okay. he can't oh, get on. How many Damien's are in this uh, genre so far? Yeah, me, how many, how many devils? Kid, how many devils? Of Damien, oh, the, the, the Damien trites. Good God, that's it's right. not a popular name. 
I want to talk to Marla and hang out with her away from all of this uh, stuff. Well, what's going on, Mr. Smith? Uh, I'm just, I'm just hanging out. I want to, I, I just want to get away from all this, uh, you know, devil stuff, this Damien stuff, and because uh, Damien is devil. <laughs> hey, I was named <laughs> after Saint Damien and cured the lepers. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm actually an ordained minister. Oh, so am I. You want really? to fight? Yeah, I, I am hold too. two doctorate degrees. I hold a doctorate degree in metaphysics and a doctorate degree in divinity. Oh, you got doctorate degrees? Mm hmm. Damn. All right. Yes, I do. I, I'm a minister too, but I ain't got no doctorate degrees. All right. Well, I studied, I studied all religions for a little bit. Oh, did you? I did. So I, I obtained all these different types of doctorates by uh, I, I didn't want to be a priest or anything like that. I just wanted to be able to perform weddings, house blessings, funerals, and baptisms. Okay. And how about circumcisions? What? No, I'm not. I don't, I don't do that. I don't, I don't want people to wag their finger in my face. Never mind anything else. Hey, hey, Jeff. Uh, I'm sorry. Hold on a second, uh, uh, Damien. Jeff uh, Bar Baratheon, a five five six media did Benghazi. Really? Then you want to go that? You want to go that fucking route, dude? No. <laughs> no. Anyway, sorry. But no, anyway. that was Hillary Clinton that did that. Yeah. Hillary Clinton so, did Benghazi. So. <laughs> Yeah. So her, wife, her husband gave her the cold shoulder one too many times. So yeah. let's go on. Let's go on with a uh, 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 religion and circumcisions because Damien is a badass uh, music dude. No, and I'm not. I'm just Damien a regular are, guy. Shut up! You're fucking awesome with it. Be it. Be it. Admit regular it. guy. No, you're fucking. It just awesome happens with to it. do a regular shit. No, you're awesome with it. And then we have. Uh, me, who's nobody, uh, Angel. This is her channel. Uh, Marla, love you, girl. Um, her and I are her and I are mountain people, so uh, we we have an understanding. Uh, like Damien, the hills have eyes, people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damien. Those blue glad mountain glad, people. Glad to finally see you, Damien. The other yeah. Damien. <clears throat> and so. and uh, Damien, both Damien's. MRE said he's going to go live. All right, I'll go check oh, out his show. What time? Tell, tell, him to, tell him to stop. We're busy here. He doesn't need to go live. We're busy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fucking Rhode Some Islanders. busy beavers. God yeah. Rude, Rude Isle. It's called Rude Isle. Yeah. Go park the car and have a yard. No, that's Boston. That's Worcester and Boston. I, I know. About. I'm just saying. Well, my mom's from Rhode Island. Come on probation. Leave on vacation. I mean, come on vacation. Leave on probation. Probation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Rhode Isle. Yes. Yeah. Huh. It is what it is. It's fine. Yep. Yeah. G, Joanna. <laughs> so what are we going to talk mobsters about? Mobsters and uh, politicians that are crooked. Yeah. yeah. What are we going to talk about, Angel? The crooked politicians channel. are all the best, though. It's your channel, Shit. Angel. What are we doing? Um, we're on four and a half hours. So that's it? Seriously? Yeah. What? And Marie's going to go live. No, you I'm know just what saying. Like, you've only been on four hours. <laughs> four and a half hours. Oh, four and a half. Holy shit. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Angel, if you yeah. could, would you be a lovely lamb? And give me the boot and say bye bye bozo. Oh, I would just that would be love so to. hot. I, so <laughs> I said I would just love to. That would be you all. Got cut off mid ooh, 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 pick me next. Thank you. <laughs> really? Yeah. Why? What the fuck not? Go ahead. No, nope. got the axe. What? You really did kick it out. <laughs> I looked up and he was gone. So now, Damien, are you yes. going to um? Are you going to uh, like be around a lot now? 
Yeah, I'll be around. Oh, you, you act like it's like uh, yeah. it's torture. No, it's not torture. I'm still here. Oh. I didn't ask to get kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna go on? Um... Yeah, I'll probably go in a little bit or whatever. On his. Give him some uh, oh, love. You okay, good, good. Okay, yeah. very good. So now, are you, um, are, are you presently? Do you have your children now? No, my my, th my three children. Uh, my oldest is twenty, and then I got a my my that's my daughter Demia, and then I have a son Damien that's turning twenty this year. They're Irish twins. They were born ten months apart, mm -hmm. and then my young, and then my youngest Dante. He's 17, and then I got my baby daughter right now, Annalise, with another girl. Oh, okay. So your children are older. Yeah, they're all grown. Oh, okay. Good. So they're all grown. So now you have your baby. Yeah, one of our old friends. Yeah, one of my closest friends, Nick was talking about earlier, me and him went out and saved him in front of him. He ended up getting with my kid's mother, and I ended up going to jail over that, too. So... <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. And now you're gonna so kind of cause friction between. Yeah, but now you have this, yeah, this beautiful can... little baby girl, so you're not gonna you're not gonna be doing anything like that anymore. I think he froze. Yeah, he's frozen. He's frozen. He's frozen. Wait. No. Hello? Yeah, he's frozen. Hello. <laughs> okay. Now, this is what I fear when we go live. <laughs> yeah, you see? But I don't I don't think it ever happens on our uh on our side. It's gotta be his connection. Oh, wait, is he back? No, see, he's gone now. Wait, is he missing? It, it looks like he's back, and then yeah, we put and then back you put on. Him on and then he... Exactly. It's black. It's weird. Okay, no, now he's really gone. Well, that was very nice, right? Yeah. Did everybody hit that like button, please? Yes, please hit the like. Now, how nice is it that, um, how, hold on. Hello? Hello. Yes. <laughs> Did you see what's going on in Ohio right now? No, what? Another train derailment with toxic waste dumped all over that area. Are you kidding? There's what? something going on there. Listen, this is done on purpose. Yeah. Absolutely. But why Absolutely Ohio? Because that's where a lot of food is growing. Oh, my God. Yep. I just wanted to call you, let you know, go look out what's going on in Ohio. It just happened 40 minutes ago. Really? Yeah. Okay. Real, oh. real crazy stuff going on right there. They're evacuating people. They're saying right out, do not leave your house and close your windows. Oh, oh my God. But where is this toxic material coming from? <sighs> it's just coincidentally being shipped in right to the same exact location where the last train derailment was. Oh, man. Yeah, Remember a couple something. of weeks ago? Yeah. See, I like... A, what happened? It's bad right now. Yeah, look it up what's going on. It's 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 crazy. They're, yeah, they're, looking right here. They're trying to evacuate everybody in Ohio. Oh, wow, yeah. Norfolk Southern freight train derails in Clark County, Ohio, prompting shelter in place order out of abundance of caution. Wow. 
They're going to have to do something with these trains. Just one month after. Yeah, one month after the company's toxic train wreck on the other side of the state in East Palestine. Yep, so it's so it's it's the opposite side where all of the food is being grown. Oh god. Well, there's going to be a shutdown of of all kinds of produce and everything like that's going to be no good for people. I wonder why. Like I watch. wonder why this train is derailing. In the next couple of weeks, watch the food uh yeah. food scarcity that we're going to start having in this country. That's what wow. that is. Wow, this is unbelievable. Yep. Get ready for famine. Yeah. The end of days. End of days. Oh, we lost Damien again. Well, we're going to get off now anyway. All right. I'm going to go check out this thing right now and then see what happened with MRE. Yeah, MRE is going live. All Everybody, right. MRE is going to go live. So. All righty. Um, right, bye bye, bozos. Oh, <laughs> Damien. <laughs> <laughs> um, we lost uh, the other Damien. Black Damien was trying to get on too, and as soon as I clicked on him, it uh, he fell off. So, what do you think, Marla? I'm still trying to find the car, the the train wreck thing, but oh no, I saw it. It's uh, I saw it online. Oh wow! Uh, I mean, I yeah, I clicked on uh, Ohio. I I put in Ohio and it went right to. Uh, oh oh okay yeah that makes yeah sense. Did that. yeah. But what do you think about tonight and everything? It was a good night. It was very interesting, right? Very interesting. I didn't think that we were going to be on this long. That's why I planned it for seven thirty. I figured, you know what, seven thirty, we'll be on for two hours. We'll get off. And um and uh then um you know it they'll go over and watch the boxing thing but it worked out this way instead and then Mari was here and his thirteenth friend was here yes I thought that was interesting it was a good yeah. night. good conversation oh very good I'm happy you think so <laughs> Mr Smith. What? Um, he's be he's being a smart ass. Oh, all right. Towards truck. Yeah. All right. So, all right. So, Is there anything else we want to get out? Say. Uh, how about you? How about you? How about you? You have anything you want to get out? No, I said what I had to say. I'm gonna be interested to see if the little twat responds. Oh, <laughs> um, like does it even matter? No, gosh, yeah, it's, stupid. it's like it doesn't even matter. It's like nobody has said her name at all. Nobody said anything about her. So why she was uh, here minding your business is beyond me. I don't know. I don't and know. She could just entertain kidding. her nine viewers. Well, actually, got to bring up my name. <laughs> Nobody in there knows who I am. They're not. You're not going to get. You're going to go from nine to four, sweetheart. It's just. It's, I don't understand. Like, why? Why start trouble again? Nobody said your name at all in all this time. Nobody's even talking about you. Oh. So I don't understand. You want These my people. black card since they took it? Uh, <laughs> he, they, they took my black card. You want it? Uh, I don't even know what that means. They took your black card. She, oh. What did she say? That you don't have a black card anymore? Grow up. She's not <laughs> even black. So who is she talking? What does she care? Who, how would she know? You're not even, you're not black, Heifer. You're not even part of our community. Yeah, she's not. She's not even black. So stop talking about it. Stay in your lane. Yeah, exactly. Oh, hey, what time is MRE coming on? I don't know. He just said he was going on. Oh, okay. But I'm going to go to bed because I'm very tired. Sounds like a plan. 
and uh, Marla, I shall uh, I'll uh, text you tomorrow and see what you want to do. All right, sounds good. Everybody, thank you all so much, Molly. Thank you. No worries. Have it's a good always, night, everyone. <laughs> it's always a pleasure with you, Marla. You're the best. Thank you. Everybody else, thank you. thank you. And Damien, Black Damien, thank you so much. And when the next time we come on, either tomorrow or the or Monday, come back and come back on.